All right, we should be live on both Twitch and YouTube. Lower latency on Twitch, better video quality on YouTube. Watch wherever's best for you during the live stream. If you lurk at the other one in the meantime, helps me out a lot. Also, whether you're on Twitch or not, hit the like button, actual thumbs up button on the VOD or even on the live stream on, on YouTube. It helps a lot as well. But we are back to our hardest difficulty, 500%, no pause, RimWorld, Biotech, Sanguifage, keyword, 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 run. You missed the last couple streams of this, what happened? Um, you'll have to, you have to check it out or wait for the edited thing because there's been so much, there's been so much. So I also need to start the recording because this is going to be edited. I know people have been asking, this is going to be edited. So I'm going to get the recording going to pass it over to the editor. Uh, William, welcome in. Gino, are you, are you Frosty the Snowman? Happy birthday. Your killer, welcome in. Uh, no, it's not my birthday. Christoph, Tom, welcome in. Lucas, welcome in, welcome in. All right, let me get the recording going. Recording has begun. All right, so yeah, we are back to the single phase run. It's been, unfortunately, almost a week. Had some stuff that I posted out in the Discord. Kept me off stream yesterday. Uh, some important stuff, but anyway, we are back, and I don't remember where we were or what we were doing, but I know, uh, I know some of the major goals that we were after, and I also know some stuff I was going to test or try. So let's get in. And try to remember what was going on. I do remember we we got uh, Fireboy back. He's now Fire Guy. That's right. That's right. We also are ready for my bigger ceremony. Let's double check the map. Make sure there's nothing weird going on there. I am on my way somewhere. Where am I going? I don't know. I don't remember. Trading with the pigs, maybe? Okay, there's a bunch of centipedes up here. All right, all right. Okay. We've killed some elephants. Got it. Met clusters are currently down, aside from the sunblocker. There are nine mortars out on the world, just hanging out. Uh, Minoc, thank you for the bits. Nine, thank you for the seven months. Very much appreciated. We got that rebuilt. We are working on this. How long until our festivals? We got, uh, the festivals are already up when we want to use them. We are currently empty on prisoners. And we got a bunch of blood bags, which... Let's check. Speaking of blood, let's check how close we are. We actually have one, two, almost three. Oh, we can actually get like quite a few more vampires pretty soon. The versus girl is going to hit 13. She's going to get her last trait. Hopefully she ends up getting tough. That would be excellent. She's going to be a vampire for sure. And I think we're actually trying to get genes. So yeah, we're going to get this set up. For a gene place. I do remember that as well. And I think we also need to get the other side of the shotgun tunnel because things are getting pretty dicey. We got some big raids going on. So watch the zombie land vods. Zombie land was a lot of fun, yeah. A lot of fun. I'm gonna come back to Zombie Land at some point for sure. The vampire daycare, as it turned out to be. Yeah. Thomas, thank you for the lurk. Thank you, Thomas. Uh yeah, mortars, centipedes, toxic waste, your usual neighborhood. Your usual neighborhood. So, yeah, I'm apparently... What? Wait, I was... I was just getting back? This is why... This is the unfortunate thing of not playing in a week. So suddenly it's like, wait, what was, what was I doing? Ah, that's right. We, we just visited the pigs. So we got our telescope back, which, you know, we uh, we lost during one of the drop pod incidents. So that's good. We got that back. Just put that back up there. And is that our tortoise? No. Gravy girl. Gravy girl. Go ahead and kill that. Bolt goods trader from the pigs is here. And all right. So what, what are the cooldowns on the trades? This one we just did. So down here, though, we can go trade. We really need to try to figure out where the good genes are. We need to build the gene things in general. Also, we need to be getting more money in so that we can trade for things like genes. So we're going to be working on these. Um, we are currently working on getting bionic legs on all of the vampires. Right, 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 right. Hey, kill these squirrels as you come by. Wait, did I? Oh, no, they already moved it. Like, did I buy two telescopes? No, no, no. If you want a heavy risk, welcome in. Yeah, this run very quickly turned into Vampire Daycare, which was not the uh, initial 
intent for this run, but it's caused a lot of crazy stories. Uh, scan of the ground steel. So when was the last time we got a raid? Because I'm trying to, trying to remember about where we are with Cassandra. Oh, she's, yeah, she can attack us anytime. Anytime. Pigs are here. We will go trade with them while they're here. Actually, you know what? We can make our own components. We can, we have tons of steel. I don't think I'm going to trade with them because I want to trade for jeans instead. These guys are not going to have jeans. How's my death rest looking? We're good. I, man, I might as well just go back on the road with them. Honestly. Might as well. We don't, we don't, I don't need to be here. I don't need to be here. I can just go trade. All right, let's go down there to these pigs. So that'll just be me. I also need to check how long it's been since we raided. So we'll be doing that. And we got quite a bit of flake. Got a lot of wake up too. Maybe we should be using that. Get some more stuff done. Administer some of it to that uh, that slave that hates. God, we got a lot of gold too. Uh, that hates drugs. Hmm. Is that really all we have to trade? I don't know that we can get there before the human meat goes bad. Hmm. We're gonna try it though. Not worth a lot, but. Uh, this way, at least we can also see what genes they have. So what I'd like to do is get the no sleep gene for the slaves. And then we can rip a depressive gene out of the... Better take some other food with me, huh? Yeah, just in case. Uh, we can rip depressive out of the impids, for sure. All right. Today is not a zoo day like last time. Yeah, we had one... Uh, about a stream and a half that we just got animal attacks all the time, all the time. But, more so than that, hopefully, oh, Kasu, you need a gun. Hopefully we don't get reset. Almost, so all, aside from the most recent episode stream VOD of this, we've had a great setback. Like we've had a huge setback every single stream day, aside from the most recent one. So, yeah, just, just tie those donkeys up in the toxic waste field that's that's fine you know what let's uh let's start chaining them up here in the future no they can't get there because there's a fence and a barricade um <laughs> there's no good spot everything is everything is horrible everything is toxified just about we haven't seen any boss mix i was just thinking we need to get the Atomizer, but we're nowhere near. Nowhere near that. We haven't even seen a... Uh, Diabolus, which I don't know. Ah, uh, we can kill a Diabolus. Depending on what else is with it. We, we have some... People that aren't afraid of fire. Let's go on Babblefish. Speaking of Babblefish, exclamation Babble. On Twitch, I have a sponsorship with Babel for about three or four more days. Really good deal on it. 60% off. Helps me out if you just check out the link. This is definitely the best P music. Two Bs, two Bs for Babel. Two Bs for Babel. Oh, uh, we got our extra hospital. What's all this? What's all this? Oh, that's just, that's just organs. Do we get mind screws on all the slaves? Yeah, yeah, we're doing, doing pretty well. Gene Ripper mod? Gene Ripper is not a mod. It's from Biotech. Mm -hmm. No mod required. Uh, okay. Ooh. Uh, do we have any animals left? Uh, we don't have any animals left. Uh, remember I said I hope there was no massive setback? Well, there could be. There could be really soon. Hmm. Uh, we need someone to grab an EMP, actually. Because if they have any low shields... Here, you grab it. Oh no, the shelf where the low, uh, where the MP was got destroyed. Uh. Oh my god, I can't type today. 
Okay, okay, it's easy to see it at least. Drop that. Go get that, your brawler. Yeah, we don't care. Get back down here. Learn a bit. Other commands. Oh, the battle. Yeah. Yeah, I did uh, an hour battle on the stream, and it seemed it seemed pretty, pretty decent. I have used some of the other ones before. Well, maybe it's a good thing I'm going. <laughs> if everything, if everyone here gets wiped, at least we have someone that we can start anew with. Which God, I hope not. How many doomsdays and triples? We got two doomsdays, three triples, and one Molotov. So. We gotta be really careful. We gotta get the double shotgun set up. We started planning it out last time, but not quite there yet. Why are you so slow? You're missing a foot. Yeah, that can't be good. That, that'll probably do it. That'll probably do it. 48%. Hey, what are you doing here? Come on, guys. You going to attack or what? I was going to get rid of the... You know what? We'll wait. We'll wait. Caravan arrived. Yeah, I can't do anything about that yet. Um. Hopefully, they don't have low shield. Although... Core. We don't need that this time. All right, here we go. Man, oh man. Go juice and rockets. Not a great combo. Oh, is that door shut? <gasps> no! Go, go, go! Uh. <sighs> Why is that door even open? Okay, what do you have? Okay, all those are fine. We gotta keep an eye on. Uh, let me go ahead and take these. There's the doomsday. Okay, we're gonna keep an eye on. extra dangerous stuff here. Triple, triple. Okay. Just keep an eye on whatever weapons turn. Uh, incendiary. Uh, it's not a big deal. Triple. Get it. Oh, two triples. Okay, he's melee locked. It's fine. No. Hopper, thank goodness. Thank goodness. All right. Uh, other woman got the crap beat out of her. Let's go ahead and coagulate. She might have lost some body parts. I'm not sure. Capture. Capture. Okay. She really got beat up. What did she get hit by? Oof. Assault rifle. No headshots, luckily. Headshots are the only thing that can kill them. Uh, we might as well take this one. Two. Major break. Oh, sorry. Thought I grabbed everyone. All right, now we can trade. Caravan trip sees the ruins off the base. Imagine that. Good thing we had that. First girl, Adam's kid. Yes. Yes. All right. Jeans, jeans, jeans. Uh, artist. Oh, yeah. We want a crafting trainer, too. Do you guys not have any jeans for sale? No jeans at all. Well, that's unfortunate. Let's see. This resets 15 days. What about you guys? We're completely hostile with them. But we can get on their good side. I don't know that I have enough to get 100 rep with them right now. I don't know. We have quite a bit of drugs on us. Um, 
Yeah, I guess we might as well. That will give us one more trade place. Day and a half. All right, all right. Um, let's go ahead and allow all this. And then that fire foam popper, we need to get that remade in case this happens again. Okay, he's already on it. All right. Games do our cycle. Binge and suddenly get bored. Can't stand anymore. Till the binge returns. I've gotten to end screen any of your playthroughs yet. Now you're starting to feel like it's time to play again. I think that's pretty normal. Pretty normal. All right, fire guy. Uh, you still have a kid body, so let's not have you do go juice. Probably, probably not. Okay, why? Why are you unhappy? No recent conquest. Um, yeah, we're gonna have to wait until man, twenty people. We're gonna have to wait until Cassandra hits again. Sixteen people, twenty people. They're getting pretty up there. Maybe Gogurt juice. Gogurt juice. All right, all this is getting repaired. Insulting spree. Uh oh, that's not good. Is that the one? Yeah, very neurotic. Tombed underground. No recent conquest. Slept in the cold. We can start working on the slept in the cold and stuff like that. Uh, yeah. Let's just make sure every room has a vent. Or I can just put a heater in every room, I guess. We have the resources, so. All right, let's put one in each of those rooms. Put one in each of the, yeah. Two bedrooms. Most of the bedrooms have them. That should do that. Oh, for the prisoners. Impressive, steadfast, and wavering loyal. Uh, we'll probably. Let's keep him, and then if we get another prisoner, we can do the the duel, finally. Again, it's been a while since we had enough people do a duel. Really sucks that he's in... I mean, I could arrest him, but... I was hoping someone would just social fight him. Sooner than later. Oh, well. Uh, no, he doesn't. This this one doesn't. I think the one that had decent gear died on the way. Berserk. Oh, wait, wait. There is another one. How did I, how did I miss that? But yeah, he doesn't have good stuff either. Then five hours. Um, let's go ahead and coagulate them. But yeah, when these two guys are fully healed, we'll have them fight. Also, that one to convert. Is that one that we might end up using? Uh, I don't know. Arm cut off. Leg gone. I was blood sucking. Just getting started today. So. Everything is fine so far. We did have a kind of scary raid. And a waste pack infestation. All right. So that was the second event. Uh, let's just take care of it. Be fine. All right. Oh, God. I wish you would hurry up. Get over this breakdown. And we're down to run using the ranger meme. Yep. Yeah, it's been a long time though. It was one of the first one. It's one of the first one we uh, we did after ideology came out. Oh, that was her equipping that. I was like, where did that sound come from? That's not good. That's not good. Should clean that crap up on the ground.
when Itakin wants to fight me for my cat Cataphract Helmet? Uh, nope. Wing fire. Oh, I gotta get out of here. <laughs> Got that menu. It's fine. All right. Buffing girl got a little beat up there, but uh, gravy. Go ahead and coagulate. Jimbo also getting a little beat up. Coagulate. Any rumors new DLC? No, they, they're pretty tight lipped until something is. Like, super ready to be announced, right? So, no one knows but Ludian. They're not telling, at least not yet. Solta times four, man, oh man. Clean micromanagement. Uh, it's needed sometimes in no pause, it feels like. The Wookiee chose violence and got spiked, yeah. <laughs> I think that was a headshot, too. So. Uh, Zamana, you still have... Both of you had kid bodies. Teenage bodies, you're not, not adult sized yet, even though you look adult sized. Ever try the foam spray gene? Uh no, that one would be pretty decent on the on the sleeves too, actually, though, if we can find it. Fun, it's been rough, but it's fun. Enjoy it. Yeah, and that's that's a big thing. Like someone last stream actually asked me, they're like, why do you always put the additional challenge of no pause in your playthroughs? And it's like, because that's the only way I like to play. <laughs> With without no pause, I I wouldn't be we we'll be playing RimWorld. It's my preference. Skyrim, Skyrim mugger trying. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you have like Daedric gear on, and some Argodian in a loincloth is like, hand me all of your money. All right. Well, I guess it's go time. No pause changes the game. Yeah, absolutely. It does, and I, I, I like it that way. So. No empty configurable spot. Uh, who's doing our cooking these days? Drug free slave. Okay. Uh, drug free slave. Drug free slave. Oh, we have a slave that's bleeding as well. It's just a minor bleed, but we should probably take care of it just in case. Uh, actually. Coagulate. Why are we using good medicine on him? Stop it. Okay. Drug free slave. Run butcher there. Get those out of the way. I wish I could. Oh, I can't. No, I can't. You have to to give him drugs. You have to do it through a surgery. But. What's up, little girl? I've been insulted twice, and I want us to conquer people. No blood feeder master. When I'm gone, everyone gets just a little sad. It's kind of sweet in a very weird sort of sort of way. Um, so I'm like the figurehead of the cults, I guess. <laughs> Our blood feeder master's gone. He's on a road trip. Mono, you play my piano? All right, well, I guess that's okay. Drug free slave. Go ahead and do a stockpile here. We'll do allow fresh only and let's get those insect corpses moved. There we go. Or at least a place that we can move them so I can get this door shut. There we go. Doors. Doors. All right, we're almost there. Isle Nathead. Wow, what a great place to live. This looks like some kind of I don't know. Starting of a ringworm or something. Drifters wish for alms. Uh, don't look at him. I don't feel like kidnapping anyone right now. You were like, you feeling all right? Would it be worth it to have a bad crafter make poor beds for slaves from medical? Maybe. Yeah, maybe. So far, they've survived when they, oh, when they needed to, you know, but... Oh, don't don't hit the doomsday, gravy girl. Yeah, beat up on some walls, corpses. Conduit kind of sucks, but 
don't hit those rockets. Uh, all that. All right, Versa Girl is grown up. Get that out of here. Get that out of the way. Zamana. All that out of the way. All that out of the way. Do not let her hit those. A raid and a dug too deep. Oh my god. What? Oh, that dug too deep wasn't the... They're attacking immediately as well. They are already on top of us. And I'm, I'm ambushed again. Jesus Christ. Oh my god. And it's a friggin' impid. Whatever. Uh, I'll probably be fine. Get him. Get down here. Hey, alms requesters. No, you know what? Is there another group? There's another group. I figured there would be. Uh, you two get there. Okay, uh, no third group? Jesus. All right. And ambush twice. Infest two infestations, two raids, pretty much all at the same time. Uh, all right. So let's see what rep we can get with these guys. Yeah, all the human meat went bad. I figured we probably couldn't get here in time for it, but... We tried. We tried. And yeah, I'm not going to be able to get to 100 either. Even if I gave them everything. Oh, if I gave them every everything. Who was that? Oh, it was a prisoner. Um, Male donkey, female donkey. Yeah. Yeah, it's not, not worth it. So we'll give them most everything. Uh, or a bit, I guess I should say. And then we'll go back home. And we'll bring a little bit more stuff back. So we're almost there too. We can even drop pod. Yeah, do we have enough at home? We might have enough at home to build a drop pod. Oh god, she's not a vampire yet, guys. Uh. Okay. A mess. Okay, uh, who's sleeping? Fire guy still hurts too. What do you have going on? Uh, you go ahead and take that go juice. And can we get? Man, I I don't know. I'd have to also make. Yeah, we'll. A long time to come back out though so i'd have to make some kim fuel and then also rocket stuff all right let's see what versus girl, girl got we got a lot of stuff going on at once santa trying her best got some alms getting here and fight yeah i don't know oh maybe they would take some of the damage for us but nope what'd she get not tough not tough uh fast learner is always great Got brawler. 
Nimble Brawler. Does she need Fast Learner? Not really. Yeah, we'll just grab Brawler on her. All right, versus girl. Um, we need more crafters. She's only level two. Fast Learner would help with that. Let's make her pretty much good at everything. Yeah, that's fine. Sandra getting cranky? Yeah, yeah she was. Where are you, drug-free slave? There you are. That's right. Okay, so uh, EQ. Already building that? Okay, good. Make him fuel from organic. Do until we have X. Let's do not a whole lot right now. Just like 50. And then we'll get a pod launcher here. Okay, so EQ, work on that. You work on that. Um, yeah, uh, the passions in like melee and shooting aren't aren't all that too big of a deal, honestly. They generally, if you're doing quite a bit of combat, they're gonna max out their experience anyway. I mean, I guess it makes them happy while they're doing it, but aside from that, they're gonna max out their experience pretty easily. On Yort, Yortend, welcome in. Scotchy, Vic, Mo, Todd, Kong, Tweeny. Pain, anyone else I missed? Welcome in during all that craziness. Ugh. All right, so let's see what we can add here. Well, I know we can add a bunch of insect meat. Do I actually like insect meat though? I might be using that for some meals here before too long. We have like infinite insect meat, so I guess it wouldn't be that big of a deal anyway. Uh, what else we got? What else we got? We got quite a few weapons we can throw in there. Someone has dropped their Zeus hammer. Yeah, let's get rid of these explosives where someone punches them. They're worth quite a bit too. Thing is, we're not going to have any money. That, well, I can gift to the caravan even. So let's get that loaded and we'll see if that's enough. It should be enough to ally or to... Uh, make them neutral anyway. Brave girl. I don't know where your weapon went. Must be down. Ah, uh, there it is. There it is. Let me get, uh, grab that before I forget. And versus girl. Um. I guess grab that spear for now. What happened? We had uh, two infestations, two raids, and two caravan ambushes all pretty much at the same time, within just a few minutes of each other. So, had a lot of stuff going on all at once. Yeah, we'll see if we can get those people neutral with this, and then from there, if they have stuff that we really want to trade for, we'll just drop pause some stuff to the caravan. Bloodlust, yeah, bloodlust is, is generally pretty good too, yeah. Doesn't me matter as much in this since we don't care about uh, butchering human-like already, but yeah, just in general, the, the mood hit from combat is pretty, or mood increase from combat is pretty crazy. <sighs> Come on guys, load this up. Load this up. I'm queuing it up if you're wondering why I'm multi uh, clicking multiple times. I'm holding the shift and clicking it again. And again, that should queue them up to keep going a few more times. You have quite a bit to... Uh-oh. Wait, is that the one we're trying to... Uh... <laughs> yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to keep those people... I guess we could recruit. Yeah, there they are. So I guess we could recruit this one. Yeah, we'll recruit them and then re-imprison. So let's convert them right now. 
Uh, yeah, that's why that per that place keeps getting unhappy with us, because we're just draining blood from one of their people. Demoni's death rest. Yeah, now now's a good time. Now's a decent time. Green breakdown. Yeah, I know. When's the insult run off? Uh, maybe a little bit. How much more we need in here? More human meat? Yeah, they're working on it. Well, we can't release them because they don't have legs. So, we'll have to recruit them. <laughs> Yeah, uh, no, no recruiting someone with zero movement. Egg legs. I mean, why not? Then I just had to find another person to get blood from, right? Because we're, we're just, we're not even going even on blood right now. So no, I'm not letting them go. All right, let's see here. I removed their legs on purpose. I'm not, I'm not giving them new ones. Give us a gift. All right, plus 30. Enemy now neutral. So now we can check what they have to trade and see if... I mean, looking for genes. Psychite dependent and ink black skin. Strong crafting. Okay, so not any of the ones that we really want. Uh, skill trainer crafting, though. Those we would want. I don't know if we have enough drop pod over. Uh, we probably will with the insect meat. Spend two wood on these guys? Yeah, you guys crazy. No, we, we really need the blood. Actually not doing great on blood. I probably should turn these into blood bags too, come to think of it. Yeah, we should do that. All right. Yeah, yep. All right, uh, let's load this with stuff to trade. We have so much bug meat. I don't even know if we can get all that loaded in time. We shall try. Yeah. The prisoners do you need to stay in Hebogen per vampire? Uh, if you do one for one with no like reductions in how much blood they need and you're not using stuff a lot, then you should eventually make a little bit of a surplus. Someone did the math or something and it was like one blood bag can supply 1.4 sanguophage if you're not using their blood skills and you don't have any attachments that lower or um, their need for blood or whatever. So basically like one for one and you'll be good. Is, is all I would say. Or what, it's how I would say to very easily remember it. Yeah, and if you're going to use yeah the, the skills a lot, then it's going to increase that a bit. So this guy, let's go ahead and stall peg leg, uh, left leg. And for you, stall peg leg, right leg. Okay. I'm an idol. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll get there. Yeah, and then there's also a death rest building you can get, which makes it so they need, need less. Yeah. Uh, what's EQ doing? Missing slate. Okay. All right, get that loaded. I guess we're missing slate for that too, right? Yep. How polluted are your surroundings? I think we're we're still actually pretty low on the map as a whole. Let's double check. Uh. See if we kill them. All right, we well, killed one of them, unfortunately. Anyway, let me check the map. Yeah, it's actually not that bad yet. Uh, pollution, 13%. 13%. <laughs> lightly polluted. 
Yeah, that's what I was talking about. Yeah, the death rest building the the amplifiers. Yeah. Okay. So hopefully he survives that. How are we doing on this loading here? Uh, they're almost done. No! Ilya? Oh, don't kill her. I'll get the people with strong weapons somewhere else. Okay. Uh, who's nearby? Coagulate her. Yeah. Catharsis, okay. Alright. Uh, I think Deviant Soul. Yeah, just a little bit more meat and leather to go. Uh, load that some more before you go to bed. Starvation. Who's starving? She's on her way. And you apparently just need sleep, so you can just do some drugs instead. Take that. Oh, I should have checked. Okay. Good. As daycare of horrors progressing today. Uh, we had a lot of events right in a row, but we're doing okay. Doing all right. Grave girls, go ahead and burn some of that. Uh, so close to being done with this. And we'll get those crafting trainers, because... Yeah, we still only have one person that can really do good crafting. Uh, we can give those to one of the actual colonists. That would be ideal. This is episode 6 to catch up. Uh, yeah, well, I was about to say something about it, but yeah, I won't spoil it. They were watching the, the VODs on this one, too. Come on. We doing okay here with food? I mean, kind of. We're eating berries at the moment. Eating berries. We also got, uh, no, just one of the bionics. One bionics. What is your crafting at now? 15. What was that previous genie person? Drug-free slave. I remember when he was drug-free boy. All right, that's good enough. Okay, give to my caravan. All right. Oh, so much of it rotted before it got in there. That's unfortunate. But we should have enough to get both of the crafting trainers still. Yep, that'll help us out quite a bit. No jeans still, though. None that we want, anyway. All right, back home we go. And then when's the next reset? 24 days, 26 days. Yeah, we were just at those ones. What about the Empire here? 12 days. So basically a season from now we can trade again. All right. You glad your do already happened? No, because one of the prisoners died trying to escape. He's dead. Muffin girl, you're you don't know how to do medical stuff yet, but you're gonna you're gonna start learning by operating on someone. Very first medical thing she ever does. Cut someone's leg off. Yeah, if only they could, yeah. I wonder if you could make them fight with just peg legs and they had no arms. It's the best way to learn. You got this muffin girl. Man, we're just not getting that to the freezer in time. Oh, well. Oh, she did it. Nice job. Now remove it. Now remove it. 
Okay. And then we are going to set you to bomb. Okay, operate again. Operation. It's fine. Kids have to learn somehow. Yeah. What better way than... Oh, hands-on experience. Oh, she did it. She did it. Nice. Versus girl, we gotta get you a melee weapon of any type. Just get your mood up a little bit. So after you're done resting, uh, I don't know what happened to that spear. It probably got smelted. If you're done resting, go ahead and equip that. All right, on the way back. And I guess we will get started on the... Yeah, we better get started on the gene stuff, the gene buildings anyway. Because it might take us a while to extract stuff like uh, depressive. Also, I do need to get these conduit out. That's another thing that I do remember that we were about to work on is making sure all these inner walls are smooth, smoothed. Can't speak. So we don't have that conduit issue happening anymore. Fine. Did I install mine screws. I don't need to on the prisoners, but all the slaves have mine screws. Yeah. Yep, yeah. We have two more mine screws sitting there waiting for if we do decide to give another slave. She's a natural. Train medical by removing and reinstalling the lungs. Yeah. <laughs> lung comes out. Lung goes in. Lung comes out. Lung goes in. We do need to get a couple more blood bags, especially because Versus Girl. I'm going to turn her into a vampire when I get back. So. Yeah, now she's getting pretty happy. We got to go in a raid, too. And we got festivals to do. This one is good for 22 days. I'm actually curious. I doubt it. That goes in. Guts come out. I doubt it, but I'm, I'm kind of curious if a far scan with enemies there would count as a raid. Probably not. But we're going to turn this back on. We'll get that research done and uh, we'll test it. Gun jam. You understood the Simpsons reference? <laughs> no. I can't just get pretty unhappy. He's about to hit the sun blocker area. Should help a little bit, I think. Uh, right. Fire guy has become a vampire. That's right. He actually needs a real name now, too. Feels bad. Feels bad. Fire boy. What's your real name? Skulls. <laughs> there you go, Skulls. And then... Gravy. You know what? I'm going to switch that around. Gravy Girl has become Skulls. And this one is... Justin. Um, I know it's not Mayonnaise, Justin. I'm sorry. I've never pronounced your name Justin Mayonnaise before, but that's the first thing that came to mind. Justin Mayonnaise and Skulls. Alright, there you go. You're in. Start a new game last night. Four for four joins were ages five through 11. It seems so common with biotech. Yeah, I don't know. So you're running daycare now too, huh? Fitting because of the skull helmets. Yeah. Guess we need a couple more bedrooms too. Never thought I'd say such words. 2010 YouTube Let's Players. Hmm. That's weird. It's weird. Tw 2010 is when I started making some content with some Let's Plays. <laughs> I've had the same profile picture for like ever. Guns in. Kids are alive are hard enough and they don't even haul and clean. Boy, don't I know it. Don't I know it. All right, let's get my mood up. What's going on here? Recreation. Yeah, that's right. Should add him rest. This and that, but... Oh, immediately getting loving as soon as I got home. 
What a weird coincidence, yeah. <laughs> Low hemogen as well. Uh, Yeah, alright. Well, let him get his boot up a little bit other ways. Uh, this is getting pretty friggin' full again. We gotta get rid of a bunch of this stuff. Uh, I'll caravan it off, but... Yeah, we need to do a raid. Drug free slave. Hey, move that. There's a blackout. There's a pile of blackout drunk rabbits. <laughs> nice. Uh, does she? Yeah, she does. Okay. So let's give her the other death rest accelerator. And how long until she needs death rest? Not super soon. But staggering it some more is probably a good idea in general. So I think I might go ahead and put her through there. That's while we're thinking about it. I'm low in blood, huh? Well. Bring her Kasu. Yoink. My blood now. And where's another slave? Drug-free slave. He's probably got really good blood, right? Very pure. No additives. There we go. All right. All right. So, uh, getting that research done. We need to start extracting. We already smoothed all that, huh? Hmm. hold up on doing any more art right now yeah yeah let's go ahead and get the gene stuff going so we want the gene extractor put that right in the middle of this room like how drunk rabbits made you think of a new thrumbo hunting trap idea <laughs> they prefer eating trees but hey i guess if there's no trees versus girl oh you're not a vampire yet hang on other woman these rats hmm I should make that into a room instead of the fencing I don't have to worry about them getting there and eating those meals Be happy when they get bitten because of the empire meme I think they do actually they're so unhappy right now that it's uh it's all right okay we got two more bionic legs who's next on the bionic leg Mana. any of you guys have any leg issues first off Skulls is literally missing a leg, so that seems like a leg issue to me. So, let's go ahead and turn medical back off on Muffin Girl. She's asleep, but I don't want to forget. Okay, install bionic leg left, install bionic leg right. I think this was the legendary hospital bed. Yep. Operation. Previous colony had an issue with your chickens getting drunk. Alcohol addiction. And figure out why. So... Beer still has a very, very small amount of nutrition to it. They got rid of a lot of the nutrition on other drugs. There's still a few drugs that have a little bit of nutrition. So if animals have nothing else that they can eat to survive, they will start trying to eat eat beer and things like that. So, uh, Cat, thank you for the super chat. Thank you, Cat. Thank you for the support. How do you prevent the slaves from having mental breaks if they are deeply unhappy and have mind screws? So this is a little bit... So it's just for this playthrough, Cat. In a normal playthrough, you wouldn't do this. You'd want them happy so they don't make, don't have breakdowns. But what we're using is a modded slavery type called Terror Slavery. So this this uh, mod, someone suggested it for this run because it's very thematic for this run. It, it, it adds additional precepts and memes to the, the slavery stuff from Ideology. And there uh, there's Terror Slavery. So as you can see here, basically, as long as slaves are under 5% happiness, they can never break down. So... That's why we're trying to keep them as unhappy as possible. Because as soon as they get to five happiness, which isn't... I mean, they can get that from, like, eating a meal at a table and the rest of their life sucks. And then suddenly they can have a breakdown because they're a little bit happier. Uh, now, there are other precepts that you can use. There's one that's, um, like, a glamour slavery type thing. Where the slaves will never break out if they're happy. If they're super happy. So there's a lot of things that it adds. But it's my, my first time using this mod. I usually don't use mods for this kind of thing. But it was just... a thematic for the run so 
yet. In a normal playthrough, yeah, I would not be using mind screws or anything unless unless they were like a masochist or something, right? So uh, for your normal playthrough, not good. But if you want to use this more slavery stuff, you can either set it to where you can uh, treat your slaves better, so or you can treat them terribly, which obviously no matter what, it's it's a bad it would be a bad thing in re reality, but red equals solid beer. Yeah, yeah. So a long time ago, almost all the dr drugs in the game had some nutritional value. Not anymore. Yeah, no problem, Cat. Thank you for the uh, super chat. I appreciate the support. Liquid bread. <laughs> Animals will consume beer. Yep, yep. Man, a long time ago, it's still technically possible for animals to eat luciferium without you giving it to them, but it's a very rare thing now, and, and like the stars have to align a little bit, unless you kind of intentionally set it up that way. But a long time ago, they would actually go just eat luciferium, so you had to like wall it in. Now, if an animal is hungry and they walk over an area with luciferium, they can just eat it at that moment. So the time that I've had that happen the most is when you are caravanning and the caravan hitching spot where the animals are there's if there's like luciferium laying on the ground and there's all these caravan animals gathering over it they will occasionally eat the luciferium and a thrombo eat luciferium once another interesting thing about luciferium is it's the amount that they need is based on body size so if you give luciferium to a thrombo they need it way more often than six days going too fat crew no longer a vampire daycare. I mean, they're growing up, but yeah, it's it's mainly a home for teenagers now. We got 18, 17, 17, 15, 15, 15, 14, 13. So the children are all teenagers now. The children need less luciferium. Uh, I guess small children would need less luciferium, yeah. <laughs> Stuck them in a cryopod. All right, so we want to try to get depressive. Do we have an impid? Uh-oh. The impid we had might have died. The impid we had died. Crap. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Do we have... Uh, we had an impid slave, too, but they got kidnapped. Crap. So we need to find an impid. Is there a gene that we'd want for our slaves from the Itakin... Something that would make them... Hmm. Psychically, Dole will be okay. That way, if we have a Psychic Soothe, they don't get happy. So, maybe getting a Psychic Soothe or Awful Mining to offset some hunger. But overall, not really. Yeah, we gotta keep an eye out for... Impids. Uh... We do need to go do a raid. 14 days, 16 people. We don't know. Roar of Sheberg. Okay, that's going to be Itakin. Glepico. Uh, that's the pigs. We don't want to mess with them. We want to keep trading with them. So that's the only raid we can really go do. Not really a gene place, but... Vampire teenagers. Now it's Twilight. Oh, it is. It is. Rumbo hyped on, on loose fear sounds terrifying, yeah. Uh Yeah, we really do need to go do that raid though. How's my death rest looking? It's fine. Alright, let's go hit that raid. Uh this one. We need to do it even man, so it's Itakid. Hopefully it's all melee. But I'm gonna take all of these. Just in case. And I guess we're going to eat some raw food while we're out. Do not take any beds with us. All right. Yeah, we got to find an impid prisoner so that we can get depressive. So not only will depressive get us even lower mood on the slaves, it will offset some hunger. And I'm really hoping we get the no sleep gene somewhere. What 
What are the extractable single phase ones? There's low sleep. We can use low sleep in the meantime. Hmm. Yeah, that's about it out of that. Yeah, I'm not sure if I want any of the ones that make them not as good in combat because we are using them qu quite a bit. We will we will always need them. The sub goal text was right over the load button. Mess your head for a second. <laughs> I clicked on it. Oh, <laughs> uh, I saw that YouTube was adding a thing where to some channels now, if you say something about subscribing or liking or whatever, it will highlight the button for people watching that haven't subscribed. And I, I, I saw an example of it. It was kind of crazy. I mean, I guess it's not that that crazy, but when I first saw it, I was like, whoa. <laughs> it's like if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel and the subscribe button actually on the page, not like on the video, lit up. Handy, handy. Kind of crazy. Uh, I looked at the stats the other day and we're just talking about YouTube streams only. Only 40% of the people that watch the YouTube streams are subscribed to the channel. 60% of the people that watch the streams and that come back don't subscribe, which it's fine. It's unfortunate that sponsors and things look at that number to to determine like what they'll give me for things. But, uh, you know, and, and the funny thing is, I, I guess not really funny, but when I think about that, there are some channels that I should probably subscribe to that I watch a bit that I, I don't think I've subscribed to so that I'm not a not a hypocrite, but it's not an intentional, not intentional hypocrisy, but hypocrisy nonetheless. All right, let's run some of this stuff through the walls. Finally. Subscribed here and YouTube. Thank you. Thank you. you saw that before in your tablet? Yeah, I haven't seen it as a viewer yet where it lights up when they say it, but I did see someone that made a video about it and showed it doing it. So kind of kind of interesting. Christians, is that meaningful of metric? I know it's not. Yeah, that's why it's annoying. I will have some game developers reach out and they're like, sorry, to be on this campaign, you need 50,000 followers on Twitch and I, I know of some streams where people have like 100,000 followers and average like 20 viewers. And then I know people that have less followers than me that average more viewers. Like it's it's a very... The free sign-up stats like that are not very good metrics, but unfortunately a lot of developers and advertisers still use them. Thankfully, most have switched over to CCV or, you know, average uh, concurrent viewer ship of the channel. But occasionally I'll run into the... Some developers that are like, we're looking for channels that only have 50,000 subscribers or, or, or 50,000 followers more on Twitch. Okay. True. You've seen the effect too? Yeah, I haven't seen, uh, just like I said, just the video of it so far, but. Who are we waiting on here? Versus girl, why are you still so unhappy? Oh, you know what? Uh, I didn't switch your stuff over after you grew up either. So let's have you doing something that you like. There we go. That will help. And we need those crafting trainers. Who am I going to use those on? Hmm. Who are we waiting on on this caravan? Oh. Right laying on the ground. A, a trader died over here, or a visitor, a long time ago. And we just have not brought it back. Jump bags wouldn't be too bad. We would have the jump from the vampire from uh, the blood, and then we'd have the jump from jump packs. But. All right. On our way to do the raid. Okay. So who would we want to make another crafter? We'd want one of our vampire people. So Zamana is doing a lot of mining. And we're probably always going to need someone on mining. 
Versus girl is doing planting. We already have several other planters, though. Same thing for feel. So either feel or versus girl would be decent. What else do they have? Neurotic is good on a crafter, so that might be a way to go there. Yeah, so versus girl, you're going to become a crafter. Congratulations. Is that why lurking is important? Yeah, yeah for the concurrent viewer count. Yeah. Uh, thank you. I don't know who you are on, on Twitch unless it's the same name. Would it be worth put the caravan hitching spot in the thrall room? Let's go to the stock room. Um, yeah, they might actually can get in there. Yeah. Hmm. We'll try that. I thought it was actually blocked by fencing, but it is not. So, yeah, we'll try that out. Where is the... Oh, they're down here. Okay. <laughs> Same name. There we go. Big Lurker. Thank you. Brandon, I'll oh, read that. Channels that you don't watch anymore on YouTube. Yeah, so am I. Remind you of needing 10 years experience for a coding language that's only existed for six months. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's more a repetition of, yeah, how old the channel is. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Doo -doo. Rake versus girl. No recent conquests. Yeah, we're we'll be there soon. Don't worry. No miserable slaves in colony. Oh, I didn't think about that. Think about that. We gotta get uh, the new vampires their own rooms too. But let's finish this uh, raid first. We get sidetracked. All right. So what do we got here? Hmm. Oh, that sucks. Not all melee. Not all melee. We need to hit those bolt actions first. That's... That's the main scary thing there. Yeah, one of the bolt actions just hit. If we can just... Yeah, okay. I was going to say, if we can just finish them off before they hit with another bolt action, we should be all right. All right, what was here? This is a mining site? Steel, right? We don't lack any steel for sure. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll deconstruct those two. That's a little bit of opponents. Might as well grab it. Hoppers we can take home. What is going on? Oh, he's still locked in that room. Bye. <laughs> they know to free steal? Yeah. There's only one bed for all 20 of them. What's going on here, actually? There's one bed with two gibbet cages. And there was, uh, like, 20 Edekeen hanging out. Know they had all the equipment? Yeah, yeah. And you can actually bring the drills back because they're minifiable, but you can't bring the... Um, the scanner back unless you have the minify everything mod. We do not. God, some of the mining sites are incredible. We've seen some of them have like 180 components. 180 components. Kind of kind of nuts. Can't reach 116 rice. And in the meat. Meat shields. 
mining Wookiees from different centers. They were just rotating who uses the bed. Work sites are vanilla. Work sites are ideology. Work sites for the AI are ideology. Yeah. For, yeah, yeah, it's really awesome when the mining settlements end up. Yeah, there's a 76 component one right there, but it's the pigs, so we don't want to. Don't want to upset the pigs. All right, versus girl. We gotta get you a real name once you become a vampire, but for now. Get you this other skill trainer. There we go. From level like one to level 13 off those skill trainers. Nah, she was a little over level one. Not not a lot, maybe level three. Okay, so back to, oh, and we need another Marine helmet now. Back to making bionic legs, good. Okay, on his way back. Yeah, it's crazy. Uh, the number of enemies there seem to scale with raid points, though, which can be a little unfortunate. Uh, that's annoying. There's just a marine helmet and marine armor out here. I'm guessing from the siege at some point. It's almost completely gone now. But three organs. Uh, we're gonna use that one as a, another meat bag. The meat bag. Oh, there's another one. You know what? That one's close enough. I'm gonna get this one. Drone would have been a lot easier as tunnelers. Oh, well. Uh, Justin, I don't know where you are anymore. There you are. Nope. Oh. Wait a minute. Do you not have a casket yet? Oh, there it is. There it is. Wait, do you have a more capacity too? No. Nope. Okay, so yeah, let's let's keep getting this stuff removed here. So don't run into that one problem we had previously. It looked cool for a little while, but it was uh it was quite the fire hazard. <laughs> Caring and loving vampire bring his slave back home. We'll live a horrible life. Die a meaningless death. What? Hopefully it doesn't die. We need blood from it. There it is. Stall peg leg left, stall peg leg right. Okay, and then you, we already got you switched over to engine farm, right? Yep, and you as well. Here we go. That's some storage. I know, I gotta get rid of a bunch of that crap. Probably we'll do that once the trade settlement resets. We'll probably just take a bunch of it off and then... Oh, you know what? I bet part of it's because I have not reset up the destroy a... Here, well, no, we got it. Just haven't gotten around to it, I guess. Vegemite, 20 months. Thank you, Vegemite. Thomas, thank you for the seven months. Thank you, Thomas, thank you, Vegemite. Vegemite, can you believe we did the entire Mal Malekith legendary campaign in a single sitting? <laughs> like, what? I was thinking about that after stream. I was like... Well, that went better than expected. Oh, it's Chunk. Sorry, I thought that was Chunk for a second. Yeah, that went really well. Really well. Exotic goods. They might have something we want. They have something we want. You know what campaign our left truly challenged? Kislev or Kugath, maybe? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, 
that probably will need another one over on this side, which is fine. Is the Dark Elves run already done? Yeah, I did it in a single sitting. Yeah, we did Malekith's long campaign in just one stream. Team rolling it? Yeah, yeah. It was, uh... We could have done even... We could have done it even faster. That was the first time I've, I've played Dark Elves that, that long. I played them a little bit when they first came out, but... Yeah, man, their early units are just so strong. It feels like as long as you survive their super early game, the snowball for them gets ro rolling, like, real quick. Real quick. Nine hours. Must have felt like... Job. No, I was having fun, so it, uh... Yeah, it passed by pretty quickly. Honestly. Oh, that never got rebuilt. Okay. The Vault to start. Yeah, I'm actually thinking that Hellebron's start would have probably been more challenging. Now that I know the area up there a little bit better and what the Dark Elves are facing, I think Hellebron's start actually looks looks more difficult. But she has all those same enemies that Malekith has, but she also has Sigvolt. Uh, and uh, we did get kind of lucky, honestly. I think Alathanar was going to be our big hurdle, and he got taken out by Silostra, of all people. Sorry, the concrete square of efficiency. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think the Arimian ship this month is the third Saturday of the month. So we'll be getting some super efficiency during that for sure. Okay, remove part left leg, remove part right leg. Auto resolve. Yeah, yeah. We only fought eight manual battles that run. I, I think we'll probably have to fight a lot more manual battles as could they. Um, especially due to their harmony mechanic, but. I'm really curious about this long range skate. I doubt it counts, but I've never tested it, so. We're gonna find out. Uh oh, crap. Pigs, pigs. Are you still here? Yeah, they're still here. Doors are on YouTube and lurking. The doors are most fun, yeah. Doors are is good. These themed runs are always, always silly. What you guys got? Word of inspiration. Always good. Oh, that's our... I was like, what? They're selling a res serum? No. I don't think that's even possible anymore. Super clotting is awesome. Hmm. Super clotting for just... 311? Yeah, yeah, give me that. I'll take that. Oh, they can't reach that. That's pretty annoying. Would you, zombie run, would you consider using a Fog of War mod? Uh, maybe, yeah. We've talked about that before. For several runs, actually. That room is stuffed with things. Stuff. Well, 18 construction, well. Mm -hmm. So what do we want to set this to? Uh Yeah, gold is fine, so we can get more royal titles. Smart AI zombies as well. Yeah, that's one thing that's really nice about the Zombieland mod in general is that there's so many settings. You can do a lot of playthroughs that are very different from one another. I'm thinking I might end up making a death rest room and then turning these into some of the new bedrooms. 
would be rough, yeah. Death rest room. Yeah, that sounds good. Where would we do that? Hmm. It's like it should be in the center, but I'm not moving all this crap, so. Um, we could change where the prison is, actually. Especially since we're not really using it that much anymore. Hopefully we are not going to need very many more slaves. So most of the prisoners just come into here in order to be blood bags. So that seems like a pretty good place. Yeah, we can fit a lot in there too. Uh, yeah, I'm good with that. Sounds good to me. And work. Be safe. Be safe. Have a good shift, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Yeah, a lot of people want to see melee gods versus zombies, which would be interesting. We would maybe have to change the how infections work, or at least like speed of infections or something. Those melee gods would get bit all the time it might become just more tedious than it would be difficult dealing with all that we'll see all right the rest of these we'll just rip down for now. I don't care. Why the just recently started saying your stream has ended. That is weird. Played around with heavy mods installed. I mean Zombie Land's pretty heavy mod, but yeah, I don't I don't do too many modded playthroughs, but so things like Winston Waves or Zombie Land are probably the Extent of that, I guess I would say. Legs are gone. Engine farm. Are we starting to build up blood again? Not really. Not really. All right. Uh, so get all this moved into here, huh? Oh, she doesn't have extra death rest capacity still. Gotta work on getting that for her. I saw one for cells a little bit ago, but I didn't I didn't grab it. Got so many Zeus hammers and moss swords. I bought them from the Empire. Run where you collected all memorable pawns. Uh, I don't know if I've had a run where I remember every pawn. Big one. Going dodge, father. Welcome back. So, where would the door in here be then? I guess it could just open up to here. Yeah, that'll work. Uh, lost to fix, lost to fix. Play some medieval mods that change the game as well. I'm gonna wait until the next DLC just to see because if the next DLC ended up being like medieval themed or something, that would be kind of frustrating to play an overhaul mod of it. And then suddenly, every time I say that, people are like, confirmed, the next DLC is Rimworld Medieval. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess if you count solo runs, I remember all the pawns in the solo runs, that's true. That's true. They've been playing that piano a lot today, huh? Twice is a lot, by the way. 
Ugh. Ugh. Can't hide to get leather. Yeah, I've seen the medieval mod, so. I opposed to doing one of those, but again, I'll wait until we see if we get any information about a DLC or anything. Medieval archaeology with multiplayer. Fleshing out the early text. I really would love to see something that makes the earlier phases of the game at least a mode or maybe something like that. A scenario that makes those last longer or be more like worldwide. Yeah. Develops over time in that way. I think that'd be really nice. Which twice taco making cantaloupe are the most memorable puns three runs for you. Uh, for me, um, I don't know. Most memorable. The first ones that I always think about are pond scum and hysteric. Come again. An old drugs fake call in about to come is pretty memorable too, though. Hostile activity detected. I'm really curious if that's going to count. We're, we're going to scan some more, though. Points oh, to 24k on tribal. <laughs> or is not symmetrical. It's, yeah, it's because, um... Alright, I'll do it. This whole thing is kind of off a little bit. I need to change it, but... I actually think I should mine in there. I need to make that room a little bit bigger, probably. Skulls needs death rest. Yeah, let's get everything moved over, Skulls. I don't know. Do you have a... I don't think you have one yet. So let's move Jimbo's. Mech raid. All Scythers. What's up with all Scythers in this run? All Scythers. I think most of our mech raids have been all Scyther raids. Right? I think so. Wait, where are you guys going out from? Oh, right. I have an area over here now. That's right. Drawing on Earth map, trade routes, other simulator of our real life archaeology. Archaeology. The. Uh, Archaeological past. I kept wanting to just say archaeology past. <laughs> I don't know why. What about when Nimrod got banned in Australia? It didn't get banned. But yes, I, I know of it. Basically, the game was not uh, rated. And so... Through the contents of the game... Couldn't be sold... Without a... Whatever, mandated rating or whatever. So they had to... Do the court thing and discuss the contents of it. Now, there was actually a really funny line about, which is just a straight up lie. But if you go and look at one of the things that they ended up saying um, about it, the judge or whoever official was asking about drugs and things, how the game promotes drugs, and the lawyer for Ludian had this spiel that was completely, um, completely BS. Man, I wish I could remember it word for word. We read it on the stream though, and it was we were laughing because it's just complete it's just complete BS because it pretty much boiled down to them saying, oh no, our game doesn't uh reward drugs or anything like that at all. It is a it is something that's in the game, but it's something to be avoided and to try to overcome. And um, you know, it, it makes people unhappy and it causes problems. And I'm thinking to myself, Drugs is one of the best things in the game to make your pawns happy without having to worry about anything. <laughs> but anyway, that's where it's going and in, in in looking at the transcript if you haven't already. There's some... That's something about the tea. Yeah, there's some interesting lies in there. you hit that hard yeah you know so anyway it ended up getting a mature rating which makes sense that's what it is over here as well and therefore it's sellable again because it got rated but it was pretty funny it's not a lie if you believe it if you were crimey
Here they come. Zeus Hammer is in the front. Honestly, I think you three can go back to work. I think you guys can too. Can you can harvest someone's organs and turn their meat into burgers, but how does your game handle drug use? <laughs> your streams without watching really makes the stories interesting uh oh yeah that's awesome thank you for listening yeah i i try to narrate especially when there's crazy stuff going on so that way uh the most common i think is people watching on a second monitor that's that's how i watch streams anyway as well so being able to play your own game or do whatever on your main monitor and then if you're listening you'll know when something something crazy has happened for sure to to turn your attention to your second monitor Scyther's defeated. Boss defeated. Wasn't even a boss. Muffin Girl got tore up a little bit. See, Muffin Girl, this is what happens because you didn't roll tough. What happens? Best second monitor background noise. Currently playing Stellaris. Join the listening. Thank you. Yeah, that's what I that's what I do. All right, we're trying to get as much of this out of the floor as possible. How did that not get smooth? Dad, I'm in pain. Well, you should have been tough. Cruel. <laughs> Penance and withdrawal. Those are negative drug issues. Yeah, but you don't have to worry about that if you just keep giving them more drugs, so... And there's no downside to a lot of the drugs. You have someone addicted to tea? Can't have an overdose on tea, just keep giving them tea. I mean, they're not going to die from it, I guess I should say. Can you tell Tony, your body pierce pawn, that she needs legs to be useful? Throw her in the bio generator, I guess. Yeah, That's all you can really do. Ooh, 26 components. Nice. 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 Um. Muffin girl. I don't know why I'm even flipping those, but. Uh. So we got those four, and then EQ and Zamana for next. Actually, no one else has extra capacity, so I'm just going to go ahead and make skulls up here. So EQ, go ahead and make that. Here, overdose. Uh, I don't think so. Yeah, I don't I don't think there's a dangerous overdose on tea. Not that I remember. Could be misremembering though. You don't have to deal with drug withdrawal if you just keep giving them drugs. Yeah, see? Just like real life. No. <laughs> um Jimbo Muffin Girl Skulls. Man, they're not linked yet. Uh, kind of weird. They didn't automatically have the relink thing. So Xander could attack again, but uh, death rest wouldn't be a super long time. Yeah, all right. We'll do a few of them. 
She's gonna need it soon anyway. This isn't a mistake. I'll be about half the people on death rest at once. Half of the melee. That's fine. Only if you fall into a barrel of psychic tea. <laughs> the skull's first death rest so let's make sure you put auto wake up on there we go uh eq let's get yours moved over it's a mana Ray and feel, okay. Right, there we go. Uh, EQ, what are you up to? Falling death rest. Smooth that wall. Had a minor problem with death rest accessories not linking to the nearest casket kind of yeah yeah i don't know that's kind that's one reason why i did this so i didn't want to have to rearrange after they locked in it's kind of weird that they undo sometimes when uh is that what happened there yeah see this one by bound to that one Which makes no sense because bound to muffin girl, bound to muffin girl, bound to muffin girl, but you can only have you can only have two, so yeah, I don't I don't know why it's like that, but that I was trying to prevent it. That's one reason I did it in the order I did, but I didn't realize she didn't have death rest capacity when I when I did it, so wait until she has death rest capacity and then build a new one there. Royal tribute collector. Uh other woman. I'm gonna have to Make her get up early. She's going to be unhappy about that. But we can get our other royal. Our royal bride. Off the ones that aren't connected until it's linked. We've had the same problem. Yeah, yeah, I thought. I thought I'd just do it in order and it would uh, it would work out. But no. It would be the lowest number of inventory slots that you would need to beat. Dark Dungeon 1 on Stygian. You mean like total number of trinkets? Or do you mean uh, like actual taking? You mean like the inventory like loot that you take from the dungeon, right? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I'm not sure. I mean, you have a lot of inventory space if you do torchless. I've done torchless so many times. Yeah, I'm going to get her up early. She's going to be unhappy about it, but... Oh well. They're wearing skulls in their head. Those are marine helmets. They have the ideology style of uh, morbid, morbid ideology style. Poor health. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we can't get rid of any of those. Uh, so hang on, hang on. How far are you? She's at eleven. She needs sixty-five. Okay. Do I want to get rid of? I mean, we have other gold we can go mine, right? So. Wow, that really sucks. We're conscious at 80. It's really impacting it that much. Do we have go juice? Hmm. I just wait because that doesn't really get us much. Honestly, it's not going to get her anywhere near count or count or countess. I should say. Yeah, that's all right. We'll we'll just wait. Marine helmet with a morbid style from ideology. Yep. Yep. There it is. Which that doesn't start with. It depends. 
Well, some <laughs> some answers are not. It depends, right? Like, what style helmet is that? Well, it depends. You know, it's always the same style. Malaria. Okay. Who else got hit by malaria? One of these. Uh. Long tail Kijimbo is up 1.7 days. Uh, do we have any other doctor at all up right now? We have no one. I mean, they have a four, so they can do some treatments. And I might actually let her lay in this bed, which is going to make them happy, unfortunately. I don't want to lose them right now. Cast questions wall. Lots of times they are, yeah. All that gold for just 10 honor. I know, it sucks. I had no way to know they're about to show up, but. Yeah, we'll just wait. Uh, do we get that gene in here? Yeah, there it is. Super clotting. Okay. We gotta keep an eye on impid. I haven't had an impid raid in a while. Am I a wall? I'm a wall sometimes. sometimes. How long until this resets? Three and a half days. So once I'm up from death rest, we'll do another caravan trip. Could mine that silver, I suppose. Yeah, all right. Might as well. Psychic Harmonizer stack. Can you boost mood infinitely with it? I don't think so. I feel like we tested that a long time ago. Pretty sure the answer is no. You test it and it turns out to be some other way. Let me know. Because it's it's been a long time. I don't think so. Text. Gives a lot more if you can mine it. L text four. That's a that's a mod. Yeah, I've never heard of that. L text or that is a mod for sure. There's a mod for or L text or that's yeah that's interesting. <laughs> I haven't heard that before at all. Uh, I really like to smooth that. So we'll rip this down. We'll smooth that. Then we'll put something back. That's from Vanilla Expanded Empire. Okay. Clues on the donkeys. It's whatever. It's whatever. Or it's a vanilla extended thing either way. Yeah, gotcha. Uh, how? Thank you for the 10 months, the double digits, and Oxy, and they were the nine months. You guys counting down to something? 10, nine. Next sub has to be an eight. Uh, thank you for the support. Oh, I think it's because we're researching again. <laughs> the materials craft. Yeah, yeah. I I figured as much by the name, but yeah, it is a mod. That is a mod.
Thank you, he three. Stacking shelves like that make your pawns take forever to get items back. No, it doesn't work that way. So in RimWorld, if you have something like this, if a pawn walks from here to here across these, it slows down on the first one. And then if the second is occupied, it goes to normal speed. So they literally only get slowed by the first object. That's why in a slowing tunnel, like you'll see you do a fence every other because See, this is your two tunnels, right? So what happens is when an enemy comes through here, they will slow down at the first fence, and then at the second, they'll speed up to normal speed and go right across as if there was nothing. But here, they get slowed by this one, and then they go to normal speed here, and then they get slowed by this one. And so they actually, this is way slower. Same thing for shells. So if we had, yes, if you had your shells in a weird way, like... Like this, same concept. Going in here to get an item on this shelf, they're gonna get slowed here and they're gonna go back to normal speed. They're gonna get the item, they're gonna go normal speed out. Here, they'll get slowed every single shelf they hit because there's the gap. Just a room world mechanic. So yes, you can just sh shove all your shelves together. It doesn't matter. Kind of like steeple chase or something like that where you have to jump over every obstacle. Yeah, instead of just running across the top of obstacles or something. Yeah. So it's as if they're climbing up and down every time. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yep, yep. I need those. Great fire rooms ready for another incident? No. Uh, yeah, it's, it's definitely ready. It's got fire foam in there, so it's, it's ready. All right. It's ready. All right. All right, so keep smoothing that. Smooth these things, get this all worked out. Might as well while we're waiting on more things to happen here. More scans and things. Low hemogen, yeah. And we just do not have enough blood bags. We gotta get more. Bad you can't sla set slaves to be blood bags. <laughs> blood feed. Is it worth it to play Mechanitor? Mechanitor is extremely good, but mainly because of the work mix. Uh, it, as general, it also does depend on your difficulty a little bit, but in general, the work mechs are extremely good, and the combat mechs, at least on the hard difficulties, are not generally worth the raid points, so... Yeah, if you have fun with them, either way, you can make it work. Even You can even make the combat ones work, but the actual working mechs are super good. In the weekend, so you can be here. In the weekend, yeah. I'm here, I'm here. Thank you for being here. How much has it been to keep the pollution from those generators down? Uh, we've just been... So the vampires don't care about pollution... They're immune to pollution, so I've just been not worrying about it, really. And I've been dumping it out here where raids walk through. Uh, there we go. That's uh, been all right. We could have been, like, dumping them on people. Maybe we should. Yeah, there's an impid settlement up here. We can dump the waste on them so that they... Don't attack us, because we need a couple impid prisoners. Of course, they brief fire. We're going to have a bad time. Yeah, I could give them a medical operation, but then I'd have to just keep redoing it, right? It's not going to be a repeating one. I'd like to just them up as blood feed, but can't without them being prisoners. Mountains of Sarcophaga, uh, no, it's a mod called Geological Landforms. Geological Landforms adds a bunch of additional map types, and Lone Mountain is one of them, which is what we're playing on. 
Okay, so this side of the base now is cleaned up from as much fire risk. Let's go ahead and fix this one. Did we end up smoothing this entire area? Yeah. Yeah, okay. And we'll get that done. Uh, and we need to move yours up here too. Wasters and vampires are the best mix. I don't know. Maybe. I mean, I guess if you're going to have everything a toxic wasteland, pro probably. Don't really need all that either, but whatever. living in Mordor. What happens to, what happened to Smurf? Something happened to Smurf? I have no idea. I was talking to him last night about uh, Rimworld Community Challenge, but... What I understand, what I know, is that Smurf streams as a hobby for fun, as far as I'm aware. Also, that's changed, so it's not like... He's having to stream multiple days a week because of uh, it being his job or something like that. Like myself. Which is completely fine, of course. Yeah, I have no idea. Mm -hmm. Got an aesthetic base going on this time. Yeah, yeah. Low hemogen. Uh, okay. Blood feed on them. Doing some real guides. Yeah, yeah. He's been working on that too. I know. Last night he and I were working on uh, or yesterday evening on the Rimworld Community Challenge for March. It's not square enough. Yeah. Well, don't worry. We'll get back to the squares sooner. Than most people want. Oh my God! Hit the wrong button. No, it's fine. Okay. Gestation. Where is this one? Okay. Whoa, that's kind of crazy. It's crazy it's split like that. I don't think I've seen that. Pretty interesting. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've never seen an infestation... I, I guess I don't normally have really crazy long rooms like that, though. Or like this. Yeah, weird. <laughs> We're gonna play this month for Rimworld Community Challenge as last month. Any plans? Um, so last month when I did the heart room thing, it's given Smurf and I some I ideas. So this month is going to be um, kind of building off of having pre-existing things that we've made on the map. And yeah, I can let you know. So basically this month, you're gonna start with a centipede that's in a cage and your, your goal is to make it so that the centipede does not escape. You're going to have breachers that are going towards the centipede. Try not to let the breachers break in and get the centipede out. And as long as you have the centipede safe, as long as you protect the centipede, you'll have friendly people show up and help you with almost all your raids. So it's going to be a weird thing that we're trying. 
we're basically trying to see what kind of weird stuff we can do with just the scenario editor and without any mods and that's one also this is going to be i'm going to be changing the verbiage and some stuff with the room community challenge this is going to be the first um it's going to be the first time that we've also had a second save file for those that want to play with dlc Please make a leg prosthetic for her. Yeah, maybe. She's a little slow. <laughs> so yeah, this will be the first time we've added uh, an additional community challenge save file that will have the DLC. So should make a lot of people happy in that regard. Directly by you watching, just wanted to thank you. Uh, wait, how did I save your run? Yeah, out of curiosity. Yeah, thank you for letting me know, but it does make me curious. What's centipede's name? You can't name enemy centipedes, unfortunately. Am I gonna play one with vanilla or the? I'm not sure yet which one I'm gonna play. Yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, you know what? I don't mind talking about it a little bit more. So I am gonna put out a short video and change the verbiage on it. So we've noticed that the months that the community challenge is very themed and is more about the story and about the craziness more so than wealth, that way more people participate, way more people. Like the amount of people that participated in the love one that I made for February, where everyone was just falling in love and having affairs all over the place and everything, way more people participated than in the month where it's just like, all right, here's a standard map, get as much as wealth as you can. So we already have Arabian ship and SDM for the wealth chase per month. So why do the exact same thing with just a little bit, a little bit different? So what we've been talking about is making it so the Rimworld Community Challenge is much more in line with the crazy themes. And um, if if you still want to go for wealth, that's fine. But we're we're gonna open it up more for that kind of that kind of thing. So it's gonna be much more about like how they explode on death month and everyone falls in love all the time with everyone month and stuff like that going forward. And wealth will be like a secondary thing, at least for the community challenge one. And then, uh, like I said, we. We still have a room ship SDM and that sort of thing for those that want to do the wealth push playthroughs, which I'll still be doing those as well. Vladim, Vladim. <laughs> there you go. Challenge who can keep average pond happiness the highest throughout the challenge. <laughs> yeah, there, we're, we're, we're gonna have a lot of other th crazy things. I already have another crazy one planned for next month, so. Up in the run so far. Yeah, thank you. They were stopping in while you had time. Other than sanity of the stories. Yeah, it's so much more fun for us too. So to really quick to show people what I mean, if you go into the Romero community, the challenge chat, look how many more people posted stories that happened in their February run, right? All these crazy things. I mean, we had people in here writing like friggin' books, and I mean that in a very nice sort of way. This is all from February. Like, look at this, look at this. This is all the crazy stuff that happened in this guy's playthrough. We had nothing like that in the months where, like in January, where it's like, all right, just do a month where you try to get as high wealth as possible. So we're going to keep trying to make it interesting to have more people participate in these kind of ones. Uh, and that's also why I want to add the DLC to it. I'm probably going to make it so there's no, there's no rules anymore. Like we had a, we had an official division and a, open division, but we're probably just gonna have just one division from now on, just literally do whatever you want uh, with this scenario at hand and just have fun and share what happens in your run. Smoke launcher one time, you wanna finish your run. Oh, the launcher's, that's awesome, yeah. The, the Being able to deal with mech clusters with a smoke launcher is a godsend for sure. Yeah, we're already doing that text, yeah, I've already mentioned that. So this is the first month we're going to have a two save files. We're going to have a vanilla save file, and then we're going to have a DLC save file for the community challenge this month. Should have all that stuff to you no later than Monday, for those that want to do it. Maybe later today, depending on how much time I have. Going halfway through? Yeah, yeah, no worries. Vladim. So stupid. <laughs> but it's the best kind of stupid, so it's all right. I actually joined in. Yeah, yeah, so we just want to make it more accessible to more and more people. We'll, uh, we'll try to put... I, does anyone know, does console have the scenario editor? Mm, let's go ahead and get our caravan out.
All right, Vladim. God. You know what? Hopefully he gets ambushed again. I know that's a weird thing to hope for, but we got a couple more blood bags last time from the ambushes, so that would uh, that'd be good overall. Oh, I don't want to go through all this crap. Uh, it would be nice to clear some of that out, but dropping all the tainted stuff. Oh my god. No, I'm just going to have them destroy some of it. We don't need this many shield belts, though, that's for sure. We'll take some of this with us. I really don't want to go through all this on the world map. Yeah, that should be good enough. I'm going to keep a thrombo, two thrombo horns for the. Uh, duels any plans for the next run uh, it just depends i do have some plans for future runs but we don't know anything obviously but we're all thinking oh muffin woman lost her her leg oh, bionic leg left leg um everyone's kind of feeling like there's a dlc around the corner just based on timings of other dlcs Let's operate on her first. So I have some in mind, but it just depends on if a DLC gets announced before we get to it or not. More themed events that can be used for inspiration for Nanarimo. Nanarimo. Boy, it's been years since I participated in Nanarimo. <laughs> yeah, no division at all. Yeah, yeah, we're just going to get rid of him. Yep. Yeah. I know no one believes me that I don't know the DLC stuff. I, I wish I knew, but I don't. Then I can plan my content moving forward. Uh, all right, so we want to clear this out. We got that going across now. I think we can reach all that. Yeah, we should be able to. No, no, not my piano. It took me forever to get that piano built. No, not my glorious throne. Thank you, Fanny's death rest. Yeah, all right. All right. Uh, EQ. Yeah, go ahead. You better link this one. Okay. So, yeah, we don't. Announce DLC? No, they have not. Seen beggars show up asking for beer in your game? Really? Yeah, that happens quite a bit. Quite a bit with ideology. And oftentimes it can be kids. <laughs> How many meds or silver? No, they, they can ask for beer. Five or six years for Nanarimo? Since you've done one or you've been doing it for five or six years? That should be about good. All right, one more. Yeah. That's the front wall. Okay. Need beer to help their wounded friend. <laughs> My sister's dying and she'll only survive if we... Oh, we get 472 beer. 472 beers, what? She's dying. There's no time for more explanation. Divisions are like walls. They separate us.
is these days happy with bubbing six pack yeah it has to be 500 I uh, might have broke that a little bit too soon, yeah. Go ahead and put that back until we're done. TNT got about 30,000. That's still quite a bit. I mean, that could be uh, like a long novella length, you know? Long for a novella. Not bad. Not bad at all. He's gone, Drain. What'd you miss? Uh, at the very beginning of the stream, Cassandra did try to kill us, but she's cooled down a little bit. We had two raids and a infestation, uh, dug too deep infestation, and two raids and two ambushes on our caravan, all in the span of just a few minutes. So, yeah, Cassandra was out for blood at the beginning. She's a vampire herself, as, as we, as we kind of know. All right, shut the hospital door. It was open for a while because there was infestation going on, but no more. Our auto doors, auto doors are really good, yeah. We'll probably upgrade auto doors eventually. Yeah, they are good. I steal auto doors. Fantastic. Love them, love them, love them. You have guides on dealing with sappers late game? Uh, sappers or breachers? Because it's different. Uh, no, but I can explain sappers really easily, really quickly for you if you want. Sappers, you can just literally make them go wherever you want. So if you don't already know this, sappers try to avoid turret line of sight. So you see that circle? If that circle is somewhere that it can shoot a sapper. It will try not to go that way unless like the other directions are very inhibitive like deep water and stuff right so what you can do is you can put uh power they need to be powered power turrets everywhere in your inner walls that you don't want sappers to break through and then the sappers will just break through where you want them so that's sappers breachers is kind of a different story let me know if you're talking about breachers mm -hmm. Auto doors are vital. Otherwise, you have an open air car. <laughs> Everything becomes a Jeep. Hey, Jeep have doors. Yeah, but sappers will try to avoid line of sight of turrets. Breachers are the one rocket launchers. Uh, no. I mean, breachers can have rocket launchers, but normal raiders can have ro 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 rocket launchers also. Sappers are ones like in the message itself. It says they're sappers and breachers will literally say they're breachers. Breachers will say they're going to breach your walls. Sappers will say they are sappers. This is my thing, but do you find the off map mech clusters tend to be really weak? Like a couple of mechs. Uh, they're really weak. Yep. And oftentimes they're asleep and you can literally destroy the, the mech building, the problem causer without even waking them up. Yeah. You can generally send one person. Now, occasionally there can be an additional threat where like you get raided on that map or animals pop up. So you gotta be a little careful. Be ready to run away if that happens. But yeah, in general, they're pretty weak. Ooh, cataphract armor. Yeah, so the main thing is read the raid message to know if they're sappers, breachers or repair for a while or whatever. But rockets can be frontal attack, wait a while. Uh, rockets can come with sieges, they can come with breachers, they can come with sappers. The rockets are just a pirate weapon, basically. They're not tribal and they're not mechs, they can have rockets. Regardless what type of rate, even center drop can have rockets, which is always scary. Gene pack for green, so unfortunately not what we want. Um, cataphract is something that we do want, but we are really looking for genes right now. So we know that there's a cataphract tech print here. Let's go check these two while we're out. While we're out. Yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah. That's what it used to be like. You could have off-map problem causers guarded by lots of really scary pirates, but now it's just sleepy mix with the occasional you get attacked by like a few animals or whatever while you're there.
Yeah, I'm going to wait before I spend any money, but yeah, death rest capacity is on the list as well. Just lost a long run to some raiders with triple rocket launchers. They just blew right through the walls, ignored your kill box. That's probably a breach raid. Um, the easiest thing to do with with raiders that have rockets, honestly, there's two things that I would suggest. Instead of going instead of us going into the mechanics of it and like figuring all that out, which I do know that one, there's two things that you can do that makes it relatively easy. One is to have an ally that you just call in for help. An outlander ally or or empire. Anytime you see rockets that aren't like center drop, as soon as you see it, call an ally. The allies probably won't kill the raid for you, but rockets are not reusable. So your allies will come, they'll go towards that raid, they'll get hit by rockets. A lot of the times the pirates will even hit themselves with friendly fire, and then you just don't have to worry about the rockets, right? The second one is they will also try to fire rockets at your owned non-ranch animals. So you can keep just like a couple of rats or rabbits or squirrels or whatever, and then when the raid comes, you, like we, we actually have this set up already this one you have an a uh animal area like this a zone and when the raid comes like let's say the raid's coming this way you just zone all of your small animals to that area your small animals are going to go out there and the enemies are going to fire rockets at them and using them up and fire raids are much easier once they've used up all their their rockets right so th those are like two small tactics that you can use if you haven't already have an ally that you call in as soon as you see rockets or send out small animals to absorb the rocket hits. But you can get breachers that aren't explosive breachers too. Horde of 18 angry beavers. On juicer. D nice. D nice is probably sick of hearing name pronounced that way. Uh, Denise. Welcome in. Sorry. Sorry, but welcome back. Let me know if it bothers you. I won't use it. Do the pirates just use fists after firing the rockets? Yep. Like, Key and Peel changed my name forever. Be nice, be nice. All right, I'm going to split the recording so that it's easier for the editor to edit. The stream will continue, but I just need to split the recording. All right, there we go. New recording. We're back. Hey, hey, Ron. Be nice. It broke through. was in your animal pin. Yeah, so it needs to be zonable animals, not ranch animals, as far as where they shoot them. Now, you know... We have a little bit of downtime. I can explain Breacher AI a little bit so that you can either cheese them if you want or you can fight them how I do or in one of the ways I used to. So if you if a Breacher spawns, what the Breacher is doing is from where they spawn, they're trying to destroy to a assignable sleeping spot. So that could be an animal sleeping spot, um, a person sleeping spot, a bed, an animal bed, something that can have a person's name on it. They're trying to destroy it to that spot. So wherever they are, you, you're going to know their trajectory. They're going to be headed towards your bedrooms, basically, is what it boils down to. So you can uh, hedge your bets a little bit. So for instance, yeah, like the animal pins, I bet you had a bunch of animal beds or animal sleeping spots there, right? And those are assignable, name assignable. That's probably where the breachers were going. But that's, that's the first thing. That's where they're trying to get to. And so when you know that, you know which direction they're coming into. So if you want to cheese them, there's two different ways you can do that. You can have no sleeping spots in your base and just everyone sleeps on the friggin' ground with like an ideology where they don't care. Uh, and then they just won't come to your base. They'll just stay out somewhere. You can see me do that in the cheese run that's up on YouTube if you're curious. Cheese run or the solo mechanator run. Uh, there is a second cheesy thing that works as well is the non-breachers that come with a breach raid will path to a pathable powered turret. So for instance, if we had a uh, a mech breach coming this way and we had a power turret here, when the mechs get here, they're going to leave the termite and come toward this turret and we can just kill them in this little kill box, you know? Um, the way I usually deal with breaches in most of my playthroughs now is I just go out and kite them, but that it can be difficult if you're new to doing it. Very dangerous, but I just outrange them with my own weapons and kite them. Um... But again, if you know the pathing of the breach, you can kind of play in too. So again, like, 
let's say this is where all your sleeping spots are. Imagine this is your base, right? And the breachers spawn here. Well, they're going to come this way. So you can... Maybe it's hard to visualize. Hang on. Uh, all right. Here's where your sleeping stuff is. This is your barracks, whatever. And then here's your outer wall, whatever. Obviously, it'd probably be bigger than this, but... And the breachers spawn uh, here. Well, you know they're trying to get to the beds, so they're going to enter, like, at diagonal this way. So you can also set up on this side so that as they come through, you're throwing EMPs or whatever. You're killing them as, as they're coming through this way. It can be really dangerous unless you've got practice doing it, but... If you're not playing on commitment, you could always save it and practice it a couple times, you know? I know it's hard to visualize. I have a lot of playthroughs up on YouTube where with timestamps that show breachers and stuff. If you're really curious, you can go check out some of those runs and just look at the timestamps for breachers. And that will probably be a better visual on what I'm talking about. <laughs> but yeah, there's a lot of ways to deal with them. But rockets are always scary, regardless of the raid type. And having an ally to call in to eat rockets or some small animals to send against rockets can be very, very helpful. Need to call and wants to talk to my lawyer. I can't say they can't sue me for saying anything about animals. So, what do they want to talk about? Great DM Peel episode, yeah. <laughs> a, a run, D nice. Jaquelin, Jaquelin. Uh, I don't have any uh, any mood thing. Uh, right. So we're going to recruit and then re-arrest them. Wait. Yeah, yeah. We have to do that. Because we're losing rep of them. Yeah, no problem. No problem. Uh, Nova, thank you for the two months. Thank you, Nova. Appreciate it. Low and hemogen. I think I'll be fine. All right. Jeans. Purple. What are these friggin' jeans? <laughs> okay. We also do need one more melee weapon for uh, uh, versus girl. In. Is there any benefit to the tree worshiping meme from ideology? Not really. Not really. I mean, some of the ideologies are just challenging, right? They're not. Uh, they're not really min max ideologies. So the tree worshippers. Not really. Pretty rough. You can cheese tree... If you want to do a, a tree worshipping thing and for whatever reason you want to cheese it, they don't count cactus as trees. So you can go to a arid shrub land and just grow cactus for your wood needs so you don't have ravaged trees, but... Trying to make the most annoying ideology possible. Body purist. Guilty body purist tree worshippers would be pretty friggin' awful. Jeans. Blind sight. <laughs> Blind sight, tree worshipping, body purist, uh, guilty. That might be, like, awful. Sounds like a good next challenge run. Oof. That would suck. Lucian Stimulus. Where are the jeans? Uh, hey, there's the second Cataphract. If we have enough money to get both Cataphract tech prints, that's what we're going to go with. We do. We have enough. So let's grab the first one from these guys. Right? Don't we have enough? Maybe. Maybe. We don't want to... We'll be trading at a loss, so we want to get just enough to get it... Okay, and this one had the other one. We might have to load up some stuff to send over there. If we don't have stuff. Um
Lucerium or death. Body purists are not going to like Lucerium either. They're going to be unhappy. They're, they'll be constantly unhappy on Lucerium. Old desert biomes, coral and trees are pretty useful, and you can use tree worship for extra pruning speed. Yeah. Yeah, it's unfortunate that the dryads themselves aren't too great, but. No ritual joins. Ugh. Animal personhood. Uh, I think the tree worshiping is more annoying, but I actually used animal personhood a couple times. Has some some decent stuff with it. Yeah, if you put on loose fear, they're gonna be unhappy always. Yeah. No allowed executions, no allowed drugs, yeah. See our fire-related castery for the day? Uh, we had a Molotov go off in here, but we had a fire foam popper, so not a big deal. Not a big deal. Well, if we can get the cataphract tat print, that's gonna be pretty awesome. Come on. Get back. Oh, then like Santa Dryad stuff, yeah. There's always mods for that. That's that's true. You can set research not allowed, yes, you can. I mean you can set impossible things to overcome in the uh custom scenario if you really want. Fire worship meme. Well, not only is that a mod, but we are vampires. <laughs> it's so crazy. If an ET king gets hunted, they can just mind control the animal and then kill it. It won't attack them. Works for me. Works to me. Yeah, we gotta get some more blood bags. Trail. More blood bags. Uh, we got our next set of bionic legs done. Hopefully we have enough. If not, we can drop out a little bit. Why do I prioritize legs? Usually what I do is I prioritize arms on the crafter first and then legs. But movement speed is just incredible because they they become way more productive. You know, they get to all their places faster. They are better in combat. They get to their uh, stations faster as melee. They get to each target faster. Uh, speed also increases melee dodge, if I recall correctly. Usually, though, in a standard playthrough, I will give arms to my crafter. And then... Oh, man, we're getting such a bad deal now because of his uh, medical condition with no blood. Uh, anyway, I'll give arms to my crafter to speed up the crafting. And then I'll give one leg and one eye to everyone to get around faster and then to have better accuracy. Hey, we have enough, though. We have enough facts. God, everything is so expensive for him right now. Yeah, let's just get back home. It's fine. Okay, two cataphract tech prints. Nice. Okay, can't care move me mount. <laughs> I don't know. Bionic Spine doesn't increase speed further. Bionic Spine is one that caps out at 100%, so it doesn't make them better. It's just a replacement. Bionic Spine is just literally a replacement for the spine. Legs and eyes go missing a lot too, yeah. 
all pawns that are pyro only can be recruited. The problem with an all pyro thing is like literally no fires could ever put be put out. So it just and they're gonna have a fire breakdown at all of them once every 50 days. So it would just be an annoyance only. Like it would just literally be like, all right, well, at least once a year we just start over because there's nothing we could do. Literally couldn't put out fire. I guess once you get to like fire foam poppers, it's just like, all right, well, I guess a couple times a year we're just gonna spend ten components on on poppers. But yeah, so I, I don't know. It doesn't seem like it'd be a very interesting run. Water skip, you know, stuff like that. I think it would just be more of annoyance than it would be in like a super challenge or whatever. Maybe a mod or something would make it more interesting. Yeah, maybe. Oh right, I was I could have gotten death rest capacity off that last little bit. Okay, so we're not having a good time finding the genes, but it's not something that we have to have to have right this second. So I think priority is a few more blood bags, getting a weapon for versus girl, getting our cataphract stuff. Final legs are gonna off also offset the uh, the weight of those cataphract armors. Aside from that, we are trying to get a uh, other woman up to Countess. We're already up to Counts. Those are kind of the goals at the moment. Alpha memes and modded memes? No, I've never played with any modded memes. Cancer butchery? Wow. These edgelord pirates. <laughs> they literally named their settlement Cancer Butchery. Okay. Body, body part broke after usage. I mean, they can break or get ripped off or whatever, but yeah. If they had like a durability stat, that would kind of suck. My favorite P music, yeah. Desperate drifters. Uh, let's see if any of them are... Any of them have jeans. Hey, you guys got jeans? Let's see. Itkin. Baseliner. Baseliner. Dirt Mole. Baseliner. Andertal. Baseliner, baseliner. Uh, we need some more blood bags anyway, but Dirt Mole might be good. We could give them like intense UV sensitivity. That would help with uh, food. So let's see if we can get these two arrested without making the other ones mad. Blood bags. Start sorting them instantly like cattle. <laughs> um, I mean, they have a lot of awful stuff we can pull out.
So we just got that one the Neanderthal. Okay. Maybe another blood bag down here. Okay. Alright, well, we got one to pull jeans from, so. And potentially two blood bags as well. Right peg leg left. I wonder how we're doing on wood anyway. It's been a while since we yeah, we're actually kind of low in it. Um, okay, apply tech print, apply tech prints. Turn these back on. Alpha memes are pretty neat. They have a meme called Psychic Vampirism. Cyphogus from meditation is nerfed, but pawns get a skill called Death Kneel. Kills a down humanoid and fully charges their focus. <laughs> uh, blood feed. There we go. All right, we can research cataphract. Nice. Okay. Um, remove left leg, remove right leg. Another waste pack infestation. Man, we've had so many of those. Let's just deal with it. I don't feel like... Don't feel like waiting. Boy, they really didn't like those animals around there. Is Luciferium worth it? Luciferium is worth it as long as you can keep Luciferium. It's it's literally always worth it as long as you can keep it in stock. I guess unless they're a uh, teetotaler. Oh god, Zamana! They undrafted... We have so much bug meat all the time. Bug ASMR time. So much bug meat. How hard is it to get? Uh, as long as you are comfortable going out and trading with settlements, it's not that hard to get. And then if it's an emergency, you can go settle somewhere and hit the ancient danger. So it's it's really not hard to keep just a couple people on Luciferium. So if you have a couple of, kind of premium pawns to keep on there or pawns have some really bad health issues that you want to deal with with Luciferium, it's not that bad as long as you don't forget about it. Because, um, yeah, just Outlander settlements will have it pretty often. Like, half the time they're going to have quite a lot of it. And if you have multiple of those settlements around you, you can you can buy it pretty easily. Day 1005 of begging Tynan for more bug content. <laughs> Vanilla expanded nutrient paste. A mod allows your prisoners to eat meals while they are in bed. Automated blood farm system. Yeah, yeah someone else mentioned that the other day. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, my, my character didn't even get hit. Yeah. It's mainly the person in the center block there that was getting hit, which makes sense. What are you doing, Roy? Lay down. Operation. Okay, one leg gone. Let's do that again. Okay, that one's gone completely, so let's turn that one over to Imogen Farm. Okay, so Roy, now we got to remove those. Okay. And those huge packs are going like instantly. Uh, let's just put a shelf nearby temporarily. When 40 year colonists actually make packs, oh yeah, I wouldn't know how that is at all. It's fine as long as you don't zone it. Yeah, you also have to make sure it's in the zone for your people to take. <laughs> yeah. Tough, robust. Great combo. Uh, Let's see, farm, farm. Let's make sure I didn't forget any of these. That one's not supposed to be in the farm yet. Okay. And now we need to start extracting. Which one is the it's Roy, right? Yeah, all right. Roy. Let's see what we get from Roy. Like his cure conditions like dementia. Uh, yes. Yep. I can't get cancer, heart attacks, bad backs, bro. Uh, dementia, Alzheimer's, asthma, artery blockages. Yeah. Wish pawns in bed could feed themselves. They still have arms. I have to be spoon fed. <laughs> you going, Brooke? Welcome back. So that should start getting us pretty. Decent, right? Four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have eight that we're getting it from right now. Ooh, we still need a few more. Hmm. There are multiple bug cocoons without waking up the entire infestation one at a time. That's interesting. I don't think I've ever done that. Let's also make sure all these are on just basic medicine. That way, if a disease hits, I don't have to double check. I can just... Build. Okay. Yeah, it's tough pawn during their 80s makes sense. To, yeah, yeah, that would make a, if they're a good pawn, otherwise tough and you know, whatever. And yeah, that will uh, solve that problem for you. Okay. Um, what do the pigs reset? Four and a half days. So we got some stuff to take up there in four and a half days. Um. Right, we were working on getting some of these bedrooms switched over. Okay. Let's, uh, we'll just go to this fine, fine flooring for those. Death rest, okay. Where's yours? And blood feed off of Kasu, I guess, doesn't matter. But yeah, as a recurring issue in your family, you take that trade. Yeah, that is always a scary thing. Our problems run in my family on like both sides, so those things that I'm 
always a little worried about. For instance. Okay, man, we have like infinite food because of all the bugs that we kill. No! Oh, I was on 4X. Drop pod raid. I don't have the turret back out there. What do they have? It's all melee, uh, aside from the boss one. So this is an easy kill on them. Versus girl is not a vampire yet. What? Open that. Building that is annoying. I gotta get a turret back out there for when that happens. God. No pause mod strikes again. That no force slowdown. A little scary. Yeah, we gotta get her turned. Actually, let's keep those like that. Okay. Oh, I, I didn't realize that they actually got a hit on them. Like, did you get hit by the assault rifle that they had? So that, that was a center drop, but I can't fall under the mountain, so. Uh, getting those back up is kind of annoying. Long scanner also, but I don't have to wait. It's around two weeks late. Gotta catch up. Hey, think of all the all the content you have. It's a crazy run, rune, and it's um, it's well worth watching. That's you. And the first episode of this alone has so many rimworld stories that I'll literally never forget. It's it's a uh, it's an insane run. Is a really insane run. Okay, let's go ahead and make sure I put these back out here. That happens quite a bit. Kid Jimbo is trying to tie Cantaloupe in the Hall of Fame. Yeah, it's uh, it is crazy. The kid's definitely a character I will never forget. Absolutely. The kid. A good gene pack for blood bags like Deadcom with a paste dispenser and save a lot of time. Yeah, yeah. That's what we've been looking for is good genes for the slaves and for the prisoners. 10,000 food. Yeah, it's bug meat mainly. Or donkey. Sunblocked. Yeah, we got a uh, mech cluster. We haven't had a mech cluster in a while, actually. We had quite a lot there for a little bit. I don't think we've had one in like two streams. Just playing for the next run. I'm not 100% sure yet. Yeah, I have some ideas, but I haven't decided on which one yet, so I'm not ready to announce any or anything. Hey, wake up so I can preach on you. Wake up. <laughs> you got plot armor. All right, we'll keep an eye on it. <clears throat> keep an eye on it. Oops. I never changed that. Hate that. You wish that preaching would just automatically wake up the target. That would be nice. Oh, jeez. 
never connected that one. Okay. Uh, rating target. We do need more wood. The Gugo Covenant. No idea what they are. 23 people. We should be able to deal with that. Uh, I have plenty of death rest. So after Kasu is up, we'll go after that. Paid Toxic Spewer, Res Serum. I've stealing people's wood. Yeah, that's what we've been doing. Yeah. Vampires that steal wood. That's us. That's us. Furniture. Uh, let's make a few beds. We're trying to hit excellent or better. Yeah, let's, let's just make a few of them, and then we'll move the better ones over. Wait, are any of these excellent already? Yeah, there's one. Okay. And then we'll try to make some other ones here. And we'll delete anything under excellent. You can't get staked if no one but you has wood. Yeah, that's a good, that's a good point. Real good point. What do we get from Roy anyway? Immune. Super Claudia and immune. Those would normally be pretty freaking good, but genes regrowing thirteen days. Okay. I don't think there was any that we would want from the Etkin, right? I mean, awful mining would be fine actually. And again, Cycle Dole might be good too. So, Yoke. Alright, Yoke. Let's throw you in the machine. Yoke. We can sell the crap that we don't want. It's not worth a lot, but... You would think jeans would... I, I guess they're so easy to get. I was going to say, you would think they would sell for more, but they are pretty easy to get, so... Uh, Kasu, doing fine. Doing just fine. Wait, did I not end up selling, like, 10 assault rifles to the Empire? Or did I, and we still have, like, 10 more? I don't know. I meant to. Or, wait, is that what we shoved in here? No, there is some stuff in there, though. Uh, nah, everything's fine. Blue terrain, yeah, I would say so. Go on draft, welcome in. All right, look for excellent beds. Down there, they're all those away. There's an excellent one. That didn't take too long at all. Alright, so skulls, feel, and versus girl. Uh, you know what? We'll leave that for now. Because there's a lot of other stuff getting done. Ooh, a masterwork bed. Masterwork bed. Take that one instead, then. <laughs> launch ship space scenario where the fast wind to launch all colonists to space winds. Uh oh, like a, a competition thing? Yeah, I don't know. I I've done ship launch speed runs of my like own type, even recently, but. All right, so this one is going to feel. Yeah. This is going to scolds. Yeah, it's fine. This is going to be the Stellarch's bedroom, so we need to get them moved out.
upgrade on that masterwork bed. Um, a sad divinity. This furniture is engraved with an artwork of several blades. The whole image is depicted by the careful arrangement of hundreds of gunslingers. The style is modern with romantic elements. Okay. Yeah, I usually just uh, compete against myself in that sort of way. Think you could or have you done a one person only ship launch? Uh, yeah, yeah, I have done it. It's uh, it's not too bad actually. Raid points are not super high with one person, even on 500 percent. Uh, now getting to max raid points and dealing or doing it with one person, uh, we can do that too. I'm sure, especially if I use cheesy tactics. Sleep gene is worth the cost considering you need supplement comfort and pay half my six. You'll love this. It depends, but uh, no sleep is really crazy good. Yeah, if you can overcome the comfort. Furry tail and what? And great animals. Uh, I don't need that one. Yeah, get that out of there. Competition. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Bedroom, love it, and comfort mood. Yeah, yeah. So you can usually overcome that with just drugs, honestly. So it's it's crazy good, but um, a lot of times just having low sleep and then excellent or better beds, they hardly sleep at all anyway, and you don't lose those those benefits. Yeah, no sleep for slaves is what we're looking for at the moment. Do they communicate with each other? Uh, the blood bags? Yeah, they can, unless they all have their tongues removed. We still need more prisoners for, uh, for blood. No sleep really messed up vampires that burn to death. Oh, they have no sleep in yours? Because I know yours is modded, yeah. Vampires, or single phage, have low sleep by default. But I know you were doing a modded one. Had to zone them into the cave the whole time. All right. Uh, before we do that, finally replace these. Come on. You done? You need a tail? Entire colony of furries? <laughs> the monkey tail is really good. Extra manip manipulation always good. Half cycler implants is yeah, because they lose um conscious with a half cycler, yeah. All those morbid spine floor, yeah. Starting to look pretty good in there. Uh how long until the pigs reset? It's gotta be really quick now, right? Or really soon, I should say. Point six. Alright. I don't need death rest, yeah. We're gonna head that way. And then when I get back, we'll raid the wood camp there, the logging camp. Okay. Also, I need to try to get that relic. Just for the theme. Probably should have already tried that. So many assault rifles. And I feel like most of the lug meat is going to go bad on the trip. God, we have so much of that too. We can probably just stop growing rice for a while. Twin Blade Husky. Tier 3. 12 months. That is crazy odd. Thank you, Husky. Very much appreciated. Hysteric. They were the 62 months. That is forever. Tier 3. I don't see many tier 3 subs. Uh, and hey, almost full calendar year. You know what? At tier three at 12 months, maybe that is a full calendar year. Maybe you get upgraded. <laughs> Thank you, Husky. 
Ever play a roguelike called Last Bell? Yeah, I like Last Bell. Yeah. Uh, I played it when it first hit early access. I don't know if it's still early access, but I liked it overall. I didn't play that much of it, to be honest, but uh, it's one of those that was like, I'm going to come back to this once they uh, release some more stuff, and then it's really different now. Yeah, and I still haven't had time to come back to it, but I enjoyed it overall. I saw that uh, Barb was playing at Barbarous King last few days. Probably going to get some more popularity again. It is past 1.0 now. Nice. I have to recheck it out sometime. Grand Thrumbo. It's been a while since you've seen Thrumbo. What's going on with you? Rebuffed by Muffin Girl? Hey, you leave Muffin Girl alone. What's wrong with you? Wait, how long is... How old is Skulls? Skulls are only 14. Okay. Neil is 16. You guys have rebuff things as well? No recent conquest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Zamana and Feel. Hmm. Only 13% chance at romance. Yeah, we'll wait. You played the Rimworld tournament where you need to be the highest well, then move your settlement to tile and fought into danger. What's the purpose of that tactic? Uh, it's the fastest way to get more colonists. So basically, on those competition things, the faster you can get higher colonists, the bigger snowball you can get rolling because more colonists means bigger raids, means more human leather, means more work gets done. And Ancient Dangers, if you open an Ancient Danger casket and the person inside is standing, whether they're hostile or not, if they're standing, when you arrest them, they will have basically no resistance. So you pretty much recruit them instantly. And in a lot of cases, you recruit instantly. Uh, worst case scenario, you recruit them in like a day. So it is incredibly, incredibly efficient at getting colonists. And so that's why I did that in the in the competition. We got our snowball rolling really early and I planted food before I left so that that food would be ready for us to eat when I came back with all those extra colonists. How are you growing rice in toxic area? This is not a toxic area. Toxic is over here. No pollution here at all. No pollution there at all. Really good tactic. Yeah, I think most people are doing it, and well, a lot, of, a lot of the people are doing it now. Cataphract is done being researched. Nice. All right, make cataphract helmet do until we have X. X is one, but yeah, it is it is very strong. Yeah, normal or better. There we go. Perfect. Play rushing well for a reason, including time-based difficulty. It's enjoyable, but you can get wrecked. Yeah. All about the risk for reward, though, for that competition. You're up so fast. Yeah, this is just hydroponic rice under the mountain with sun lamp. EQ just has a normal bed, so let's get rid of that. Maybe I just go ahead and make double beds. Probably should have done that. I mean, I can make royal beds for everyone, honestly. We have so much gold. Yeah, screw it. Uh oh, <laughs> this isn't, uh, this isn't as even as I had thought. It's all right. No one, no one notices. It's fine. Uh, Royal, Royal, Royal bid. Okay. So who's our best construction person? It is EQ. So EQ, go ahead and make this. Oh, it's going to be your bed, EQ. Do a good job. I made a double bed on accident. Whoops. Just kidding. Destroy it. All 
All right. So you got the practice out of the way. Now you know how to do it. So excellent or better royal bed. You can do it. You can do it. I'll be back. Check in a second. Jeans. Roar voice. Never sleep. Oh, uh, why is it with go juice dependency? Come on. <sighs> that sucks. Uh, it's one of the worst dependencies to have to keep fulfilled as well. Wonder when I would notice that right away, right away. Sleepless juicers. Now, in reality, they would only need to take the go juice uh, within every thirty days, right? So we could probably swing it. Introduce a gene splitter. Yeah, that would be nice. This is probably worth it. And we get the roar voice, so everyone's going to be going around going, oh, 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 oh. Yeah, all right, we'll get it. Man, they're going to be, like, zooming around, getting stuff done. Like Hussars, eh, they're okay. You know what, I'll go ahead and grab it. We can always change it out if we get one, uh... Split. Split. Yeah, we'll grab it, and the other pig place should be pretty much tradable now, too, so... I guess we'll buy this go juice while we're here, then. 1.6 days. Alright, we'll head that way. Yeah, we can implant it on one person, and then try to extract it from them, yeah. We got plenty of willing subjects to do that, too. Go juice, never sleeping slaves. Yeah, that would be pretty good. What else did we end up getting up here? Right, I'm going to take that with us. Oh, well. Yeah, we can do that. Oh, it's just that he's waiting to get his blood extracted, right? Okay. All right. Oh, a masterwork. Okay. Playing fire. Ah, you're fine. You're fine. You go ahead and move that. And yeah, I think I'm just going to work on these anyway. Uh, an excellent. Good. Good, good. We have so much gold. Like, why not? Make him happy. Did I make the turret? Yeah, I made three. <laughs> I did make the turret. We've had so many drop pods there. Yeah, got that done. Alright, EQ. Another excellent or better, alright. Excellent or better. <clears throat> north. Let's go north. Let me just scan two separate things of gold on our map. Just filling it because you remember the stockpiles event. Yeah, probably right. A good one? Terrible. Alright. Um. Yeah, we'll make some more of them. How close are we to the next pig place? We're almost there. Oh, you know what? We can do the festivals when we get back, too. That might be... Some blood bag opportunity. How you doing? Got no sleep yesterday? Yeah, it's never fun. Had a couple of those this week as well, unfortunately. We made a mod that shows scans are on off cycle. Oh, that's yeah, that's interesting. A mod for it, so you don't have to like look at a look at the page that shows it. Yeah. 
Really? Yeah. Yeah. Fortunately, I had a couple of those this week. Sarah, you want a good one? No. Excellent. Excellent. I got melee chainsaw outside the window. <laughs> that sucks. Oh, I was going to turn her into a vampire too. We just don't have the blood though. Do not have the blood. All right, jeans. What do you guys got? Oh, that's my own. You guys got nothing? Got nothing. Wait, did you reset? Oh, half a day. We're going to have to wait. Gonna just have to park there for a little bit. Going betrayal. Welcome in. Betrayal. Looks like we got two more bionic legs up. When I first opened that, I thought it showed three bionic legs. I was like, whoa. Other woman, what's going on there? Where's that third bionic leg? Zamana, install bionic leg left, install bionic leg right. View the legendary hospital bed there. Squirrel self tamed. Uh, right, so you can go into the animal zone. We might use you to absorb a rocket someday. You might have used me to what? Yeah, I said anything. We have no slaves on construction. All right. Well, you're going to start doing some of that. That's right. Our uh, our construction slave got kidnapped. I do believe. Point one day. Lurking. Thank you for the lurk. Um... Wow, we actually got all those chunks chopped up. Excellent. Way to go, team. Way to go. It's a dispenser. They have no legs, so yeah. I thought about we we actually had one here when it was up there. I probably should put another one there. That way, at least they don't have to deliver the. Um, I thought at first you meant so they could feed themselves, but yeah. So we don't have to deliver it all the way down there. Maybe I should do a little one. Um. Go seven thirteen for them, and then we'll do a little area back there for it. I end up having breachers through there at some point. That might be annoying. But let's see. We actually have only had like two or three breachers too. It's very odd. No idea. Could be mod related. I have no idea. Don't know what all this mod does. All right. Jeans. Jeans. Heavy jaw and smoke leaf resistant. Happy. No, those are not what we're looking for. Oh, you guys actually have a mono sword. All right. Grab that while we're here. And... Um... I don't have any capped uh, death rest capacity. Oh. I do not. Okay. It's all a bunch of this junk. I guess I will sell some more so that we can get a sterile tile so that we can go through the hospital stuff a little bit faster. It's fine. Oops. 
Mm, could also buy Go Juice. Don't have any. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Nope, they don't. All right. Ambrosia. Okay, gotta get back. Turn a versus girl into a vampire. Do these to try to get more blood bags. Then we got to go on a raid as well. Uh, no, I'm not going to that one alone. Yeah, that would be one versus 23. I uh, imagine that would go pretty poorly. I gotta pick up some people to go that way with. We're good, Juicy. Yeah, they didn't have any. Right, that shelf got destroyed. I forgot about that. There you go, squirrel. I know a uh, simple meal is a little large for a squirrel, but you know. Treat our animals better than we do our slaves. <laughs> uh, do turrets deter breachers? No, not breachers. They deter sappers, but those are there specifically for drop pod raids. We've had like three drop pod raids here and uh, yeah, I got sick of it. Oh, that is true. There is a message. If you do look in here, uh, when this pops up, what if I have one? Probably not. But there are smart breaches. Those do act more like sappers. Yeah, that's true. But in general, you can't really rely on them. Although the exploit I was talking about earlier about pulling the non-breaching entities in a breach to an area that you want them to does use turrets. Going to Smurf. Welcome in. Here I don't. Okay. So, yeah, keep making legs. Cameron's back. All right. Yeah, I always forget that. Uh, so, if you do the normal base in the center and you set up the deterrence for. Sappers, like I was talking about earlier, um, smart breachers will also be deterred to the same direction as your sappers are funneled. So it's just like another thing that you don't have to think much about. But no, only if it says they are smart breachers will they will it matter. The crap. I know it's coincidence, but we got the long range mineral. Scanner set to gold, and then it got destroyed. And then ever since that happened, all of our scans from these two have been for gold. <laughs> Interesting. Smurf beat up. Just talking about Smurf. Well, someone was asking me because I'm your your keeper, obviously. No, I don't. I don't mean to end any offense, but someone was asking me like, where's Smurf been? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Talking, talking to him about the... Uh, oh, no, no. Uh, I was talking about, to you about the community challenge last night. That's all I know. Adam, what would you do with Smurf? Where'd you put him? I didn't do anything with him. Didn't do nothing. Smurf's keeper. <coughs> Brother's keeper. Kane, where's your brother? I'm not my brother's keeper. Does that insinuate that I've killed Smurf? We're going very biblical. Um, I'm still not need a death rest yet, so <sighs> hmm. Yeah, I probably shouldn't go to that raid yet. Locked him in the closet, punching him for IRL adaption. Imperial Trader. Yeah, we'll do this. It's not that important anyway, but screw it. Not sure. <laughs> Smurf, do you give in real life adaption? It has been a pretty rough week here. Oh, man. I just remembered this week. All right. 
didn't shake that up enough earlier. It's good now, though. All right, so we got the no sleep there. We want to give to one of the sl Oh, no. We're going to give that to maybe one of the prisoners. Uh, no, we'll give it to we'll give it to one of the slaves. It's fine. Face looking pretty. Hmm. And then they're just going to have to do go juice every now and then. That's fine. Uh, which one would be the most beneficial on go juice? Level 16 mining that seems pretty good. There's always going to be stuff to mine. Yeah, I feel like that's probably the one. All right, Cardioth. Um, gene processor. What if you give it to a thrall and no goju, they'll eventually die. It takes a long time, though. They'll go into a coma in like 30 days and they'll die at 60. A visitor. From where? Arda. Hmm. Hmm. Another dirt mole. We just became friends with these guys, actually. They're pretty far. Well, I mean, they're they're down here. Like, it, we might as well. Yeah, we can trade with them next time we go trade with the Empire, actually. So, yeah, I'm not going to keep. Why is it out of there? I was going to take it with me to trade it. Yeah, and I just forgot to click on it. Um, I wonder if the Empire will buy that. I'm not sure if they'll actually buy it or not. About to find out. Yeah, I actually just popped it out because I was going to take it with me and I forgot. Oh, they have poor melee. Awful art. Nice. Grab awful art. That's just full benefit for us. And then, furry tail, sell that to them. Or melee would also be pretty good. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Nice. Oh, they're already on it, but the trading, yeah, yeah, pretty nice. The unresting janitors, a link self tamed. The links has volunteered to uh, catch rockets at some point. Ah, uh, Nekator. I don't know if I'm getting your name right again, but uh, take your prime sub. Thank you. Thank you for using that here. Very much appreciated. Yeah, for anyone that doesn't know, I get asked sometimes. I know people probably think I'm just throwing it out there to try to get more, which is also the case. I mean, not to be honest, but uh, I sometimes get asked because I it's oftentimes easy, at least for me to forget that like Twitch is actually a pretty small website compared to things like Google and YouTube and stuff like that. So there are, there are tons of people that have just never been over to Twitch or really don't want to go to Twitch. They're on YouTube. However, if you have Amazon, you have Amazon Prime, you can hook it up to Twitch and it gives you one free subscription per month on Twitch. And that subscription gives money to from Amazon to that creator. So if you have Amazon Prime, hook it up to Twitch, get Twitch Prime and use it once a month somewhere, even if it's not here, just don't let it go to waste. Make Bezos pay that two and a half bucks to someone. Uh, but yeah, thank you, thank you for the support. Uh, Toxic, thank you for the lurk also. Thank you for the four months. Thank you, Toxic. I tr uh, I'm trying to remember to use mine every month on streams, other streams as well, even if I, I'm not going to end up watching very much that month. Just it doesn't cost me anything extra. I might as well just do it. I have forgotten before, though. <laughs> Eat the rich. Uh, thank you, Brian. So, yeah, we got a pretty good gene pack now. Let's take a look at this. Um, wait, 
What do we have? What all do we have? Immune. Hmm. Um. Yeah. Go ahead and get this started here. I could have all put this all in one. I don't think we're going to have a complex enough to need this huge room, but. Uh, yeah, let's move it over here just in case they end up rebuilding over here instead. Lurking. Episode 5 first. It's been a crazy run. Thank you for watching. Kim. Guten Tag. Why are you so formal? Kim. Guten Tag. Who's Leanne? Uh, Kim. Thank you for the 15 months. Tier 3. Tier 3. Thank you, Kim. Why so formal? Because I'm formerly German. Negatives of that. Using raid baits. What do you do with Toxax? Ditch them outside. So at the moment, yeah. So I'm using it for two things. One is the vampires actually don't care about toxicity, so it doesn't bother them. Raids that care about it are coming through this, which is a small debuff. But also we get waste pack infestations at some of our events. And we can deal with those very easily. Uh, we could leave them out there so that they kill a raid if we really wanted to. So we're just dumping them outside. Um, I will eventually, if we have some Apocriton, I'll eventually start getting rid of it. But at the moment, I'm just not worried about it. Just dumping it on that corner of the base. Testing your German skills. Uh, I haven't done any more since that stream. <laughs> Germans are very formal in writing, so it fits if you're practicing. Line. Uh, my pleasure, Line. <laughs> Took me a little bit longer than I should have to realize what you were saying, but <laughs> thank you, Line. And Kim, thank you for the five gift subs also. Thanks, Kim. I'm going to pay for your German lessons. Uh, thank you. Oh, but for anyone that doesn't know what we're talking about, if you go uh, on Twitch right now, I've typed Exclusion Babble, B-A-B-B-E-L have a temporary battle sponsorship just for a few more days where they're given 60% off. You use the link and uh, I get a big cut of it as well. I'm not allowed to tell you how much, but actually relatively significant. If you sign up for three months of the 60% off, basically what you pay for it, you're just straight up donating, donating it to me. And then you get three months of babble. So and then you can remember to cancel if you want. Uh, but if you want to learn another language just for fun or work or travel or whatever, it's a pretty good deal. 60% off. Speak to me in your native Australian. Probably be banned. Yeah, that's... Uh, I, I know what you have in mind. <laughs> uh, two Bs. Or two Bs in the middle. B-A-B-B-E-L. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Alright, so getting this done. We should have enough silver brought back now, right? Yeah, it's just going to take them a little bit of time. Which in... Uh... Let's go ahead and do one of these festivals. We haven't done one in a while, and if we get a join, we can use them as a blood bag, unless they're, like, incredible. We'd have to be really incredible for me to take another vamp person to become a vampire right now. Alright, let's do it. Uh, Twinkie, welcome in. Fun, not fun enough to get a join. Okay. Make sure none of the slaves are in here. Here we go. Squirts. Oh god, Squirt. How old are you? Muffin Girl's sister? No. What? Oh god, please no. How? How? Muffin Girl's sister? That's Jimbo's sister-in-law. Crap. All right. Oh, God, Squirt. She's a Hussar. Why? 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 60-year-old <laughs> Hussar. Uh... She's 12. <laughs> Great vampire. No, I don't believe so. 
We need more blood bags. Sorry, Muffin Girl. Your sister will always be here. If she dies, we can we can preach. Oh, she is gonna die eventually unless we give her drugs. We can enslave her. Have her arrest her own sister. I'm actually thinking about just banishing her so we don't have to worry about about it, which kind of sucks, but. Sixty and twelve year old sisters, yeah. Yeah, all right. Call us banished. <laughs> I mean, you, there's a couple of genes that would have been okay, yeah, but I'm just gonna get rid of her before anything happens. Yeah, but I don't want her as a colonist is the thing. I don't want her as a colonist, so... I don't think it would be very good to make her a blood bag. So... Muffin Girl's sister's just passing through. Just passing through. In a normal run, I would not have cared, but... I make her blood bag? It's... I don't think it would be right... I don't think Muffin Girl would be down for her sister. Maybe she doesn't like her sister, though. Maybe it would have been fine. No, nah, she likes her sister. I don't think. I don't think that's a good idea. Just for the theme. That'll be done. Yeah. Ah, uh, Sly Jaren, thank you for the four months. Thank you, Sly. Din, thank you for the three months. Thanks for all the relatives tricks. Playing since baby, and you still learn some things. Oh. <laughs> oh, animal worker eyes not ready. <laughs> I'm laughing, but uh he does have really good armor on, so he's probably gonna be fine. Bruh, bruh, bruh. 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 Ruh, ruh. Any avatar for good food? Sisters that you wouldn't want to eat them? Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, just part of the theme of the run. Oh, uh, yeah, there's the cataphract helmet. I forgot how similar the cataphracts... Right? Yeah, I forgot how similar the morbid cataphract looks to the morbid marine helmet. Very similar. Very similar. Have her sister punch her? No, it's all right. We'll just we'll just lose out on an extra blood bag for the for the theme. Um. Uh, I'm gonna go raiding after the next Cassandra cycle, which is happening like pretty much now. Mm -hmm. Put that in a little bit. Yeah, there it is. What is it? A breach. Uh, where are they gonna come from? I still gotta get her legs, man. I mentioned it not long ago, but all right. So now the breach axes are dead. This will be 
Be straightforward. Oh, they're not all dead. Eh. vampire I gotta remember that Looks like we got one possible blood bag out of that. We love the kid. Jimbo the kid. Definitely going to remember Jimbo forever. He's just so cool. <laughs> and his backstory is really insane. Jackal. Oh, another Neanderthal to uh, rip things from. So it's good. All right. It was a Neanderthal raid. So he was in farm. Uh, install. Egg leg left. Install peg leg right. And then, uh, is Roy ready again? Yeah, four days. Okay. So, Connor, thank you again. Mm -hmm. Memes before themes. Sisters must be treated with respect. Uncles must be sold into slavery. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, being on Kasu. Toxic build up. Oh, we were out there for a while. Ron's looking good. Yeah, yeah, we're uh, we're pretty stable now. Finally. Finally. It's been a rough time, but looking pretty good now. We've got cataphract on the way. Oh, had they already lost a leg? the deep storage mod be i've never used it so um so used to they said one of the design philosophies of rimworld was tile economy and every tile could be one thing but then in 1.4 they added trip uh triple stacks on shelves so i mean use whatever you want to use i mean i guess technically any mod is kind of cheating right altering the game in some way or the other but it's a single player game just use whatever you you want so if uh for whatever reason three stacks per per shelf tile is not enough then yeah use it if you want never use it though so now the game so that is her yeah but i mean it no matter what you do when you download a mod it's going to be different than the intended way for the game to be so it's just going to be you know obviously modified so do whatever you want it's a single player game mod it make it harder make it easier no matter what, it'll change the game from its intended state, right? So, these are way cheesier than shells. Yeah, yeah, of course, but it doesn't matter. Whatever you want to do. Monster nerds. Especially R2. Uh, those kind of mods, yeah. Yeah, they are. 
infection. Okay, hopefully they live. Um, yeah, let's see if she hits again, and then we need to go do a raid. Out, actually. <laughs> Oh, wait, was it on the... Yeah, I didn't even check. Hang on. Yeah, all right. So it, it was on the leg that we were replacing, so it didn't matter anyway. All right. Operation. Uh, remove it left leg, and then we should be good on them. Okay. Oops. And then when that surgery's done, we'll go ahead and rip a gene as well. Crash you can get that doesn't involve spine skull. Oh, femur? Uh. Man, it's got to take a lot of force to break a femur. Holy crap. That was a big gold node. Big gold node. Time to give that one slave a leg. Uh, Probably so. I might just go ahead and give them one of the, the next bionic leg that pops out. I was going to make them a separate, just prosthetic one, but... Yeah. 4,000 Newtons. Newton. Like Fig Newtons? How much does 4,000 Fig Newtons weigh? Go ahead, Shadow Hunter. Welcome in. I haven't had a Fig Newton in forever. You guys like Fig Newtons? I actually do like Fig Newtons. But my favorite is the Strawberry Newtons. Do you have a favorite run that sticks out in your head? There's a couple of things that pop into mind when someone asks me that. Uh, so I'll give you multiple answers. One is the Melee Gods, not Melee only, but Melee Gods run. And it was because it was one of the most fun runs I've ever done. It's completely a different way to play. We were overpowered. The beginning was a little bit tough, but it was just like... To give you an example, we had a big raid. Uh-oh. He's in the toxic to build up too much. Um we had a really big raid, and I put all my pawns into drop pods. I had a drop pod in the middle of the raid, and then I just undrafted everyone and just let them go and kill everyone. So melee gods uh is one of my answers. The Winston Waves runs was also really fun, again, because it was a different way to play Rimworld, very different than normal. Um Aside from that, though, I guess the runs I think of that I'm, like, most proud of is the no walls, no doors, no rooms, build everything in the open challenge, and the first melee only run. So I guess those are the four that come to mind first for different reasons. Melee gods, Winston Waves, the original melee only, and the no walls, no doors, no rooms playthrough. The impossible challenge, I think it's listed on, on YouTube. I think the run that was most transformative, though, was actually my first ever 5% no-kill box run. Someone actually found a, cl a clip from, like, three years ago where I was telling chat that I didn't think it was possible to beat 5% without a kill box. And now I've done it, like, 15 times, right? <laughs> That's, so. Any one of those four would be on your resume. Having all four makes legendary. Legendary. Yeah. Lots, lots of interesting runs. Your favorite treat? Fig Newton's really. It is your favorite. You're currently eating a Fig Newton. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> I haven't thought about them in a while. Are doors walls? Yes. yes they are. Tan Plasteel. Justin needs death rest. Uh, was this yours? You don't like Fig Newtons? I like them. I like the Strawberry Newtons quite a bit, though. Man, I haven't had any of that stuff in a long time. I tend to not buy anything like that because if... If I have them, I can eat them. <laughs> and I, I know people are going to be like, well, yeah, obviously, that's why you buy them. Duh. You know what I mean. What is a Fig Newton? It's like a little soft... Cookie pastry thing with, like, a fig paste in it. Out of sight, out of mind, yeah. 
It's like, man, I don't really eat candy because I don't buy candy, but it, there's some candies that I really like. And if I have them, I will eat, I will eat them. Like one of my favorite candies is the um, sour gummy worms. Uh, if we're talking about just candy, right? I'm not really a big sweet eater or candy eater, but for some reason I really like the uh, sour gummy worms and I haven't bought them in a long time. And then my wife bought me a three pound bag like last Christmas or something for my birthday or something. And I put it in a big closed contain, like a glass bowl with a lid on it, you know, and I put it mistakenly on my computer desk and I was doing work. I was doing like some editing work or something. And I wasn't even thinking. I was just like just eating them as I was sitting here. And my wife came in and she was like, oh my God. And I was like, what? And then I looked, there's like five left in the bowl. I ate like three pounds of sour gummy worms while I was sitting here working over the span of a few hours. I was like, this is why we're not supposed to have these. <laughs> it's like, no. So anyway, I try not to uh, buy things that I know I will eat a lot of that are bad for me. Man, I could not believe I'd done that. Manhunter. It's been a while since we had a manhunter attack. Oh my god, he's there again. Ugh. Maybe I should have gotten pollution stimulus from uh from her sister. Yeah, well, too late now. Her sister's been released into the wild. All right, let's hang out here until I can make sure they are not going to be banging on that door. All right, we're good. Why we die? Cause health at the moment. Fig Newtons were all right on occasion. You only buy candy at movie theaters. Trying to stay low carb. We always keep big Newtons around. I tried the strawberry. Yeah, I really liked strawberry when I was uh, like a teenager. Tried blackberry. I don't think I've had blackberry fig Newton. Blackberry Newtons. But only run was really fun too. Really crazy run. Yeah, that's literally what I'm working on. Yeah, that's the whole reason I'm getting this mind out. Yep. Big rolls. You're younger in the UK. Haven't had one in like 30 years though. For the rhinos. Yeah, that's that's what this is uh this is for. <laughs> Balloon rubbing. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, look how dirty that is. <laughs> Go nim. Don't ever set up spike wood traps. Uh only in the very early game. Only in the very early game, and sometimes not even then. All right, all right. Definitely not on this map. We have no way to have uh, wood on this map. There's a sun blocker. I'm not using fiber corn or anything, so I actually have to go out and get some wood after this attack for our throne room. Only inside your current Dark Souls themed run with ideology. Oh, uh, yeah. This, what, what is that run? What are you doing? Are you also going bows only or? What's prison expansion going to be for? Uh, it's going to be put extra food down here. Drug free slave. What? Oh, the bugs destroyed that. Uh. Okay. I wonder why we weren't chopping that up. Or wildlife on this map. Yeah. Sun's been blocked for years, like 10 years. Yeah, spike uh wood spike traps are fine, especially early game. If you're on a map that you have infinite wood just growing out on your map, you know, if you have a year long growing or not even year long growing. If you have any kind of forest map, temperate forest, jungle, whatever, then it can be absolutely worth it. Use them, especially the early game. Uh, I don't think so. I talked about it. 
we could we could have as many blood bags as we want if I set up the burn box, but I don't want to. It's not very thematic in this one because the vampires are literally scared of fire. And so I don't think they would sanction a big box that burns people alive, you know? So it's just part of this run. Yeah, we probably won't use it. Any news about the new DLC? Nope. Bows and steel long swords, side cast as miracles. Yeah, it's kind of cool, yeah. Yeah, uh, they don't have pills for that in RimWorld, unfortunately. Yeah. Empires are like Batman, turn their fears against their enemies. Uh, <laughs> they're not. <laughs> These ones aren't, at least. These ones aren't. Uh, yeah, we could use Guarland Tree, but yeah, we're not going to in this run. We just go on raids for wood. The raiding thing is very thematic to the run in general. It's a part of our ideology, so. We're getting kind of lowish, but the raid sites end up having thousands of wood, so it's fine. Let's do check. That man was a vampire. Maybe he is. Maybe he is. So we do have a bionic leg. I think I am going to go ahead and give them. All right. I'm going to equip this and then left leg. All right, once that's smooth, we will put power through there, and then that'll save a lot of movement time. Joker became a vampire? I don't know about that one. Resurrected a dead pond that you buried years ago? Yes. Yep, I have kept someone in a freezer for like eight years or something and then res them. And their their loved one, their wife, was still around. <laughs> and they just went right back to like nothing ever happened. Let's go. Like, oh, there's my... My husband, the zombie. You need to stop getting up. He waited. Pops out of freezer, starts loving. Yeah, it's crazy. In game, destroy every settlement? No. No, we're doing the royalty ending. So we're going to get at least a royal couple and then do the royal ending. Ending. How to train your dragon? Yeah, you're as beautiful as the day I lost you. Well, yeah, it was frozen the whole time. gonna do with you wait did you get that leg oh you did already I guess I'm gonna have to lock him in there uh let's do another temporary one of these until he's better Temporary zone Don't want the bed on it. Okay. Good enough. Doing ASL GSL? Uh, yeah, I'm caught up on both unless there was something new today. I'm definitely caught up on GSL. Did you, have you watched both of them already, Tet? And I watched uh, day... 
Watch the first two days of ASL. So if that's all there is so far, then I'm all caught up. You always like to left the map healthy, but they've got peg legs and are missing half their organs. Yeah. <laughs> Right, skulls. Oof. I might need death rest before that raid. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do it. Watch those groups, ASL, so catch the GSL, got you. I was going to mention one of the GSL series, but I'll wait until you're done with it. Uh, all the ASL stuff went kind of as I thought it would, yeah. I'm not too surprised by anything. It is weird that in GSL, Ragnarok changed his name. Because even though they told me in the beginning, I, keep, I kept thinking, like, who the crap is Shin? Who is this person, Shin? Why is he doing so well? Shin is Ragnarok? Yeah, yeah. How do you prevent the slaves from breaking? So we are doing a theme playthrough called Terror Slavery. And if the if the slaves are under five mood, they'll never break. But that's a modified thing. So typically you would want to keep your slaves happy and suppressed. But because of this, we want them very unhappy. But infused, welcome back. Thank you for the three months, infused. And uh, Sly, I'm going to thank you again. I already thanked you, but... Made them single fish fanatics and they gain happiness from having their image extracted. Uh, we have kind of a thing like that. They get happy for uh, being bitten. Yeah. Similar. Should be enough. Um... Yeah, those are critical as well. So, you know what? Let's just have three of these. They'll get refilled pretty quickly. There we go. And then, uh, it's a pretty small room. We could probably just do one cooler there. Yeah, we got quite a bit of slate. Thanks for the content. My pleasure. Thank you for watching. Rep when you tin the fell pawns of the friendly factions. When do you get rep? It feels like it's bugged. We were talking about it before. You don't always get it anymore. So after 1.4, sometimes when an enemy falls and you tin them back to health and they leave healthy, you still don't get uh, goodwill for it. Not, I'm not sure why. Yeah, that started, I'm pretty sure, after 1.4. But still, yeah, still bugged. No bug. Unfortunately. Okay, there we go. Now that will save us a lot of time. Yeah, there we go. There we go. There's a mod that fixes it and it reinforces that it is a bug. So hopefully that'll be fixed on the next one, whatever patch release. Okay. React coming to destroy the shell for what? There we go. Uh, we're actually really low on Plasteel. There's some right there. Stop rescuing broken people from other factions because of it. Yeah. That suck. Okay, uh, we are going to go on a raid. Are you... Do you have to come with us? Not really. How many people are at it? 
Wait, we got some others that popped up, but we need the wood site. 20 people steel, 20 people gold, 17 people fur. We want the wood one. 23 people, man. We probably should wait till he's better. Is it worth allying tribals? I feel like it is not for multiple reasons. Uh, so for me, I try to anger all tribals because tribals are the easiest raids. They, they, they're just the easiest raids, especially in the late game. They're just the easiest raids that there are. And so the more tribals you have angry at you, the higher chance you're going to roll a tribal raid instead of a pirate raid, which are the hardest. Plus, the pirate, pirate raids are definitely the hardest um, late game, or at least the more swingy ones, right? So, yeah, for me, I would say uh, anger all the tribals if you're kind of min-maxing it. Pawns name pets themselves. Pawns can name pets themselves. What? There's gold here. They name them when they bond. Oh, impids. Even impids in a normal run are way easier than pirates. Yeah. What a run with minimal death on enemy down, but max on call us down. Um... I mean, if if you just use like burn boxes and stuff, it wouldn't be it would would be too bad. It would be kind of annoy, annoying. Any stray shot just kills your people. But all right, so ones that drop overhead directly into your base. That's one of their raid types. Yeah, pirates can center drop, scatter drop, siege, uh, frontal attack, uh, breach. Yeah, they got like all the ra all the raid types. Pirates. I'm guessing they mean like colonists die easily, but I'm not sure. That's, that's how I took it, but. I just get all the secret weapons. Yeah, yeah. That's why I said like higher chance to get tribals, the better for me. When you ally tribals, do you get less raids? No, it doesn't work that way you get less tribal raids because there's less tribals for it to roll. So ba basically at the very like base level, there's a little bit more to it than this. The game has different raid types, different major events that are weighted, and then it rolls it based on that weighting. And some of it has minimum raid points, some of them don't. Uh, and then from there, like everything's weighted like that. So it'll roll into it. So like just because you have um, every faction that you can ally or whatever allied isn't going to reduce the chance of raids because it, if it rolls a raid, then it can be mechs or, you know, pirates or savage tribe or whatever. It's not going it, to, it doesn't roll raids in that sort of way. So it's just this weighted system. What kind of major events it rolls a major events. Uh, I'm probably going to get your name wrong. Is it? I'm going to go with Switney. Switney. <laughs> Let me know. <laughs> we got all the spooky weapons. Yeah, Doomsday Rockets and Triple Rockets can absolutely end a run. Yeah. A lot of variance in the pirate raids like that, but. Okay, so let's pull some more jeans if they're ready. And then after that, we will get these gene packs going. Roy. Pronounced perfectly. What? It's surprising. Who's the yellow name people? Those are slaves. Those are slaves. We're gonna do errands. Uh, I think we're hanging out. Well, you could. Peter Pan knows about pirates. Peter Pan's a bad guy in that story, don't you know? Tumak, welcome in. Tina Rina, welcome in. Other rounds have been fun today. Today's been pretty smooth, actually. Well. At the very beginning of today, we had uh, Dug Too Deep, two raids, and two caravan ambushes, all within the span of a couple minutes. Final Phenomenon. Thank you for the Twitch Prime. Thank you, Phenomenon. Appreciate it. That's a movie I haven't seen in a long time. Phenomenon. You guys remember that movie? Okay, so Zoodles is now recruited. Recruited that Zoodle. Now, the reason we did that 
is so that now we can harvest blood without their faction getting upset because they're no longer part of that faction. Figure out how to use the prime description. Thank you. <laughs> they were doing that. Green ghost. Welcome in, green ghost. Uh, He's at 69%. Cautious minus 25%. Yeah, we'll wait a little bit more. May I ask, aren't the mechanoids hardest raid? I don't think so, no. Most of the mechanoid raids, most of the dangerous mechanoid raids, you can just outrange with just assault rifles, so it ends up being pretty straightforward. And then you can also just stun them with EMP grenades, right? You can just stun the entire raid. Like, if, if it's a raid that comes through a, through a kill box, you can just do that, and then the breach raids, you can just outrange, so... To me, in late game, mech raids are generally one of the easiest. I would definitely put it as easiest as tribal, and then mechs, and then outlanders, and then pirates. I would very much say pirates are the most dangerous late game raid, uh, at least on the difficulty that I play on. Missing one guy that has a doomsday or a frag grenade can kill 10 plus people instantly. Yes, <laughs> I've had that happen, yep, yep. Especially with no pause. It might be different, you know, per person. But for me, mechs are one of the easier late game threats. Big people and Neanderthals. Neanderthals are tribal, so don't mind them too much in late game. We have enough firepower that's not a big deal. But pig people are pirates, which uh, are explosive outlanders, so. Just lost eight colonists in a pirate, pirate raid. Yeah. Having a center drop land and oh and open up and immediately throw frags everywhere and just end a run especially with no pause all right and again a lot of it can depend on your difficulty so and just your experience of the game in general but uh the way that i play is explosive pirates are the deadliest late game raids Way more than mix. What would you rather face? A pirate raid or 300 corgis? 300 corgis easily. <laughs> corgis aren't in the base game, but just dogs in general. Yes, 300 dogs. No problem. Need the... I'm guessing that's supposed to be thermal. But I mean, there's also explosive breach pirates, right? So... Explosive pirates have the most variance. It's just... One screw up can you run with him, whereas like the other ones have pretty easy ways to stop them. Cause uh, clusters exist. Clusters are very easy to deal with in the late game as well. So I'm talking about late game. Like if you made it to late game, you don't have uh, mortars or clusters. Then I don't know. Speaking of, I need to bring those more those mortars in. Since we're Corgi's not base game, well, since the dawn of time, because they've never been in the base game. <laughs> Next, you'll tell me that nukes don't exist. Nukes don't exist. Sorry to tell you. Does anyone know? I think your message got cut off. Anti-grain is pretty close to nukes, yeah. This is even if you the mad, it's pretty rare to be attacked by the Empire. Another interesting thing about angering the Empire, if you do it, is so another thing that the game has is it has a cost that it gives to raiders. So like raiders, strength, gear, whatever, has a silver cost associated with it. And so it's one of the reasons why like pirate raids are so much smaller than than tribal raids, because tribals have weaker stuff, right? And it it seems to be the case for the Empire as well. I seem to, when I have the Empire angry, not get as many raiders from the Empire because they often have like mono swords and stuff like that, but. Hardly ever angered the Empire anymore. I used to do it every single playthrough just to get early weapons, but. We've got better ways now with Ancient Dangers, so. Faster ways. Uh, is he good enough to go off on this yet? He'll probably be fine. 
That's the confidence you want to hear. Ah, he'll he'll probably make it. He most likely won't die while we're out. But yeah, like with most things in world, the answer to all these things are it depends. For me and my playstyle and difficulty and no pause, the the most deadly raids are. So those the pirates. Uh, right. We're not going to trade. We're going to kill. Kill, kill. All right. Let's go. The fresh air will do him good. Yeah, I think so. Hmm. Also want to work on this right now. Would be nice to have. We don't have a lot of shooters. Call us outsourcing. Eight days for three honor. No. Oh, what do we get from that last uh, gene thing? Poor shooting and slow runner. Okay. Interesting. Uh, who was the other one? Jackal, I think. Jackal and... Just hit Roy. Just Jackal, I think. Okay. Jackal, there we go. Going Devin? You had a weapon rack mod and it disappeared. Anyone else have this happen? Uh, uh, I've never used a weapon rack mod, so... Wait, what was it that disappeared? Because it cut off your first message. Sure is a dirty room. Is he a friend in Indianapolis? Any food recommendations? Um, hmm. Not really. I don't. That's. I don't know. I don't really. I don't really go out and try the, the places around here that much. To be honest with you, I'm trying to think if there's anything that I would like super recommend that's out of the ordinary, but um, yeah, I can't think of anything specific. Which, uh, which side of Indianapolis? Indianapolis is pretty large. Well, I mean, you know. McDonald's, yeah. <laughs> you try the new double Big Mac? Crash at my place. Uh, probably not. Probably not. Lavish wheels. Let's get outrange the mechs. They have the Lancers and Pikemans. Assault ri rifles outrange all centipedes aside from minigun centipedes. And then assault rifles outrange Lancers, but you have to have generally five or more assault rifles so you can single volley the only mechs that you don't outrange out of breachers are the like i said the minigun centipedes and you don't outrange the pikemen pikemen are one of the least deadly they can still kill but they have very low damage and a long warm-up time so generally in that part of the game you should have enough armor and stuff where you don't get one shot by um by pikemen but pikemen, you can just line of sight them. And with mech breachers, the uh, the centipede is going to be in the front, or excuse me, the termite is going to be in the front. So if you pick off the termite, then the pikemen are just like basically useless. They're going to go attack a wall and you can just line of sight them and do whatever. But yeah, I, I've done it like literally hun hundreds and hundreds of times. Kite, kite those, uh, those raids because... In the late game, most of the when you when you get to max raid points, most of the mech breaches are going to be predominantly centipedes, which you outrange. So you'll be able to outrange anything in a breach mech raid other than pikemen. The late game. Aren't you in restaurants or the mom and pop shops? Yeah. How did I block out the sun? I didn't. The mechs did. With this. 
Hot box pizza. Yeah, but hot box is a chain, right? Well, I mean, they're most things are chains. It's it's fine. Kilroy's. On map problem causer. That range of the nukes. North side. That's the side I'm on. Big <laughs> game mechs. Yeah, I don't know. Mechs used to be like the big scary thing for me, but I just don't find mechs that big of a deal anymore. With uh, how my play style and everything's changed over time. I don't know. Longest run year you've made it to 20. 20, 20 year run. It's been a couple years since I did that, but had a run that lasted 20 years. That one's up on YouTube. And then we had another run that was pretty close, like 18 years. I think that was the first Arco Nexus run I did. All right, to raid. What do you got? Uh, it's tribal. Okay, should be fine. Rain kind of sucks. It's going to make it a little bit harder to kite if we need to. Shouldn't be a problem. Don't kill my donkeys. Oh, come on, donkeys. Why are you running this way? Christ. Are you sick or something, or do you also... You're missing a foot. Out of the way, I'm trying to melee block here. Zebra. Fling fire. Come on. <laughs> it's raining. Way more down than normal. Nice. Nice. Way more people off that raid than our last one. Holy crap. Okay. Maybe we could actually get some of these home. We want to bring as much wood back with us as we can so we don't have to worry about it for a long time. All right. Nice. Nice. Hurry up. I don't care if you're missing a foot. Yeah. Uh... Had a weapon right mind. Yeah, so so again, I don't know what item you're missing, but one of the easiest ways to find an item if you're having trouble, if it still exists, is uh, do two things. One, set up a stockpile, like a little stockpile like this. Clear everything, and let's say you're trying to find a charge rifle. Put the charge rifle there, put it on critical. And then go into orders and right click on allow. This is not a mod. Right click on allow and then unforbid all items. And then if the item is reachable by someone, they will go. Wow, as soon as I went to trade there. Um, I'm going to have to drop something. If it's reachable, they'll, they'll go get it and put it in that spot.
We're gonna have to drop some of that wood now. I've clicked on trade, I guess, apparently. That's a lot of blood bags, yeah. We got robust. I didn't want robust. Is that that's the one we got? In a normal run, that would be fantastic, but in this one, I don't really want it. We got cool, strong immunity, robust. <laughs> All right, I think we're just gonna go with the uh, one of the ones that we got here. Let's see. Fine. Oh, my eyes are too like crazy all of a sudden. So we want uh, never sleep. Awful arts, poor melee. That's hunger rate ninety percent. And then hopefully we can extract never sleep on its own. <sighs> I should I should have tended to some of them while I was there, but oh well. Usually the tending on the road ends up being enough, but not this time. So <laughs> we might end up with two out of that. Where's the, yeah, I know. Where's the depressive, whatever. Yeah. I want the negative genes this time. We're just not getting them. Yeah, I think I'll make that. Let's see. That should be fine to start with. No sleep juice. Okay. No sleep juice. Okay. We'll give that to one of them, and then once their genes have regrown, we'll try to pull it out. Just the no sleep one if we don't find it. You really don't get it. 300 people watch, but not even 100 like. That would be an incredible amount. Yeah, it would be awesome, but I actually had someone claim that I bought, like, I bought likes on my channel because one of my videos had 10% like rate. Super clotting? No, super clotting will make them eat more. It's fine. In the future, when we get some other genes, we'll give that, but... Yeah, like, what am I... Uh, which was it? It was my, um... I think it was What Is New Cycle video. It had a like rate of 10%, and someone was like, this has way too many likes. I think this guy's buying... Why would I buy likes? <laughs> it's uh, such a waste. Uh, no. No, I have not. All right, so no sleep. We're going to put that on a card when we're back. And when he starts uh, needing go juice, we'll just give it to him. YouTube stream. It does help a lot, but yeah, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't surprise me that... At all. Oh, this is just dug too deep. Get in there. <laughs> All right. Oh, what? You are a nudist, so I guess that makes a little bit of sense. Sorry about that, Justin. I'm okay. <laughs> Justin. All right. Well... Sucks for him. Uh... All just shield belts, I think. Um...
machine combination that you're going for. Uh, basically, I would like the slaves to be eating as little as possible while having no sleep. That would be ideal. So also like depressive. We want them to be unhappy and eat very little and not sleep so they get a lot of work done. That would be that'd be the best. So if we get an accommodation that would also include some things that would help in combat, like um, like super clotting, which we already have ro rolled super clotting, then that'd be awesome. But we want the other things first. Uh, let's get this one first, actually. He has clothing for bandages. From bandages, yeah. <laughs> All right. So hopefully, two more blood bags. Badger. Badger's living so far. Let's see, install peg leg left. Install peg leg right. Tiger, same thing. That should be good, I think, honestly. The reaction in the previous saves appeared too. And it deleted everything on them. That's kind of crazy. It's crazy. Um. All right, so we got our jeans going. We got some good stuff as far as weapon goes. We are making counterfract helmets for everyone. Uh, how are we doing on the legs? Oh, right. It's time to turn versus girl into a vampire now, too. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. My child. Um. Yeah, we should have enough blood coming in now, I think. There we go. Rescue her. Google how to set up a prime sub. Set now. Leave it alert. Uh, thank you. Hey, Chris. Yeah, my pleasure. Thank you for using that here. It didn't pop up on my end, but uh, I see the icon next to your name. So, thank you. Okay. Let's get that gene pack installed. Operation. Um, implant is a xenogerm. Yeah. Yep. Do it. Yeah, so we need the Empire Trader to come back so that we can get uh, the Countess Ceremony set up for Other Woman. And I need to get this other section of the shotgun tunnel done. Also pretty important. So let's work on that. Do we end up smoothing that? Yeah. Actually, Plasteel still has more health. So let's put Plasteel there instead. And we'll go ahead and do Plasteel in these two parts too. Oh, right. We are super low in Plasteel. That's actually what's holding us back. What? No, there's a plastic scan in the room where we need the plastic. All right. Well, let's just go ahead and move these in here. How many drills do we have around four? Right. We're getting a little bit of steel out of there. Yeah, that's fine. We'll leave it there. Uh, 
<clears throat> leave it set up there. Don't have as many people mining as I thought either. Skulls. Oh god, Skulls, you're doing nothing? I forgot to set you to do stuff when you started adulthood. So for now, you're going to help mine. Build, plant, okay. All right, any other children I forgot about? Yeah, that's fine. Psychic emanators work through walls. Yes, they do. I actually generally wall mine in, you know, one by one, so that they're not the target of a breakdown. And then if they do break and they need repaired, I just destroy one of the walls, repair it, and then back up. So close it back up. Yeah, I, I usually, I'll put a wall like, whoops. I'll put the Psychic Emanator right there. Because <laughs> those things are super valuable. I don't want them broken in a tantrum. Another manhunter. Sure everyone's in. That's not a lot of manhunters today, so can't complain really. Can complain, but I won't. Been a pretty round rounded day so far as we've had mechs, we've had pirates, outlanders. Tribals, breaches, center drop. I think we've had just about everything today aside from... What have we not had? We had uh, no sapper. You know what? Just in case they were going to break that, that door. Uh, we haven't had a mech cluster today. That's about it. Sapper mech cluster. Uh, siege. Siege mech cluster. Vast meals or nutrient paste? No. That's me all depends, but nutrient paste is efficient. Nutrient paste has a couple of things going for it. One is that it is very efficient as far as how much ingredient it uses for a meal. The second thing is they can't store nutrient paste in their pockets, so they're going to have to go here to eat nutrient paste. That means they'll always eat at a table. Yeah, we've had a lot of bugs today, yep. But. By default, Nutrient Paste gives a minus four mood hit. Best traits for single phage? Uh, tough, I would say, because... Well, if you're going to take advantage of their melee, you want them to have tough. But tough's my favorite trait in general. So I would go tough. Why don't I sign medics to carry medicine? Um, generally, it's because this was bugged for months and months and months. So I stopped doing it, and I just haven't started again since they fixed it. So, yeah, it was bugged for a long time. Now it's no longer bugged. If they have medicine in their inventory, you can tell them to either use or not use the medicine. So it's just a, a good habit that I picked up while it was bugged, and then I... Now it's developed into a bad habit because they fixed it, but. Ugh, I don't know why my eyes are allergies are acting up, I guess. Yeah, aside from that, just traits that would be good for anyone in general, right? But tough. As always. Tiger has broken down. Oh, sorry, Tiger. I'm not really sorry, but I forgot to take your legs. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to make another one of these instead of the long range scanner. Okay, we got Plasteel coming in again, finally. 
Don't need medicine as much when we have coagulate either. Yeah, that's true. Just in general. Blood bags walking the whore. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't end up going after any of those. That's uh... yeah, fine. We're scan more here. Oh, are you over your tox buildup? Uh, it's not minor. It's crazy. Okay, so next will be... We can't even try to extract that for two years, though. Fortunately. We're going to keep looking for genes. Um, oh, we should try for... The next relic quest. Had a saying, Buffage, Lucerium work. Same as anyone else. If they don't take Lucerium, it kills them. So, back when 1.5... Hang on. Okay, I don't have to deal with it. Um, back when Biotech was announced and 1.4 patch notes came out before Biotech, there was a patch note when we were reading through that was very confusing at first. Patch note was like, uh, now Luciferium withdrawal destroys the brain. And we were like, what? Why? Luciferium already killed you if you didn't take it. Why does it also need to destroy your brain now? And then Biotech came out and we saw the single phase. Oh, that's why. <laughs> Substantial building. Yeah, Loose Fear now destroys the brain, which is the only way a vampire can die. That's a big nerf. Not, not really a nerf, because it, it was for something that hadn't even come out yet. But yeah, it just, it just made it... Luciferium withdrawal already killed everyone when they took it. And so they were just making sure that it could also kill Sanguophage when Sanguophage came out. They weren't even out yet. So it's just literally always been like that since Sanguophage should have existed. But the patch note for the Luciferium change came... was released before we knew that Sanguophage were going to be a thing. Brain explosion... It's the same result. Yeah, it didn't, doesn't matter. Lucerium always killed if you didn't take it. Everyone. No matter what. And so they just made it so it also kills vampires if they don't take it. Or if they don't continue to take it. Death is death regardless if it's brain destroyed or heart destroyed for someone that just dies. A granny summon. All right, Dazzle, see what you get. Oh my god. It's not my dear old granny, you say. My nipple's not on my neck. She's also bad with apostrophes. What game was that? That was from Rimworld. What the crap? Yeah, it was just a way to make sure that Sanguifage weren't immune to Lucerium, right? Because Lucerium is so strong. And again, now it changes before single phase were released, but it was in preparation, so it's not really a nerf. It's literally the same thing. Just also for single phase. Instead of everyone else. Body to the park. Which which friend? Sky God. Dwayne's been laying a lot of pipe. <clears throat> Almost said that as granny at first. Orialis. Uh, okay, I guess. Versus girl. Had a down single phase somewhere on the map, just quietly suffering. Uh, yeah, that was the... Um, that was the no... That was the impossible challenge run, yep. Impids, impids, uh...
And yeah, people can be resurrected if their brain explodes either way. So it literally made no no difference to the game in general. It was just a way. Alrighty. Make sure that you can just immune to immune to Luciferium for single fish. Timic marine helmets look a little weird. weird. Is it Totemic or is it the uh, anim the animal one that uh, looks like the cataphract? It's like the ginormous, like, bird wings and stuff. <laughs> I think that is Totemic as well, right? Yeah, I don't know. There's some pretty crazy ones, especially when you get to cataphract. Oh, the... Yeah, yeah. No, I like that one. Yeah, yeah. That one's the one that looks like the predator helmet. Yeah. I like the Totemic Marine Helmets because they remind me of Predator Helmets. A lot of fire out there. They look like crap. Well, you know, looks are always in the eye of the holder. Some people love how certain things look. Some people don't. I like those ones. Pretty awful out there. It's raining. There's toxic waste everywhere. There's killer bugs attacking all these people. Things are on fire. I really want to capture one of these so we can get depressive from them. Hopefully, at least one of them lives. Yeah, I like them because I like the Predator uh, movie helmet look. Hmm. Hmm. This is risky. What? Oh my god. One of these is still alive. <laughs> and the bugs have won. Hopefully there's an impid left alive out there after this so I can capture them, but... it's a lot of bugs left. Just can't. Yeah, I just I just imagine it as a predator helmet for me. So, but like I said, everyone has a different opinion on how how things look. Oh uh, come on! When you guys got to live? Hopefully, more than one swing. extra shots of that depressive gene. Yeah, Totemic's makes like the Predator mask. Yeah. yeah. There's one that looked like a giant bird totem on top of their head, though. That's Cataphract. That one, to me, is like... Imagine the frilly bit being tubes. That's what I think of. Yeah. Kind of like the dreadlock tubes on the Predators in the movies. Come on, bugs, get in here and die. I got depressive people to kidnap. All right, um. That fire's not that close, right? Dead in five seconds, crap. In two hours. All right, perfect. After that one, uh, who else is nearby? Well, let's go. Insulting three on Zamana. Samurai helmet. Yeah, it was a very weird thing when the samurai helmet was added, though. It was like. Because cause all the other armors that have a, like, prestige variant, they don't have a different name. It was just suddenly like, what the crap? Seems so random. Zero seconds, one hour. Okay, there's one. All right, so... Uh, let's get 
bed, so the surgery chance is higher. Actually, we still have some out here. They're excellent beds. We ended up making some double beds anyway instead. Now that... Oh, yeah, it gave you something to kind of visualize more. Yeah. Yeah, that happens too. But... You kind of see it a little bit. So bring these in. Peg leg left, peg leg right. Peg leg left, peg leg right. Emergency. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so that should have been... Man, that's a lot that happened right there because the infestations don't count. Zamana, you, you're in Kid Jimbo's room fighting him while he's there with his wife? You could also die them. Yeah, that's true. Native American head totem helmets. Yeah, they're huge. Huge. Okay. Now, once we get counteract armor as well, we might can start doing like melee god shenanigans. We need a lot more plasteel. I mean, there's a lot of plasteel mine right there, but gotta gotta get it out of the ground. Starvation. So after you get their legs traded out, we will uh, get their genes extracted. Hopefully we hit the genes that we really want. Surely this is going to be enough blood now. We've got 11 vampires. Maybe 15 blood bags. Yeah, I know. I was trying to wait until after the cycle, which I guess it is now. So we should probably take advantage of that. All right. Other woman. EQ. Let's, uh, let's stagger it a little bit. Let's have those three start. We'll have them go for like half day or a day or something. You can have two colors for... Oh, for one item, yeah. It's almost like uh, when you click this, this allow slaves. I have that be like two colors for, uh, for gear, yeah. Need a nap. Doom World Colony is looking at you like. Oh, are you doing the the cat colony? I saw I saw that earlier on Discord. Cat colony. Uh, infinite bug meat. Elgato. The Elgato colony. Oh, I need to split this uh, recording for the, the editor. Whoops, I'll do that really quick. There we go. A new recording has begun. i to check in on the editor later today. Let's see how they're doing. Let's say you've had 20 Neanderthals all trained in melee and 10 days to start the reactor. And all of a sudden, after eight years, melee weapons are not allowed anymore. Could you survive until ship launch? Which range weapon would you realistically build on standard losing is fun? Standard losing is fun. 20 Neanderthal. Um, and I was switching over to ranged. I'd probably still go with assault rifles. Yeah, assault rifles are so good. Because I can just kite with them. I mean, they still have robust and stuff too, right? So... You could still have a couple of them body block for melee, raids, scythers, etc. And if it's kind of a standard run, you can also use a burn box and stuff. Yeah, we'd probably still switch over to assault rifles, honestly. 20 people firing assault rifles into a group. Even the missed shots are going to deal good damage. But, yeah, probably just play it the same way I, I normally would. I think it would be fun. Oddly enough, with 20 people on normal losing is fun, you might not even be at raid cap. Equip, a wo equip wood on all of them. Yeah. 
might go against the uh, the spirit of the question. Um, move left leg or move right leg. Mass work charge rifles. <laughs> yeah, if you can. Legendary assault rifles, please, on all 20. What change do you make to weapons to make assault rifles the or an option of the option? I think they already are an option, not the option. So a lot of it is dependent on playstyle. So that's with my playstyle. Um and my my preferred playstyle. Like if I'm if I'm using like medium range kill boxes or I'm using even the no kill box setup, honestly then charge rifles would would be superior if, if i'm not doing any kiting at all then charge rifles would be superior right so it already is an option not the option it's just the option for me because of my preferred play style i guess mini guns mini guns are really good too yeah that is true damage wise they're really good uh it was a lot of fun using mini guns in the uh door front we set up a mini gun tunnel Really fun. LMGs could use yeah, LMG could use a buff though. Yeah. Zerk. Uh wait. I don't have an extra door on there like I normally do. Um God, I don't want to kill them. Card, why are you happy? Quite comfortable. What? What did? Where did you? What did you do that was comforting? Hang on, we gotta investigate this. But first off, come punch this person. Mining and growing. Was there a chair near one of the mining or uh, near one of the drills? What did you do that got you comfortable? I don't understand. I zone you incorrectly? Oh, I didn't take the new table out of the zone and there's some friggin' like masterwork chairs there. Okay. That's what's going on. Thrall's eating at friggin' tables. Enough of that. How dare you be slightly comfortable? <laughs> yeah, yeah, Raider. I, that's what I forgot. Yep. Yep. Uh, yeah, they don't really need skill pawns, yeah. So some breachers without kiting, though. I'm a mid-range kill box player. Still use AR sometimes. Clear your base. There's nothing else you'd rather have than when they're outside. Maybe I should do a run where I'm not allowed to use assault rifles. Did you guys think that was interesting at all? Like, I haven't done one of those in a long time. But, I mean... Yeah, I... I don't think it would be very... Oh, we have to add some other stuff to it, but... Eating with a table. How dare you? Would it just be SMGs? No, I wouldn't use SMGs. I know what I would do. I already, I, I know exactly what I would do. Uzis only. If it was a pretty standard run, but just no assault rifles, I already know exactly what I would do. <laughs> I did the bow only run, yeah, but I mean, like, use other guns other than assault rifles. Yeah, I know what I would do. Sniper rifles? No, I wouldn't use snipers. What are the weapons that I hate the most? Um, weapons I hate the most, probably LMG to use out of range weapons. LMG, charge lances, uh, things like the Magnum, only pistols, clubs only. <laughs> Shotguns are really strong, yeah. Emerald needs more weapons. I'd be down for that. Handgun type only run. Revolvers and dusters. Re revolver, duster, ranchers. I think I could still do it. Top five most hated weapon run. Explosives only, yeah, it's gonna be crazy. Uh, auto pistol and machine pistol are actually both pretty decent. Surprisingly. Run where upon uses a different weapon. Yeah, I think it'd be doable. LMGs are made for suppression. It yeah, doesn't really work like that in this game, yeah. Uh, the Western run. Get yeah, Western themed run. 
EMP only. <laughs> I mean, I did in Cable of Violence, so EMP only would be easier than Cable of Violence. Yeah, we talked about that before with LMGs and Darkness, yeah. Another thing that's interesting is uh, I was looking at accuracies of each of the weapons because we Surf and I were trying to think about situations where having a weapon that was perfectly accurate would overcome, um, you know, using other weapons just because it's always hitting. And when I was looking for that, if I remember right, just the normal shotgun, not the chain shotgun, chain shotgun has a layer, uh, less accuracy. But the normal shotgun, it gets 100% accuracy at just excellent quality. So, but there's some stuff you could set up with that as well. But also, like, I think it was the auto pistol that was had, like, incredibly good accuracy when it hits a certain, a certain level that was pretty easy to get, so... I'm saying actually isn't hard. Yes, I know. And you can't overcap accuracy, but still. There is a mod that I used to use a long time ago called overcapped accuracy, where you literally could get a hundred percent hit rate. That was uh that was pretty strong. <laughs> Train base game, cats. Timing's not cool enough for that. <laughs> Uh, we need to pull that class deal out faster. So he's got the those jeans now. One pawn, only grenades. Yeah, I don't, I don't know about that one. Doing Twitch stream up? Thank you. Do vampires regularly sleep in their caskets? No, it's for death rest. Uh, they will sleep in it as a bed if they have no other place to sleep. But in general, yeah, not really. Oh yeah, the first... Yeah, yeah the first uh, the first one we ever did, Darkness... We were, we were playing around and we had someone that was like level 20 shooter, shooting specialist with an aura, legendary minigun, and it was like a friggin' laser, it felt like. <laughs> we get drill arms, we could. Uh, I don't remember if we already. Do we get. No, we don't have specialized limbs. After that, this death rest cycle, maybe we'll go shopping a little bit and see if we can find some stuff like that. Hard. What? Burning passion for your work. Extremely impressive dining room. Why'd you eat in the dining room? Is that leftover? Ah, it's leftover. Four hours left. God, why do you like mining so much? You need to cut it out. I don't want to have to kill you. Are you not wearing tainted? Uh, you do have tainted gear on. You're already missing your jaw, tongue. Hmm. Yep. Yeah. Oh, card's dead. The no sleep gene made him too happy because he was always doing a job that he liked. Alright, well. <laughs> How'd that work out for you? Uh. Ooh, plus 12 honor. It's a single star, too. Oh, I can't accept it on her because she's death resting. Uh, we got 10 hours. Are you almost done? He's not almost done. Oh, well. It's his fault for being too happy. Speaking of... Is there anyone in here that's good at binding but doesn't like it? Maybe 
I don't care if you're good at mining. Mining is a two. I need you to not have a passion for mining. Mining four, no passion. Hmm. It's probably gonna be pretty easy to find someone like that, though. I can just tie to uh to a drill. So yeah, we got our festivals coming up. Yeah, I don't want to reverse a blood bag now that we finally. We're actually still not getting enough blood. Crazy. That's a little dirty in there now. A little dirty in there. Oh man, the toxicity is reaching into the base now. We have so much. Okay. He knew happiness was a crime. He brought this on himself. He's rescued. What happened? Oh my god. This guy keeps getting extreme toxic buildup. What jobs are they doing right now? Because it's tempting to go ahead and get to the point where we just don't let them do anything other than give us mood. Uh, did I switch them over? Maybe I didn't yet. Yeah, I did. I did. What are their names? Catch and Vaughn. <sighs> Dementia. This is such an inconvenience. Your dementia is inconveniencing me greatly. Crap. Um... You could just give him Luciferium. If he eventually dies, he just dies. You got Dementia at 32? Yeah, it's because he's got extreme toxic buildup. The toxic stuff. I was thinking we would have an Atomizer by now. We haven't seen a single mech boss, which is kind of crazy. So I guess it's kind of good luck. Uh, good fortune in a way, but... Ugh. There you go, Imbids. Enjoy your toxic waste. From success. Hmm. <sighs> Alright, come on, depressive. What else would we be happy to get? Um. Cold weakness would be alright. Poor animals would be fine. But we really want unhappy. Genetic pessimism. Kind of weird wanting genetic pes pessimism. Alright, we're back up to two more bionic legs. Justin. Bionic leg, left leg, bionic leg, right leg. Not death rest. Boy, it's dirty in there. Yeah, let's clean that up a little bit. See me from suffering. Very fast runner. We want negatives. We want negatives. Because this is what we're giving to the slaves. Yeah, let's not sleep in the toxic waste, probably. Probably. 
turrets only run. We use the Igor for that. Master Hunter and Unhappy. Fire resistant, heat super tolerant, unhappy. We got fireproof plus two. <sighs> that sucks. All right, let's try with the other one. Who are they? Vaughn. Rolled three. Is there efficiency? Yeah, maybe I don't care if they get extra hungry. Also, negate the sleeping in the heat. Yeah, that's true. Although, they, they're going to have no sleep, so I guess that won't matter either way. Yeah, we'll see what the next one rolls. Can't believe we might end up having to get some more brawls. Wait. Oh. Yeah, that's not on that last batch. Whatever. Okay. We just cannot stay ahead on the uh, the plastic, especially now that our main miner is dead. Donkey got cancer. Yeah, we can't keep this clean either now. God, we really need an atomizer, but we can just keep launching, I suppose, but. Do you know what the next round will be? I'm not 100% sure yet. I have some ideas, though. Imps and fire only run, or a pigskin run. The more runs of just the, the default uh, biotech races. Pigs. Toxic waste come from? It's coming from our power. Gonna move the donkeys to the north entrance for a while, yeah. Oh, not a modded road, no. Melee gods only fists allowed. Maybe so. No, I'm not doing a Mechantor this run. I just did a Mechantor run, so we're not doing any Mechantor stuff this time. Uh, we don't have any pollution. This is uh, the pump. Yeah, it's 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 just pulling it out of the ground, basically, right? So. Do we have to get rid of the bags? I'm going to keep dumping it on the tri tribals. Um. Oh, it's not the home zone. That's why. We'll have to wait. Unlimited power. Condition supply. Very little work's getting done right now, too. All right, what's up, BQ? Rare Thrumbo. Machine Brink needs power. Yes, I'm aware. Salting's free on EQ fan. Ugh. Wait, why? Ravisly hungry. Power's out. Suck it up. God, Panzer is. So frustrating when it comes to food related things. They will literally start starving to death if they haven't eaten in just like a, a day or two. <laughs> Alright, how long until this go? Uh, two days, okay. Get more plasteel, donkeys are dying. Yeah, more plasteel, nice. You know, I, yeah, I, I try to think of it, though, like a year for them 
is only 60 days. So if we like compound that out, then maybe it makes a little bit of sense that they start. Probably still not that they would be dying, but. Donkeys. All the donkeys are dying. We gotta get this done. EQ is the main one that would be doing that. Yeah, I'm working on it, Donkey, so I'm working on it. Got a starvation on the same time frame where people die of thirst since there isn't thirst in the game either. Real trader. Okay. Oh my god, select the stuff under it. Yes, they're all getting lung rot and cancer, I know. PvE plus wealth infinite mode have any inter interesting interaction, like fewer raids, but each raid is a difficulty spike itself. Yeah, looks like Surfer has, already has you there. Toxin problems. Specialized limbs. Tempting. 600 more waste packs. Uh. <laughs> That's pretty terrible already. We're already having a really bit, bad time with pollution in our, our slaves. God, I should have kept that Hussar and tried to get the pollution stimulus from him. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. In not enclosed, what? Sure it is. There's just a door there instead of a fence. Still counts. Oh, wait. That side's open. Huh. Just kidding. Hey, we're finally starting to go positive on blood. New lover, Zamana and Feel. Nice. So, where are you guys sleeping? Oh, wait. Zamana. Hang on. No, no children. We're done being a daycare. Done that long enough. Lay down. <laughs> I'll get so polluted that the Empire won't come. Uh, I'm not sure. Maybe. Or they'll leave because of a dangerous environment. Maybe. Drill arms. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. But all right, Zamana, there you go. Uh, that'll help mood with those two in general. Yeah, the pollution is kind of kind of crazy. Let's go check what they have. They also have inspired trade right now. Um, uh, speaking of twenty-eight days, I know these down here have reset. Pig nose, toxic immunity, toxic immunity. Sheer white skin. Hmm. Uh. Tools. All right, let's see what we can make out of this. There's specialized limbs right there. Or 
Where's the range? All right, we should be able to make pretty, something pretty decent now. It's going to be pretty complex too, though. We're going to most likely need more of these. Join the plastic. Is there any difference between placing walls and fences on wires outside the base? Yes. Fences don't block them from catching on fire. Yeah. Conduit can still be set on fire under a fence. But they can't be set on fire under a wall. Gonna apply that. Donkey has dementia. Sorry, donkeys. Okay, we'll go ahead and knock that out. Uh, did that get? Oh, yeah. When I was getting rid of the beds, yeah. There we go. Okay, they're bringing that in. We'll see the complexity from there. We probably are going to need more of these. The only problem with a decent weapon, is it good or bad to give them things and talons? Uh, yeah, there's no reason to, yeah. yeah. Because... In general, it's not going to give them extra hits. It's going to make it so they use that occasionally. Like, they're going to... Like, even your normal weapon. Let's say you have a Zeus Hammer. Occasionally, your hits will be with a handle, which does very little damage. And then occasionally, it'll be with the actual hammer part, which does big damage, right? It's like that with most weapons for some reason. Even, like, knives. Like, the knife, sometimes you're going to... They're going to stab or slash them. And the other time, they're going to hit them with a handle. And so it ends up being an average of all those. Some of the hits are like way lower damage than others. And so in general, you're not going to want one of your hits to be like a knee spike, you know, because it's going to be that hit's going to be lower than something else that it could have landed. Plasteel, plasteel. Uh, we could also buy some advanced. Down a prisoner without killing them, the toxic onset will make them fall over more easily. All right, let's see. Can we already do well? Is anyone else ready to get their genes taken again? Let's see, it was Yoke. Yoke is ready, and Roy is not. We'll go ahead and grab Yoke and see what we get out of that, too. And then we'll double check and see if we can make good slave gene yet. Since, but with like hammer. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. It even works that way for animals. Sometimes you'll get unlucky. So some animals have like a huge bite attack, like a really big damage bite, but then they have a headbutt that deals like hardly any damage. So. Luckily for us, I suppose. So occasionally you'll have that situation. Like, let's say, I'm not sure if the bear has a headbutt. But let's say you're like fighting a bear. And sometimes it feels like the bear just kills someone in two or three hits. And then occasionally you'll have it where, you know, someone's surviving. And you're like, how did you survive? And it's because it's rolling some of those weaker hits. Well, we might get to see that right here. Seems like I'll show you. It really is. <laughs> We're headbutting skills. One day all cats will turn on us and one shot us. <laughs> the random roll of their headshot. Literally what just happened after I explained it. It's kind of funny. Made alive. Gun first name. Good. Do you think the bears are one of the ones that has the headbutt? Somewhat impressive. Somewhat impressive. Okay. 
See what we get out of this. We should keep an eye out for mining trainers too. What are we even looking for in this one? It's likely dull, awful mining. Not it. We just want negatives. I want sleepy though. I want no sleep. Toxic buildup. Yeah, I know. Be able to fix that soonish. Hey, with these genes, we might actually go for more thralls. Be nice. Uh, wait, what was it? Literally just a furry tail. <laughs> Any deep drill without the drill, that would be awesome. Oh, the arm replacements. All right, let's see what we can make here. Got to be conduit somewhere. There it is. Furry tail, best gene. I'm not so sure. All right, so we want... Never sleep, and we're just going to have to give them go juice. And if they start getting. If they start dying from it before we can get more, then I guess we have to go buy more go juice or get more thralls. In two years, hopefully we can get a different never sleep overwrite. Uh, we need some negatives in there. Poor melee would be a nice. Awful arts, an easy one. Don't want poor shooting, probably. I don't know. No. Uh, Tox Immunity, we wanted that one. That puts them at 175. We need some more negatives. I mean, that is a pretty big negative, but... I mean, we can replace their legs. We have Bionics. Them furry ears. Non-pig nose romance chance. 20%. Still <laughs> uh. posting at 150. I mean, as long as they're not starving, though, it's not a big deal, right? So they're going to need one extra meal a day. They're basically all going to be Gormons that don't have a Gormon breakdown. But if they're hungry, they actually have poorer moods. So it might actually be all right. And we could work on trying to replace their stomachs. I think this will be okay for now. We just The main thing is now we're going to need to get the slaves go juice. But this will make them not, uh, not dying in the toxic waste out there. And they're going to get a lot more work done because they're not going to be sleeping. Yeah, it looks okay. Uh, this one is actually... Yeah, they. this is actually going to make them eat more. We didn't roll unhappy. That's, that really sucks. How long until we get to try again? I don't remember. Let me, let me check. It might be worth waiting until we can try for just unhappy again. We also have tr trade available right now. Nine days. We can wait nine days. And yeah, all right. Well, let's go trade in that time. So we might even just find better options out here. But if we haven't gotten any better options on the next poll in nine days, which won't take very long, we will. Uh... Oh, how long until I need death rest? Okay, we're fine. Uh, then we'll just pull the trigger on, on what we have. Better than nothing. Vladim. God. Hey, donkeys. You want to go on a trip? Inspired surgery on Muffin Girl. Does she have a level four or something still? I mean. She did a good job, though, last time. 
We're switching from the marine helmet, so taking some of those to sell wouldn't be bad at all. Um, maybe we, if we have the toxic immunity, maybe we should be using some tox grenades in that spot too. Kind of think of it. So I'll I'll hang on to those. Don't need the smoke launcher. Um. And we need to look for go juice while we're out. Also. All right, out on a trip again. Would you make them happy? Hardly ever use it. Uh, I won't make them happy. No. We don't have, um, I almost went, good thing I didn't, almost went with high life, but I didn't. Uh, Kai in the sky. Thank you for the three months. Thank you, Kai. Hi, apple pie. God, I think that, that's sometimes, whoa, uh, hi, Beja. Hi, mate. Hmm. Violence disabled. Man, if we give that, if we got that. Can we give legs back to the prisoners and have them feed themselves? Maybe. Either way, yeah, we're going to, we're going to arrest them. Hey, song. Yeah, we'll do that too. Dementia. Hey. Can you make your own go juice? You can. Yes. You have to go buy. Um, there's a research for it, first off, so we have that. We've researched everything. Uh, go juice production, there you go. And then you have to go buy um, Neutramine. But you can't make that part yourself. Neutramine. So... Go ahead and remove the tongue. You have a surgery inspiration. I'll just let you do it. Wait, who was it that had it? It was Muffin Girl, right? Yeah. And then we want to try to pull jeans out of that, see what we get from that. And we'll go from there. <clears throat> it seems kind of odd that that's how, well, maybe it's because high mates themselves are relatively rare. I was going to say, almost all the high mates that I've gotten in my run end up being Abasia drops. Didn't realize there was a caravan hitching spot there still. On something. Yeah, it seems that's where I've gotten most of mine, for sure. These drops often drop them for some reason you've noticed as well. <sighs> yeah, we gotta get this, uh... Toxicity immunity thing fixed. I 
Will they not be raids? They're not in raids, right? So they're rare in general that way. But I do see them as... Um, I've seen them in every other way, but it seems like the most common I get is Abasia drops. Yeah. Most recruits from raids? I guess so, yeah. So there are less places to get them in general. They're rare in visitors too. Yeah, and also I see a lot of uh, high mate children, oddly enough. I don't know. You go put out that fire. Okay. Thanks. Am I? What? <sighs> Gosh, usually better pawns or not. No, it's a, it's just a world pawn, yeah. Well, the red dots, those are centipedes. They've been there for years. Fanta. What are you gonna call it? Nine months. That's a Twitch baby. Um, you know, we should probably just name it just baby until it's earned a name, right? Max. Yeah, those are centipedes from from a ship. That's why I didn't name my daughter until she uh turned thirteen. I had to make sure she rolled good traits. Sacro baby. Naming skills are showing right now. Did you name Pawn was causing them to be unhappy, right? No. What? Change Pawn's name as many times as you want. Doesn't cause them unhappiness. That would be interesting, though. We got non-violent off the first hit. Non-violent, great social. Ninja base, yeah, they're that's what they're doing right now. See, they're they're picking it up right now. Oh my god, I met I might never get onto this caravan between sick donkeys and running away from fire. Yeah. Let's do it that way instead. Then do we have an opening? Yeah, okay. Him choosing to chain them up here, even after that spot's gone, is a big problem. All these donkeys are sick and you're just putting them in the toxic waste. <laughs> so let's uh, remove this one. Remove that one. Remove that one. Remove that one. Remove that one. Probably just redo the caravan at this stage, honestly. And social no tongue. Yeah, that's true. You got uh maybe a mod? That's usually the case when someone remembers it being some way that it is it isn't. I play mods that might be something from that yeah you know what just well, let's just redo this and yeah, just drop that drop that freaking donkey out there just carrying some of the donkeys just, just start this over we'll see what donkeys survive this and then we'll, we'll go from there What a mess. So I have any interest in RTSs? Yep. Why do you ask? I have interest in almost all game types. All the donkeys are dying. Just drag them into the waste and leave them there. Way to go.
Psychic Soothe. Ugh. A miss. All right, Tangle get broken arrow. I haven't heard of that one. Tiger usual wheelhouse. I pretty much like all genres of games, so it's interesting when someone says that. So, for instance, uh, a story, a funny story that I like to tell in stream is how used to the first Sunday of every month we go through Steam and I'd play like eight or nine different games that I've never tried before for an hour each, and I found myself oftentimes going. Yeah, I really like this one. Um, I'm, I'm kind of biased, though, because I really like fighting games. And then we play the next one, and I play it. And I'd be like, yeah, I really like that one, too. But I'm pretty biased because I'm a big fan of roguelikes. And then I play the next one. It's like, I really like deck builders, though. So you might not like it. So I'm a, I'm a big fan of deck builders. And I didn't realize that I was doing this. But every single one, I was like, I just really like this genre. And Inspector was in here, and he was like, Adam, Adam, you're saying that every single time. I think you're just a fan of video games. You might like video games. I'm like... You know what? You might be right. I might like video games. <laughs> so, yes, I like pretty much every genre. Pretty much. But yeah, I hadn't caught myself. I didn't realize I was saying that every time, but he was like, Adam, Adam, you say that after every genre. Let's get minions in StarCraft 2. Your dad would have minx because units can level up past games like red alert stuff uh custom campaigns like in the the arcade stuff i really liked the co-op commander stuff in uh starcraft 2 i thought that was really good it was really good for the longevity of the game too a lot of people played it i played hollow knight yes i played hollow knight on stream last year blindly played through the whole thing and uh i need to post the vods on the archive channel really liked hollow knight Oh wait, that was my squirrel. <laughs> I thought I was here stealing our food. Oh no. Like farming sims. Uh like Stardew Valley, yeah. And hunter pack. Whoa. Kind of funny thing with Hollow Knight playing it blindly on stream too is I, I got to God home, home and I was like, all right, I, I don't, I will stay here until I beat all of these. I gotta be careful. I'm just gonna try the first boss in there, right? So I go in there and I beat the first boss. I'm like, all right, cool. And then it unlocks another difficulty of the boss. And then I beat it again. I'm like, all right, cool. Then it unlocks the third difficulty. And I, I go in there and uh, people are like, well, he's not gonna beat this one. And I beat on my first try. And I was like, that's weird. It was no different. It had no additional phases, like nothing changed. And people were like, Adam, Adam, on that difficulty, if you get hit a single time, no matter how much health you have, you instantly die. You just manage not to get hit a single time on your first try. <laughs> so anyway, I need to put that stuff up on YouTube. It was it was a lot of fun streams. Yeah, yeah, Radiant, yeah. I liked Hollow Knight. It was a lot of fun. I killed most of the stuff in the first or second try, but I still enjoyed it a lot. Oh, okay. That custom map for StarCraft 2 is uh, is not in the arcade. A literal custom map. But yeah, the I don't know of Broken Arrow. I do know of the movie from the early 90s, Broken Arrow. You guys remember that movie? Pretty good. 99% of the time you play RTS and 4X games. Yeah, well, I mean, I've been playing Total War Warhammer half the week for, for a couple months, too. Which has an RTS aspect. Yeah, but for me, I like most genres of games. It's just that if it's a good game, it's a good game. I play just about everything. I did like Hollow Knight. I'm looking forward to Silk Song. I gotta get that uploaded. When did I play that? It wasn't that long ago, right? Middle of last year. Later and show, yeah, you know, Broken Broken Arrow. That was a good movie. Hollow Knight's OST is really good. Yeah, I really liked the Grim Troops music. 
A lot of cool fights in that game. A lot of people lost a lot of channel points during that also. Because I made it to the... What's his face? The main boss of the Grim Troop. And so we did like a... Well, Adam beat this on the first try and I didn't. And then... Well, Adam beat this on the second try and... I did. A lot of people lost channel points. It was like beating the, um, what was it? The, man. Um, the, tr the Praying Manus tr trio. A lot of people lost points on that too. I think those games, no, I haven't played those. Oh, I knew, okay, okay Wings, I think I know. What you so, ARAM was mentioning a mod that added a nightmare difficulty to StarCraft 2. Yeah. I have heard of that, but I haven't looked into it yet. Someone found a um, a post on Reddit of the developer, one of the developers of Hollow Knight, joking around five years ago. And they were like, yeah, we'll tell you guys some DLC news in about 10 years, or uh, some sequel news in about 10 years. He was, just, he was just joking around with someone. Someone's found that now. And they post it and they're like, all right, guys, we only have five more years. <laughs> Peg leg, right leg, peg leg, left leg. Five more years to Silk Song. We found it. Please know. And it's got to be tough. Uh, like the developers of um, of Hollow Knight and like the developers of Hades. It's got to be really tough to come out with a sequel to either of those because it was like those were definitely like lightning in a bottle sort of games. It's going to be really tough. Oh, one of my favorite parts of Hollow Knight was the... Um, uh, what was it? What's it called again? Path of Pain, Path of Punishment, whatever. That's another thing that people lost a bunch of channel points in. That was a lot of fun. But again, I'm biased because I really like difficult platformers. <laughs> yeah, that was a lot of fun. I wish there was more like that in the game. That didn't take too many tries either. Oh, really? I didn't see that. When is the sequel to Celeste supposed to be coming out? I think it'll have to... Yeah, Celeste was good, too. Hades is getting a sequel. Yeah. Surgery failed on the high mate. Yeah, I probably should have given them a bed, huh? Yeah, Hades 2... Oh, I bet the other thing is that Muffin Girl probably did it. Super Giant has a pretty good track record. Yeah, I still need to play their other games. I tried out the beginning of several of them and they were good. I just had, never came back to them. I did with Hades. Staying with Elvis in Vegas, started wandering off lately. Brown trying to track her down. Yeah, that is scary. It's sad. All right, good. I really want to go do that caravan to see if we can get any of the other genes from trading while we're waiting on the possibility of getting depressive from uh, these two impids, but we got cats out there. My organ was harvested. Yeah. Well unfortunate it's unfortunate I got three is reputedly slotted for an early 2025 three what the 
it's not a story sequel just less but it's called earthblade released in 2024 so it's the same type of game like a challenging i would be surprised if not challenging platformer with I really liked how Celeste did the optional things too. Like, not only did you have the strawberries that you could collect all of, which we did uh, on on them to make it more challenging, but then there was also the B and C sides, which were uh, harder versions, basically, of the levels. So, a relatively, like, challenging platformer, but still accessible that you could... Especially with like the quick load, right? It would just quickly load back into the next one. Uh, that you could also make really difficult by doing the other sides and the bonuses and stuff. I made few on slaves to fights. Um, if I can get the prisoners themselves, the ones that we're using as hemogen farms, to be incapable of violence and also never escape, then they can feed themselves. And that frees us up from having to feed them. Gameplay preview looks like a platformer, but we don't have details. Gotcha. Yeah, I'd be shocked if it wasn't the same sort of thing, too. The interesting thing about Celeste is I watch a lot of um, Mario ROM hacks. And the Celeste developers have made Mario ROM hacks and um, Mario Maker levels and stuff like that. It's kind of cool. Did I play Tunic? No, I didn't play Tunic. It was on my watch to watch list to keep an eye on, but I never got around to it. I heard that it ended up not being as great as people anticipated it to be. But that's just what I've heard. No idea. I never have not tried it yet. Death of Donkey. Yeah, yeah. Grab cats. I got caravanning to do. Yeah, it's right here. And that is... Uh, yeah, things like Alzheimer's and dementia and stuff in real life is uh, is brutal. Knowing someone that has those. Yeah. I've been around that, unfortunately, as well. Attacking immediately. Is that all sniper raid? No, it's explosive pirates, but they are shooting. I think they just shot all their explosives at the cats. If not all, then most. You guys up here shoot all your explosives too? Looks like it. Oh, got pretty lucky there. We gotta get this second part set up, but we don't even have that many people to shoot anymore because of the, um, the thrall issues with the toxic stuff. But once we get that gene going, I think I might grab some more of them. Just really hope we can get depressive also. How many pirates are we up to? Are we at raid cap? We were probably at raid cap. Yeah, that was about 70. Pirates. Let's look. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's not going to be good. Oh, I want them. Uh, crap. Can you capture them? I don't know. If this group breaks, we can probably run through and grab. Ah, eh, they're dead. Missed shots, ended up landing on that corpse. That's unfortunate. Are you guys going to break my wooden shelf up there? All right, stop chasing cats. Let's go. Versus girl, you're uh, not too happy. Go do something else. Just don't go outside, all right? Deadlift. I see him quite a bit, too. Deadlift. 
They have a special background. Uh, it doesn't look... Medieval Farm Oaf? Yeah, I don't think so. I'll see the name, though. Ernesto. Ernesto Osborne. All right, let's see if we can get any out of this. Trader, where's the uh tribute collector? Oh, okay, that didn't hit anyone, did it? No, okay. Actually, got a sniper shot off. Maybe that was out of cat. I don't know, but we seem to be okay. Dead in three hours. Coagulate. Waster. <sighs> Germline waster. Um, I don't know that we need them. person no okay both unwavering you can have them fight finally uh as long as they survive yeah we can do that and then maybe let's sh take a look at him tough bloodlust neanderthal Unwavering, unwavering. So we could make them into blood bags or slaves. But. I don't think we need any more blood bags. I think I'm just going to make them fight and then we'll kill whoever. Hey, the genes. Yeah, I was trying to, or hoping that we'd get a Hussar. But. We did not. Okay, so. Honestly's rescue. Oh my god. So basically right now, all of these thralls, we have to set them to this area so they're they're not... Yeah, that makes them almost useless at the moment. So that they're not dying from the toxic waste. But as soon as we get the gene pack, we already got the immune to toxic thing. Uh, we'll be good. Let's have Muffin Girl rip up these corpses so we can take the human leather with us. In fact, Muffin Girl, go ahead and use some Go Juice. And you're good to go. Okay. You guys leaving? No, you're just getting here. You just take a long time to get here. All right. Let's see what you guys got. Maybe they have the gene on them. That'd be pretty awesome. Uh, Inspire Creativity. Construction, so we can have him make a hospital bed. Or I can make him craft another royal bed. That'd be pretty good too. What do they have? Uh mild cell instability. So no, not really. Okay. Yeah, let's have him make one of these. who it was for a second all right justin masterwork all right masterwork you got this believe in you masterwork muffin girl almost done chopping these up you need anything now nah, you're good recreation deprived you'll be fine what are you upset about Rebuffed by other woman. Hey, we're up by Muffin Girl. The 16-year-old kid better chill out. Indoor light. Uh, that must... Oh, it's it's the sunlight. Okay. Yeah. I 
gonna get rid of that now. Come on, let's see this bed. Oh crap, I didn't get her a real name. It's alright, I'll just capitalize it for now. Legendary? That'd be great. I'm thinking it's going to be an excellent one. Masterwork. Okay. This furniture is engraved with an image of a wall. God. A flames nearly enveloping a lagoon. All animal life has left the area. It refers to encampment being menaced by a deadly flash storm. I thought it was going to be the Great Fire, but apparently not. It's a battle wall. <laughs> they must think so. Okay. So, man, he has rebuffed so much. Uh, Let's see. A word of joy. There we go. Hopefully that'll help. Plus 30. You counsel them as well. Nice. What? Wait. What got counseled off? An eight? No idea. Hungry pit animals. Uh, yeah. yeah. All right. Let's get this caravan set up. Finally. <sighs> Try this again. Let's see if we get all the donkeys killed trying to set it up this time. Surely not. Surely not. Well, like human leather. I think we'll be able to buy anything we want. With all this, I should leave the silver behind in case we run into or uh, have a ship show up. We have quite a bit. We were also going to take some. Oh, I hate when it does that. Crap. There we go. Take some assault rifles, I think. Those never get brought in. Ugh. Some of the snipers from that raid. All times. What else? What else? Oh, right. We're going to take some of the marine helmets because we have switched over to cataphracts. Um... Yeah, I changed my mind. We're going to like four different settlements, so we'll take the money. Can't reach all the human leather. Seventy-seven rice. Uh. All right, there we go. Now, if we can just get this stupid caravan off. Visual Studio Girl. <laughs> it's firewall. Yes. Hide in room. What happened? Unsightly environment. Yeah, it's uh, it's a little not great out there, huh? A little, uh, a little not great. <laughs> Give me a second. Which disables the slaves to rebel? There, it's something called more slavery stuff is the mod. It comes in more slavery stuff? Yeah. It's one of the precepts that you can get with it. it causes them not to if we keep their mood low enough.
Uh, all right, that's the last bionic legs we need to do for now. I drinking today i'm drinking anime girl thigh exclamation drink anime girl thigh uh i'm gonna be re or ordering some more over the weekend because i'm finally get starting to get low on on quite a few my wife's getting low on the ones that she likes best as well so i'm gonna be getting more pina colada uh more snake oil which is the apple pie one and I'm probably gonna try another, just when I haven't tried. I try to do that every single time so I can let you guys know what they're like. Bionic leg left, bionic leg right, but yeah, I'm, I've been missing the pina colada. I, I, I drink that every single day after I got it. A whole blast. I, don't, I didn't care for that one as much. I know some people like it, but a little too sweet. I know you can just use less of it, right? But my wife's favorite is definitely snake oil. She goes back and forth a little bit between them, but she was going to have me get her a different flavor. And then she made a cup of the snake oil one. And she's like, no, this one's too good. Got to order this one again. <laughs> What's your go-to drink when you start a new job recently? There we go. There we go. Let's get rid of this attention spot up here. My god, my caravan might actually make make it off the map. I am dirtying this place up quite a bit. <laughs> That is interesting, all right? Yeah, I'm really thinking we might end up needing to get more thralls again, but might as well wait and see if we get that good gene pack. So many funny product names. Yeah, I do wish they also... I, I, gave, I told them the idea. They probably heard it before. I really think they could benefit from a white label site, so, so to say. Not really white label. But what I called it was a safe for work site. So if they had another website that was like literally their address, but like .sfw.com and it didn't have any of that kind of stuff on it, I think some people will literally just never try any of it because of the branding of, of the of gamer subs, you know, which I can understand. I wouldn't have either, honestly. They reached out to me at the same time as G Fuel, though, and I was like, all right, I'm going to try. You guys send me whatever you want. Both of you send me whatever you want. I'm going to try all of them. I'll let you know what I honestly think. And then I'll talk to you both. And um, I remember when my wife, myself, my daughter were downstairs trying them. And we looked at each other after we tried the gamer substance. And we we're like, why is this one so much better? It's like, no, this is not. This is unfortunate. <laughs> Very committed to the brand. Yeah. And not all of them. So most of the crazy named ones are actually uh, creator ones. So it's people that have, have made their flavors through them. It's fine. It's whatever. It doesn't bother me. Like, I'm not really lost about it. But, like, you know, it's hard for someone going into your job or something. It's like, oh, what are you drinking? And you're like, uh, anime girl thighs. So, like, you know. Insect meat with hints of aged human life. In insect meat. Mega spider milk. <sighs> Christ. As soon as he hit that tile, he fell over. Ugh. This is very much on the internet. Yeah. yeah. And, and again, not all their flavors are that way. Like, Pina Colada, I think, is my current favorite. It's tough, though, that every time... I'm the same way where I will drink the Pina Colada when I'm like, man, this is so good. I think it's my favorite. And then I'll have a morning where I do, you know, I drink the anime girl thigh one again, and I'm like, actually, I think I like this one better. They have a lot of flavors that I really like. They have a lot of flavors I didn't care for either, though. But... All right. On our way to trade, we're, we're going to check jeans in all these places. How long until the... 
happens over here already. Three days and eight days. Okay. Is it energy drink or something? Uh, you don't have to get it as an energy drink, yeah. They have caffeine free, so. You can go to exclamation drink if you want, or if you want my actual thoughts right after I, I uh, did the deal with him. Exclamation thoughts is a video. Not that thoughts, but exclamation thoughts will tell you. We'll go over it in really big detail. I also have a section on my Discord where I keep track of all the flavors I've tried and tell you what I think of them. But yeah, not that thoughts, the other one. <laughs> Free workout, they didn't question it. Yeah, yeah. So my wife can't have a lot of caffeine, so she drinks only the caffeine-free ones. I drink both. It doesn't bother me. Grandpa's Ashes is super good. One of my wife's favorites also. Really good. It's, uh... Oh, God. Oh, he's sleeping. Okay. I, was, I thought he was down again. Sucralose? There's his sucralose base? I didn't think it was. Yeah, there's no sucralose in it. They use, um, what is it called? Erythritol or whatever. E-R-Y-T-H-R-I-T-O-L is the sweetener they use. I haven't seen any that have sucralose. Side. What is that one? 2,400 silver. 18 people. Hmm. Might have to make a stop there. How do you keep blood flowing? Uh, I have this big closet. Full of people that give us blood. Corn is very happy about it. Blood for the blood god. We need more skulls, though, actually. Didn't think of it. This is my blood storage closet. <laughs> actually, pretty low on steel, huh? Oh, well, I hope we get that gene or some other similar. Because then I think I'm going to push up to getting more thralls. Trying to pump blood in your veins. <laughs> yeah, you just have to have a closet full of, uh... I was going to say willing, but... Nah, just a closet full of people. That's all. That's all. Give me migraines in, just assumed it had secret lows? Yeah, not that I know of. Maybe it's that other artificial sweetener, though. Have you had other stuff with that? Uh, yeah, I don't know. Could have confused it with another powder drink, too. Yeah, that's definitely possible. They're not unwilling, just indifferent. Oh, well, I think they're pretty unhappy about it, in fact. You know what? She's not that unhappy. This blood bag is actually sad that I'm gone. Huh. <laughs> Imagine them in here being happy that we've conquered other people. Well, I know I'm missing my arms and legs and I can't do anything. But sure am happy they're out there killing other people. G Fuel uses sucralose, you think? I, yeah, I really did not. So two things with G Fuel. So I tried them at the same time. They offered me more money and a, and a better deal that way. And I, and I go over this in the thoughts video. But two things. I didn't like any of their drinks. I tried all their the samples they sent me. And then when I did the business meeting call with them about possibly... They were like, all right, so what do you think of them? And I was like, to be honest, I didn't really like that many of them that, that much. There was one that was kind of okay that I might drink, but just, I just didn't really care for it too much. And the people I was meeting with, the G Fuel, said, that's all right. You don't have to like to drink. Just, you can drink whatever you want. Just use our shaker cup and then just tell people that you're drinking G Fuel and that you like it. And I was like, like, hang on. I didn't say anything, but I was like, hang on a second. <laughs> so... 
G Fuel literally told me to lie and tell people that I was drinking. They were like, you can drink whatever you want. You can have soda in there, water or whatever. Just tell people you're drinking G Fuel. I was like, like, wow. <laughs> so, so it was really easy for me to go with gamer subs, even though they didn't offer me as much money. Are all your colonists vampires? Yes, all the colonists are vampires. So the slaves aren't, but the colonists are. I, so I didn't like G Fuel. I don't like the diet taste. I don't like the after the mouth feel after of a lot of like zero calorie drinks. In fact, when my wife and I were switching over from drinking calories years ago, she and I bought like, like literally over a hundred different kinds of drinks that had zero calorie other than water, of course, to try and see what we liked. And there were a few that we ended up liking and, and kind of sticking with, but G Fuel, I did not like um, it tasted diety to me, and I really don't like that taste. Some people do. My wife actually doesn't mind it. But also, my mouth felt like dry or powdery or something after I would drink it. I just didn't care for it very much. And when I told the G Fuel people that, they were like, Ah, it's alright, just lie to them. <laughs> like, wait, what? Oh, four prestige cataphract armors. 5,700 each. Uh, let's keep looking for jeans before I decide to trade for something else. Yeah, I was really uh, surprised when G Fuel told me to lie. Like, their nail analysis. Um, cooking speed plus five and immuno enhancer. Eh. Artificial metabolism. Nuclear stomachs would be great. Nuclear stomach, even reprocessor stomach. Let's keep an eye on those. I didn't even check if they had those. Artificial metabolism. You drink normal cola anymore because it tastes strange with the sugar. Think game or subs actually tastes good? Yeah, I, I really like it. Yep. Yeah. Like I. People were like, how do we know you're not doing that with gamer subs? And I was like, all right. And I sat here and I actually made one on the stream. <laughs> no, I uh, I was drinking it like every day, even for a couple weeks before I went, got the deal from them. Yeah, I did not like G Fuel. Some people like it, a lot of people do. But next time you see a streamer that's trying to sell you G Fuel, I guess you won't know if they're lying or not, <laughs> depending on who it is. Got everything. What are some tips? Uh, just remember, it's a single player game. Play however you want, have fun with it. You can start on lower difficulties and you can always adjust the difficulty as you're playing. So you can always go into the uh, gameplay and modify storyteller settings. You can change the storyteller, you can change the difficulty, you can change everything while you're playing. So. Mm. 34 elephants. Uh, yeah, that's easy for an architect arm. That would be my first advice, is just single player game. Just have fun with it. Uh, losing is fun. You might lose coming in, but you can also just play to get used to things again, even with raids off, right? Play on peaceful for a little bit. There's no, no shame in any of that. Aside from that, it just depends on what the pressure points are for you. Like, if you're trying to do a ship launch, like, what what, is, what are you losing to? What are you having problems with? Are you having problems with your colonists being happy? Are you having problems with a certain raid type killing you? Like, there's so many pieces of advice to give. But, as always, the answer is it depends, right? But, yeah, I, I would say just remember that you can... Uh, change difficulties and stuff while you're playing and in fact if you click on custom difficulty there's lots of things in there you can change so maybe you feel comfortable with everything like it normally is on losing is fun but the raids are a little bit too tough you can set everything to losing is fun in the custom menu by clicking the button clicking losing is fun and then you could turn down the raid threat a bit you know until you get a, a better handle on raids or whatever Um, there's a nuclear stomach. 
Deathless. Interesting. An Archite gene. Strong crafting. Slate. Pig voice and what? Heat super tolerant. Okay. So on to the next one, I guess. I really should use that jump pack tech print to get it out of the pool here. Yeah, let's finally do that. Oh, wait. Elephants. Elephants. Architect arm. Yeah. One locked in. Okay. And the Coconut Gamer Sup one again. Uh, there's two. I like the Pina Colada one, and I didn't end up liking the Sweet Six Pack one too. Oh, that one's Pineapple. Never mind. Yeah, Pina Colada is the only coconut one that I'm aware of at the moment. And it's one of my favorites. And it's just literally called Pina Colada. Uh, it was out of stock for quite a bit. And then as soon as it came back in stock, I got more. Hopefully it's not out again. I did end up trying the Sweet Six Pack one, which was Pineapple Cherry Cocktail. I was a little bit disappointed. It sounded really good. Pineapple cherry sounded really good, but uh, yeah, it's one of the ones I didn't really care for as much as I thought I would. It was okay. Yeah, in the Discord, I have a channel called uh, Current Sponsors, I think, something like that. Active Sponsors. And for the Gamer Subs thing, I keep track of all the things from them I've tried and what I how I felt about them. I've also tried to leave some information in there about like what I normally like and don't like. So if your flavor profile is kind of the same as mine, you can use that. I put the ones that my wife and daughter like and don't like in there. So you can always check that out if you want. Random trader. So... Some of the flavors might have it. That's interesting. So on the Gamer Subs web have here, one of them didn't have it. Let me check the other one. Hmm. Oh, that's the elephants. This one actually does have it. Yeah. Yep, I see it. Yeah. Interesting. So the first one I picked up doesn't have it. The other one does. I don't know if you're still here, but... Ever done an island playthrough on stream? No, I haven't. Just in case to get through one of these doors, better come over here. Where do you use Hyperweave? Uh, just on clothing, yeah. I guess you could make... I guess you can make, like, hyperweave chairs. I've never done it. But. Hyperweave, one of the two best textiles in the game. It'd be nice if they would add a way for us to make hyperweave. Any pig farming for their fur? It's fine. A little too micro-intensive for me. We tried the blue taste. Wait, what is the exact name of it? I have all the ones I've tried in the Discord, but what's the exact name of it? I, I should be able to remember. Yeah, I'm surprised. I, it's weird that some of them have different ingredients, yeah. Hyperweave sandbags? Yeah, I guess you could do that. It's just blue? Then probably not. Yeah, I don't think so. Don't think I've had that one. There is a blue one I have, though. Is that the name of it? Now it's just blue raz. Uh, then no, I haven't had a blue raspberry one. All right, almost there. Uh, we should be able to pull jeans again here. 1.1 days. Okay, almost there, almost there. Almost there. That is a lot of packs. That would suck if we end up... Yeah, let's go ahead and put some in here. It would suck if we end up having a waste pack infestation inside. You're going to hyperweave drapes for the throne room. Yeah. Hyperweave is so rare. It's such a good material. Uh, it's tied with Thrumbo fur as the best textile in the game, but... 
just you just really can't get much of it outside of mods of course Oh no, I've angered tribals. That'd be nice, yeah. Like, what could they do? If they made it so it was, like, craftable with cotton and steel or something, right? Or... Yeah, that'd be kind of cool. Cotton and steel. Last steel might be a little bit too costly for, our, for it, but... Is there any advantage to carpet over stone floor? No, not really. Healing factors, flesh shaping. High libido and ink black skin. Noir. Noir plus one. There's death rest capacity again, but we have one more. Oh, there's also a pig settlement up there. Last deal plus double strength. It'd have to be incredibly good for that. Like, it'd have to be better than it is right now. Devil Strand's already almost as good as Hyperweave. Oh, crap. Everything except for Architect, because I think it's dumb that you can't. Yeah. I agree. Last deal in Cotton. Yeah, maybe it took very little or something. You'll fire. <laughs> Scan Plasteel. Need death rest? Good. Warg in the animal pin. Alright, there's no animals there. Archaeology will fix all these things. That's right. Rumorland Archaeology. Announced in mid March. Uh. Naked speed. All right, let's go. Come on, pigs, have something for us. Insider info, I wish. <laughs> We're gonna address the elephant in the room or not? Which one? Watch the tribute collector show up now. What ending are we doing? Royalty. Six hours and we can rip your jeans again. Vaughn, aren't you excited? No, not even a little. That's the spirit. That's the spirit, Vaughn. Lurban. What is the name of your faction? Fwogoozle? <laughs> Fwogoozle. a lot of insect meat we could trade you. I don't think these guys will sell jeans, right? No. No, that's uh exotic goods. Um, We were... Wait, the parka we ended up ma making for the children was out of human leather? Well, hey, they all grew up big and strong, so it must have worked. It ended up being just fine. Oh, uh, we should probably buy this while we're here. We have the money for it. That has a lot of bug meat. A lot of bug meat. Um, let's go in to this and go make go juice. Do of X drop on the floor. Let's put that at like 50. Okay. 
And then we'll do another shelf. Looks like someone broke a shelf in here at some point, because I know I had a second one there. So we'll link these two. And in this one, we'll put the Nutra stuff. Neutro stuff. Try ulti ending once. The Stellark was a vampire, and his religion hated vampires and drugs. Uh, so I actually love it when the Stellark's a vampire, either way, because you can just have them death rest. You can force death rest with no automatic wake up, and it, it locks their mood at whatever they were in death rest. So have them show up, give them a lavish meal while they have that high from eating the lavish meal, death rest them until the shuttle's ready. It's actually the easiest Stellar to keep happy. I would love it if the Stellar shows up as a vampire. <laughs> Uh, usually what I have to do if the Stellar doesn't show up as a vampire, they hate so much of what I'm doing, I have to just put them in pleasure cycles non-stop for 13 days. It's a pleasure cycle. That's a weird... It's, even, it's weird that's even a base game thing, right? Pleasure cycle. Yeah, we got that ready. Well, I gotta get a room for it, but... Yeah, so next time you have that happen, just try to get them high mood from something and then quickly have them death rest without automatic wake up. And if they do get up again, just have them death rest over and over. You wish you had known that before you gave up? Yeah. <laughs> I ended up doing that in the, uh, the door run, I believe. My, what a stellar meal. How about a, I don't know, 13 day nap? Yeah. Who buys toxic packs? No one buys toxic packs. I'm dumping them on people to make them unhappy. Space already has Joywire. Joy Cycle, yeah. You would think that might be a better name, but. Animal War Call. Scarless Low Sleep. Well. Jump packs. Um. Well, well, well. Or inspiration would be real nice. Maybe I, I think I'm gonna grab one of those. All right, and I think it was this one that had the cataphract. I'd love to grab one of those for my character also. We still got enough stuff here? Yeah, you're fine. Joy Cycle. Yeah, Joy Cycle sounds weird. When you read it, the description, I ended up having to read the description because I always thought it was like, is this some kind of sexual thing? <laughs> like, what's going on? And uh, it is not. It is not. Just for anyone that doesn't know. You read, it basically just like stimulates the, the pleasure. Cycles of the brain. Go to your Joy Cycle class. <laughs> Yeah, my, my pleasure, V-Day. En enjoy your joy cycle. Mm -hmm. oh, I got food poisoning from berries. Dead. Uh, okay. So Vaughn, time to... It's out of here. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then we got Jackal and Roy at some point, too. Right. I'm on to add some kind of loving cycle. Probably is. Simulates brain. <laughs> Bolt goods trader from the pigs. Oh no. We're gonna be blamed for this if anything happens. Don't be throwing any grenades, alright? What what made Titan or whoever on the development team decide that pigs were explosive? Like loved explosives. I'm not sure. What should the pig's primary weapon be? Frag grenades. <laughs> what? How do they pull the pin? How do they pull the pin? 
Doesn't matter. Frag grenades. Ship it. Yes, sir. With her snout. Yeah, I guess so. They're tusks. Thanks. Appreciate it. Good job, team. Good job. Prison break. You guys don't want to do this. Told you. Well, now what? Now we don't have to to fight in the arena anymore. Cast. Just die then. How do they even use a rifle? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe they should make it so that... Uh, how do they use anything, really, but... Trotter hands. Wow, their map's covered in pigs. Covered in pigs. Okay, uh, what do we get from that? Fire spew. All right, well, we got one more chance here. Four days, four days. Are the packs more efficient? Uh, they... The nice thing about the packs is that they store them for later when they need it, right? If you're only doing blood feeding, then you have no backup saved up for when you need it, especially when you have done, like, um, um, casts and things like that. So, the trade-off is that we're coming in here every single time they're able to give blood again, I suppose. Whereas blood feed, we're only going in there when we need blood, if that makes sense. But I like having the overflow... College course in Rimworld. <laughs> Doesn't hurt to have the extra backup blood, yeah. Yeah, that's what I think. I wish another set of people would hook up here. So we can have the Stellar bedroom ready already. But, uh, yeah, I think I am going to get more Thralls. I really hope we just get Depressive. Yeah, it sucks that we got the Depressive gene, but it's in a pack with two other things. Feeding also scales with target body size. Yeah, that's right. God, when bio, uh, I think first came out, getting the blood bags from them, the hemogen farm gave so much experience. It was crazy. They changed that pretty quickly, but man, oh man. It was incredible while it lasted. You can get someone from like no medical experience to 18 plus. Pretty quickly, just by having them farm blood. I think it also... Am I misremembering that gene packs were also given quite a bit? I feel like that was the case, too. Alright, the Arcotech arm. We'll put that on our best crafter. Oh, they're even in crafting. Okay, does anyone have an arm problem? She's missing an eye. We gotta get that replaced. All right, so we'll give you the arm. I'll architect arm, left shoulder. Jimbo, you better not fail the surgery. I feel like they toned down the amount of experience they give, though, right? That's all they did with the um, blood as well. The good thing about installing the gene packs is that it can't fail. Like, guaranteed experience. 
Chucked him hard enough. Grenades. <laughs> really do need to move some of those uh, mortars over here. I keep putting it off because we're not that susceptible to things like that. But what if we have a mech cluster that we need the mortars for? So, that'll be on my list to do after we get the genes going here. All right. Uh, let's see what we can get. Yeah, we can absolutely get those. They have two nuclear stomachs. Hmm. Uh, when is she supposed to get home? Money, money, money. Hmm. We can buy Prestige Cataract for both of our Royals right now, which would be pretty awesome. God, that's expensive, though, but... I mean, we have the money. And we're just going to keep getting more money. So... All right, screw it. Here we go. Nice. Alright, starting to build up uh, some plastic again. Let's make an eye. Make... Oh yeah, we have the detoxifiers as well. But make a bionic eye. Let's do one for now. Skulls needs death rest. Okay. So now that we're at raid cap, I guess I can just put down whatever, right? So no reason to not put this uh, slate floor down in these places. These other bedrooms. Uh, we might not have enough for this one. Finish the other two first. Okay. Um, do we have... Yeah, we have Roy. So Roy is Neanderthal. Grabbing, like, poor intellect would be great on that. So we'll go ahead and run him through this. And then we also have Jackal. Jackal's also ready. Yeah, we just need to know when, when they're going to bring her back home. Uh, Brass, thank you for the 12 months. I'm a whole one years old, almost. Don't get ahead of yourself. Ain't thank you for the nine months. I already thanked you. I'll thank you again. 17 times two. 43 months. How much do you favor having slaves in a typical run? Zero. You never help yourself. Slaves from a min-max standpoint are not very good. So I would only really go for them if you're doing a themed run, you know, doing special things with ideology. But if you're like really min-maxing, slaves unfortunately are not, not generally as good as just having colonists. But we're using a mod that's... Uh, that's called more slavery stuff and it adds a lot of different precepts and memes for different types of slavery that does make it worthwhile. Does blood pumping affect blood regeneration? We were talking about that the other day and I didn't have time to end up checking it. I imagine blood pumping does, but yeah, I, do, I don't know actually. Dino versus Robots Fest on Steam. Dino games are on sale. Demos! I hope I'm good in full blood. Is that a thing to hope for? Um, Maybe, as long as you don't you don't have too much blood, which is definitely can be a thing. I'm not, like, blood gorged, I don't think. I, I think I have an adequate amount of blood. Yes, thank you. 
a royal vampire in super heavy, prestigious armor riding a donkey <laughs> through the desert. The donkey doesn't have a name either. Also depends if it's your blood or not. That's, uh, that's a good point. Not a tick confirmed. Not a tick, probably. All right. Get those out of there. Bionic eye. Okay, let's get you that. It's all bionic eye. Uh, no. Oh, crap. That's the center one again. It's insane how many of those I get when they're supposed to be so rare. And that's held open. That's unfortunate. My piano! No! <laughs> Friggin' bugs. They immediately destroy my piano. God, it took us so long to make that piano. Hey, we have wood now, though, so it probably won't be a big deal. Actually, I don't. I didn't even remake the smith. This is like, ah, we got our piano. We don't need this anymore. My piano! <sighs> oh, that's annoying. Uh, EQ, make this. The music from the piano is what woke them up. <laughs> Might be right. So there were no waste packs up here and no pollution. For anyone that doesn't know, I mean, this is a long run, so I guess it makes sense that this would happen a couple times in this run. Um, there is a waste pack, waste pack infestation that just happens in the center of the map. You can be on a map with no waste packs, 0% pollution, and get a waste pack infestation in the center of the map. I don't, I don't know why. Why is that a thing? It feels like it's going to be one of those things that we've been, re we reported as a bug or something that the developer's like, oh no, it's supposed to be that way. And then we'll get a patch at some point that's going to be like, there was a problem where waste pack infestations were spawning without waste packs. Kind of like with the, the Breacher thing that happened. You don't know what I'm talking about. When Breachers first became a thing, when Ideology came out, they were so common, and people were like, these are every raid. Every raid is a Breach raid. It is a miracle in the late game if you get anything other than a Breach raid. It feels like it's 90% of all the raids. And the developer's like, no, no, no. It's working as intended, blah, blah, blah. It's not a bug. It's not a bug. Everything's fine. And then a couple months went by, and then there was a patch... In the in the like um, where, where it explains why it's being patched, like it turns out that there was a a bug where breachers were consisting of ninety three percent of all raids. <laughs> like yeah, this is news to no one. Throne room's a little ugly at the moment. Archaeology and multiplayer will fix waste pack infestations. Oh whoa 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 no no. was close. <laughs> it was literally entering the map. Okay.
Sam's ex-wife? Who's Sam? Lover of Jackal? Ah, these people don't even have legs. What do we get from you? Poor social. Okay. Well, not exactly what we wanted, but... Hey, there's Jackal now. Come on, Raiders. Drug-free slave claps due to exhaustion. Here, let's repair that. Tribals. <laughs> well, no prisoners, it uh, looks like, but. Major break risk. Oh, come on. Those doors being held open is not good. What if the center waste pack counts as a major event? Not sure. It just works. A bug with a mod for the longest time. Yeah, it seems very weird. Is there a way to build a freezer more compact? Uh, this does help, so, I mean, shells can hold triple what they used to before 1.4, so all you can really do is make, like, the cooler exploit, um, cooler venting into a, a door, you can do up to three coolers into one door, and then just fill it with shells, kind of like this, right? Like, before 1.4 and not counting mods, you would need a massive freezer for this. Because we got... How many? Maybe, like... Is that selecting some elsewhere? Yeah, it's selecting some over there. I don't know. You got, like... 50 or 60 shells full of meat, but they're all... Triple shells, right? So... And that would have taken a lot more space before 1.4. And you could always install a mod. If you're not if you uh, uh, opposed to using mods, there are a lot of mods for uh, bigger item stacks. Oh, no, don't run away from it. Don't run away from the fire. There are, um, there's like a, a deep freezer mod that I know a lot of people use. Where you will literally have like a single tile that's a like a refrigerator pretty much full of stuff. Pollution retaliation. Here they are. <laughs> We've done this. Vent to your base. Yeah, I'll go over that again for anyone that's not familiar with it. I don't know. Hey. Hey. We might get some extra chances at... Depressive here. Those donkeys in here. They can wander around the base for a little bit. There, drop them off there. Fine. Now, all impid raids can be kind of scary for us because if they get any flame breaths off in here, we could, uh, we could run into some issues, but hopefully that doesn't happen. I'm so tired of you being upset all the time. What's wrong with you? Don't have enough psychast or uh rebuffed, rebuffed, rebuffed. It's always the case. Uncomfortable. Get something to sit on. 
Uh, I didn't put chairs here for the longest time because we had slaves doing the crafting. Well, we got some human leather that's about to come in, actually. What well, you know it. Hey, my piano. Back out. Pretty important. Look at all this undignified bullcrap. Oh, Lord. Yeah. Beautiful pond early. She was rebuffing. Yeah. Yeah. We sell people that a lot about beautiful. Not as bad as it used to be, but yeah, it's still still be a real pain. Um okay. Do go juice. Actually, just everyone get over here. I have time to do go juice. Jack go juice, come this way. A lot of raiders. A lot of raiders. Uh, Jimbo getting the second position. EQ, second position. Hopefully these corpses don't start rotting while we're standing here, but... Major break. Yeah, yeah. Alright, just go somewhere that's... I don't really have that many places anymore that are fancy. The throne room's all screwed up. Oh, okay. Thank goodness. For a second there, I was like, wait, do we not get that re, uh, repaired after the pigs? That would have been... That would have been probably game over. Isn't that crazy? That two pieces of wall... Could end the run. All right. No flame breath. No flame breath. Come on. Uh, Combat command. Good so far. I heard that. Don't, nope. Don't let him do it. Hey. We want to take some of these prisoners if we can. Uh, EQ, repair. Go repair. Major break on verse girl. Uh, you can go up there too. Ooh, flame bow. So many missed shots are hitting. God, that sound that sounds scary because <laughs> they're about to breathe fire when that. I hear that. And most of our colony is afraid of fire. Literally, start running away. close. It even played the graphic of the fire. Earth running on the PS5 emulator without crashing. Missed the daycare though, yeah. Yeah, all the kids have grown up. I think the the youngest of the children now is like 14. All right. Surely we'll get depressive from one of those, right? Surely. Stop calling me Shirley.
Um. God, how am I gonna know what you name? I was blood bags before. Bagel. Eighteen months. The run has been so fun. Embrace the inefficiencies. <laughs> Risk the run for fun. That's right. That we have. Wait, so what did Roy give us? Oh, hang on. Roy is literally dying. We haven't brought the other person in yet. Major break. Uh, we gotta get this piano done. God's sake. Donkeys are wandering everywhere. Sleep. There's no time for sleep. Here, take wake up. Uh, take go juice. This is not good. You'll be fine, right? Uh, here, drink some psychite tea. <gasps> He's overdosed. Now make my piano. <laughs> Minor drug overdose. I see you're fine. It's fine. Right. We have a res serum. Push him. About an hour from now? Okay. So you want to go before that or after she's back? Or you go after she's back? Are, she, are they going to be eating while she's out? Yeah, he's fine. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Not No major one. It's fine. Oh, we got so much to do. I remember when we had all these thralls doing stuff for us. Undivided throne room. Need recreation uh, variety. Oh, right. You know what? Uh, people are being trapped inside and they got that, you know, entombed debuff. But I think having them come outside and do recreation is maybe not that great because it's so far over here. And they're not getting the buff for it being in a good room. I think the buff for it being in a super impressive room alone would be enough. So I think I'm going to remake some of that over there. Uh, let's do a round of cloth. Infection. Hey, don't die of infection. You gotta, you gotta give or live long enough to give us some genes. Did you end up bringing that other person over here? You know what? Can't cancel Jackal. Cancel Jackal. Uh, impid, impid. Genes regrowing. Impid. There we go. Maybe we should have a second piano in in reserve, you know? A challenge. Yeah, so are you wanting to go before she's back or are you want to go with her and eat while we're out? Total eclipse of the heart. Three patients awaiting medical. Yeah, yeah. You want to wait on her and go get food too? Okay, that's fine. There are so many pigs in tribal robes. <laughs> Good question. But uh, it wasn't always that case. And we also grow drugs and things too. Back up piano. Come on. You can eat when you're done making this grand piano. What are you putting on? Hey, no, that's for other... That's for other woman. Get out of here. Can't believe you put on her clothing. All the time, yeah. I originally had it so that they would they were going outside for recreation, so they weren't entombed always, but the throne room's a mess, just a little bit. Be alright. Zamana's working on it. We had a little bit of a bug problem in there, but you know, it's it's fine now. We're swimming back home so you wouldn't get your butt beat. Uh we're where I grew up, 
Um, the house is right at the base of some woods and a like a small mountain right behind that. And I can remember being out like on the mountain by myself when I was a little kid and just out there playing, exploring, whatever. And it being dinner time. And my mom would come out on the porch and yell for me. It would literally echo off the hills. <laughs> I would hear it. Take off sprinting home. There's a mountain lion. Never ran into any. I ran into a lot of snakes and things like that, though. Nature running. That's right. That's right. Uh, who's out and cooking again? Drug-free slave. Oh, he can't reach those anymore. That's right. That's right. Drug free slave. Scrawl over the freezer floor. No. Never <laughs> know. They are nearby. Yeah. Yeah. We didn't really have too many problems with those right group in general. Hey, you're nearby. Clean this crap up. Uh, I don't believe you're done. God, this place is so dirty. Undignified throne room. I'm working on it. By the time we get this cleaned up, or it'll be time for more raids. All right, I have to click on the person. Which one was it? Uh, you. Mo, can you take them? Thank you. Yeah, we definitely need more thralls. What's going on with you? Extreme malnutrition. Get a dedicated room, but we had one for a while. But they're dead. And not closed. Yeah, I'm aware. Hey, EQ, we're going to wait on the rest of this flooring, all right? That's taking you way too much time right now. Donkey's confused. Oh, great. <laughs> well, uh, hmm. Any of these new people able to be a decent, um, thrall? Animal might be too happy. This person's not really that good at some of the stuff we'd want, so that's that's kind of what we need. So maybe them. What about you? This one also, actually. And they can also fight, which is good. So let's go ahead and set these two can to convert. Might get two more thralls here. Set them on priority like cleaning, hauling, and mining. They don't like mining, so that'd be perfect. All right, come on, depressive. Genetic unhappiness, let's go. No more fire spewing bullcrap. It's like watching a hot oil. It's going so slow because I'm watching. Poor plants, weak melee, weak immunity. Not bad. I mean, it is bad, but that's what we want. All right, cool. All right. Um, next, next imp. Next imp, please. Better not make a crappy chair. Instruction five. Hang on. Yeah, you can stop that for now, okay?
What's going on? Stream infection. Oh, you're gonna die. We need to take your arm. Okay. Um. Oh yeah, I got a stomach as well. That's right. Jimbo, cut this arm out. <sighs> no. Let's not do that. No. <laughs> Now, once their arms cut off, then we can steal their genes. There, there we go. All right. What a mess. Oh my God, that door's held open as well. Um, consume. You know what? That should make you pick it up, right? Are you gonna just drop it in the same spot? Yep, you are, okay. Zoom. We got we gotta get more hands on deck here. Too much to do with this size raids. Donkeys are still in there. We don't have this made. I'm gonna start starving. Run room still undignified. Wait, what happened? Did something else get destroyed? Why, yes, yes. It did. I didn't even notice that. You call this needs death rest. Uh, yeah, we can wait a minute. Actually, I'm just scanning stuff right now. I can go ahead and death rest. It's fine. Exhaustion. You'll be fine. Don't worry. Kid Jimbo, the MVP of this run? Absolutely. Protagonist, for sure. Uh, we probably want to grab that person. That one's unwavering, huh? Butter everywhere. Everything's a mess. Come on, genetic pessimism. Zamana and Feel are getting married. Good. I don't get the mood hit or mood increase from it, but oh well. Are all these pretty much full? Nah. We got some room. Come on. Starvation. You're at a wedding. Just hang on a second. Warm. Next imp, please. God. I gotta remember to close these after we do the body block on... on things. Okay, Jimbo. Time for your death rest. So what are you up to, EQ? Are you making these? Yeah, okay. Right, so that should allow for them to move the donkeys now, right? Who else is on handling? I know he can't tame things because he doesn't have a tongue, but... Oh, and we need to get the shelf redone, too. They destroyed the shelf with all the donkey food on it. All right. Uh... Yeah, she probably set another person to Muffin Girl back to doctoring while the two main doctors are in bed. Death rest. 
Okay. Drug free slave. Go ahead. Oh, nope. Already cremating. Good. Sorry, trade. We haven't seen a tribute collector in a while again. Oh, here we go. Exciting moment of watching someone pop out of a gene extractor. Let's use reverse psychology. Have a backfire. Uh, very fast runner. Normally, I would I would want that, but confusion. All right, you have dementia. All right. Oh, <laughs> I was about to say, what happened to that one person that we gave the no sleep gene to? Right, they dead. They dead. They died, tragically. I mean, I did, I did accidentally chop them in half with a mono sword, but completely not my fault. But they did, they did. We got it. Yes. Thank you, Thson. Thanks. All right, so now we should be able to get a pretty good gene pack for the for the thralls. They fell on the sword. <laughs> Through no, no fault of my own. Yeah. That's how I remember it. Alright, let's take a look at this. So, we want... God, I still wish we had the no sleep split off, but... We're just gonna have to keep them on go juice, which could be really good anyway. Uh, so there's the never sleep go juice that we super want. Poor social, awful arts. Poor construction, poor melee. Tox immunity is also very important. Um, unhappy. Cold weakness. So we're down at 70% hunger right now, which is great. And that's the max complexity with the amount of things that we have over there. I think that's fine, actually. That one breaks even. We don't want that one. We don't want awful... Yeah, this is that's good. That works. Uh, no sleep juice. Right. No sleep juice. Yeah. Two. All right. Uh, thank you for the resub. Oh, no, not resub. Why does it say... Oh, I see you. I have it. Oh, you subscribe for three months at once. Okay. Thank you. I'm <laughs> sorry about that. Um, I appreciate it. Yeah. Been watched for a while, learned a lot of stuff. Yeah. Thank you for the support. I'm I'm so not used to seeing people subscribe for months in advance that every time I see that, I'm like, wait, how did you res how did you resubscribe for three months on your first month? That doesn't make sense. Anyway, thank you. I appreciate the support. so they will get slept in the cold while other ponds are fine. Uh, well, they have no sleeps. So they're not going to get slept anywhere anymore. We're going to get a lot more work done now, too, because their rest efficiency has been absolutely horrible because they sleep in this. So, giving them the no sleep gene, we're just, in general, going to get a lot more work done. The, yeah, causing collision. Yeah, it's very important. I feel like that should just be how it works in general, but what kind of job is creating genes? Great Xenogerm, so it is research. Good. All right. We'll give that to all of them and Yeah, we'll try to make this one a thrall. That one as well. This one is unwavering. We'll just kill them. Okay. Do I want to try to get anything else out of the high mates? Maybe I should... 
I mean, we, we can't make the Xenogerm right now anyway. So, hang on. Let, let's cancel that and see what else we get from the high mate. We might get something out of that that would make the hunger actually go down to 50% instead. Since we're additive, so your notification for two months would mean two more months. Calculation, you saw 80 plus months. Yeah. <laughs> Power and figuring out when you can turn it off is a decent part of game optimization. Yeah, it makes sense. It's just it's just unfortunate you have to basically use a like an exploit pretty much to make it not bug out. But yeah, six colonists for eleven days. No, I'm good, thanks. <laughs> for a, for just a second, I was like, what? How they die? What, they died when I cut their throat? Wow. What are the odds? What are the odds? All right, let's see what we get for the high mate. <laughs> Zerk. You're lucky you're not dead. Who was that, EQ? Yeah, you're really lucky. What happened to you? Not much, actually. Maybe one... Yeah, I don't know. I'm pretty sure I heard him get hit, though. All right, hi, mate. Let's see what we get. Hey, the reverse psychology worked last time. Let's try that again. Um, What would be good here? Probably awful plants. So we don't want awful plants. We should say, hey, let's get great social. All right, let's see if that works. Yeah, bye, pigs. I don't have time to trade with you right now. I got jeans to make. Jeans. All right. So I think that would be enough to get them down to 50%. So not only would they... So basically, our slaves will only need one meal a day and never sleep. Oh, we'll get so much more done. So much more done. Watching jeans getting extracted. No time for trading. That's right. Riveting. Crap. All right. Uh, Sko, thank you for the five months. Thank you, Sko. Also very much appreciated. Okay. Yeah, I didn't end up... Uh saving that so all right so never sleep and tox immunity or social awful arts um old weakness unhappy or melee or construction hulk body we have uh two more complexity so i could put this one on there We're already at 70. That would take them to 50. We need one more. Is that worth having them? Uh, no. I don't want to deal with weak immunity since they're... Yeah. That'll yeah, be fine. 70 is, is pretty good. Hmm. Only 90%. It's probably fine, though. Don't technically need beds with no sleep. No, you don't need beds for them. But I want to have them assigned to sleep together when they are not a couple. Because it should still give them a mood hit. Uh, There's hunger rate 50%. Yeah, we can deal with it. It's fine. So one meal a day. They don't sleep and they're immune to toxic stuff. That's pretty good. Okay. No sleep juice. Tox, no sleep juice. Okay. Now we just gotta get them combined. Save the template. Yeah, I remember this time. Thank you. 
Now we just gotta get those combined. Then why not super clotting? Super clotting will make them eat more. And these this is for the slaves, so. Super clotting is incredible. It's probably one of the the best combat genes you can get, but for the for the thralls, that's yeah, fine. We can clot them with our uh, coagulate ability and it won't make them eat more. So I was trying to make a way for them to be unhappy and eat less. Better than chickens. Uh, so the Xenogerm is at... Cracking that is uh, at the top of the research list, so they will do that first. But only after they've gotten finished doing doctoring stuff. There's a lot of doctoring stuff to do. So, actually building up blood for the first time in forever. Vampires are happy. Oh, we also got a... Also got the flu. I think that's the first time I've had that happen. It didn't hit any of the colonists. Oh, I guess it makes sense because there's so many vampires. But it also didn't hit the slaves. It hit... Only the blood bags. Uh, okay, well, we might end up losing some of them. Because many of them are missing body parts and are not... Uh, do not have very good blood filtration. We'll see, though. We're all dead. Yeah, pl prison flu. Conversion. Was on you? Slave. I'll tend to that one. Stuffed in the closet with no space and blood everywhere got sick. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm kind of glad Rimworld doesn't work that way. God, imagine contagious diseases. Ugh. I remember a long time ago when I used to use a lot of mods when I was pretty newer to the game 1.0 I used a lot of mods and I would try out a lot of stuff and I remember adding a mod for some reason that added more types of disease and I got into my save file and almost immediately everyone was getting like syphilis and stuff like all the couples were I mean all these like sexually transmitted diseases and I was like what nope <laughs> I went out and I disabled it also, I remember using the psychology mod, and that was brutal, too. There was some pretty cool stuff with the psychology mod, but one of the first things that happened when I turned it on was that someone had a breakdown, and their breakdown was cutting. And so they went into their, their bedroom, and the room was filled with blood. It was just everywhere. They wouldn't stop. They got all the way down to, like, two hours left to live. Like, dozens of cuts on their body. And their room just filled with blood. My goodness. Brutal. Brutal. Why did you kill a tortured artist if he could be a good slave? Um... So, that one was, um, unwaveringly loyal, and so I'd have to convert them before I could make them into a slave, really, with our ideology. And so, I just... I just didn't feel like going through the conversion process. Because you can't convert them... Uh, through the social tab either you actually have to do like the conversion from the priest and the conversion in the on the altar and all that kind of stuff and I just I just didn't feel like doing it you have to use like contraception mod with that one that's not cutting that's suicide yeah exactly it's like geez not what I thought was gonna happen nuclear stomach bionic eye okay Um, yeah, we still haven't done that yet. Let's go ahead and do specialized limbs. <clears throat> but yeah, I probably should just have done the, the work needed to convert them, but... Now that we have this gene pack, once we actually get the thing done...
won't really matter that much anymore, but. Why do you keep leaving that job? What? Well, wow. okay. I guess the medical attending thing really takes... You can't even force them to ignore the medical. I mean, I can turn them off medical at the moment. But there is a... There's a disease runs there. All right, we got a new... Um, a new slave. They have catharsis. Uh-oh. I'm not going to name them until they survive. Stall mind screw in the brain. Um, tongue. Be great on the slaves too. Well, yeah, maybe. It's just that problem is we actually do need them to be able to fight. Why aren't you making the... Hang on. Create Xenogerm. Study. Do research. Oh, so why didn't you make the germ first? What's the crap? God, he has so much doctor work to do. You know what? Uh, off doctoring for now. Well, doctoring is a two. If this person survives, we're going to have them do cleaning, hauling first. And then mining if they have nothing else to do. Okay. Rewind this to the beginning and catch them on this one. Uh, the beginning of this one was... Uh, I won't spoil it, but it was, it was kind of rough. But then the rest of the day so far has kind of just been... Progress, actually. A day of progress. Surprisingly. Interesting to see what tomorrow holds. We got a lot of people needing death rest. Muffin girl, go ahead. Feel. Do you like three of them? All oh, right, versus girl. We never made a coffin for her. It's almost like we have space for one more vampire. Almost. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll we'll finish that or fix that later. For now, she can just be there. Okay, EQ, you make that. There we go. Now I'm making that. Okay, recombine. Load that one. Start combining. All right. Finally. Gene packs. Cataphract stuff. We basically just need other girl to become Countess rank, and we are pretty good for, like, end game. Got a near wipe, down to one combat pawn, one no violence pawn. Is there a good way to counteract getting hit hard when the next raid comes? Your base is still worth a ton. Uh, did you... How many, like, pawns died and, and stuff? You probably have adaption, so the next raid is going to be smaller either way because you lost so much. But if you still have a lot of wealth, it could be overwhelming still. Um... Yeah, which storyteller are you playing on? And, like, how many people died or got kidnapped? I control temperature in the mountain. So there's a trick to that if you would like to use it. Uh, it's a bit of an exploit, but basically coolers can vent up to three coolers into a door. It just, the door just deletes the heat. So you see that door, you see how it gets hot and immediately not? 
you can do that for your mountain base and you don't need to vent things out anywhere. So if you need to keep it cool. You just do that. If you need to keep it warm, just heaters anywhere just work in general. But yeah, that's all you got to do is show it again. So you, there's a couple of caveats to it. You can have up to three coolers where the, the heat vents into the door, even with overhead mountain. So it doesn't matter that it's covered in overhead mountain. It'll still vent it, but you also don't want it touching the wall. So if you put a fourth cooler here, it doesn't work. If this border is a wall, it doesn't work. So you can put up to three coolers and just have them vent into a door. And then you can do more than that, you know, more setups like this if you want. Use vents around it if you're trying to, to keep the whole thing cool or warm or whatever. But that's a good trick for overhead mountain. You had four colonists die and you're against Cassandra. So you'll be, you'll have adaption maxed out. So the raid will be a little bit smaller either way, but it might still be overwhelming depending on your wealth and stuff. The only thing you can do is either try to get rid of wealth or you can leave the map. So if, if you don't want to, if you don't want to lose your research and the two pawns you have left, you could always caravan to a new map or even just temporarily and then come back. But with one, one combat pawn, one cable of violence, and max adaption. Depending on what the raid ends up being, what the event ends up being, you might still be okay. But yeah, the raid will be smaller. Uh, tried a mountain colony and they died from heat wave. Yeah, so that will help you. Yeah, even just having a couple of rooms cool like that will have a place for them to go into. Uh, what difficulty are you on, surreal? And has Cassandra attacked once or twice recently? Or two, one or two major events recently? Like, if you go into this, are there two red dots pretty close together? Or you might have a pretty, you know, a, a pretty big window before she attacks again. All right, so mind screw, tongue is gone. Looks like they're going to live from the flu. All right, we need to start getting uh, getting these genes implanted. Plant Xeno gene. It's one. Safeguarding an ally. No, I don't think I'll do that. Thanks for the offer. Yeah, so for anyone that doesn't know what I'm talking about, basically the game has a system in it where if you take damage, so if you have pawns that are downed, um, it gives you a little bit of adaption. If you have pawns that are killed or kidnapped, it gives you more adaption. And it's something so that the game will take it a little bit easier on you for a little bit. It doesn't last a whole like super long time, but it's a way like, especially for instance, Cassandra hitting you back to back because she can do two raids like that. If she hits you and kills a few pawns, the next raid is going to be a little bit smaller to give you a kind of a, a little bit of a break, a chance at coming back, you know? And it's, it's, it just calls it adaption factor. Implant the genes. Oh, did it? Oh, okay. We don't need it yet, but we'll need it for the next good catch. Yeah, we'll need it for when he does the count ceremony. So. Wow, four. Can you abuse that by beating up your own pawns? Yes, and I have done that. So another thing to keep in mind is that if you have a prisoner that's uh, like one of your own colonists that you arrested, that prisoner counts for adaption as well and so in some of my runs i was getting a colonist that was a wimp and i was intentionally beating him up every single time he got back up because when he was downed to unconsciousness it made the adaption factor uh turn on and so every single time he would stand up we'd just go in there and beat him down yeah. it's been a while since i did that but yeah you can absolutely do that have a wimp colonist that you beat up every now and then or that you arrest and beat up every now and then Yes, we named him Smurf, yeah. <laughs> oh, right. He has dementia. Crap. 
I should have used that. Well, I mean, we're going to put it on all of them anyway, but... Xenogerm... Smurf. The adaption mule. Wimp abuse to avoid big raids, yeah. <laughs> I haven't done that in a while, but you can definitely do it. There we go. Wish you could queue up more of these. Like, imagine the genus symbol being due until X. That would be fantastic. I always forget I have that Phoebe emote. It's just like literally Phoebe with a skull. Does nose impact social impact? Yes. Not having one, yeah. I think that's where aesthetic shaper actually goes, right? So yeah. Alright, Zamana. Trying to stagger these a little bit more. Oh, right. Aesthetic nose goes in the nose. Aesthetic shaper is the torso. My bad. I had the aesthetic part right. <laughs> All the pawns are always so cruel to people in that way. Yeah. Pigs are going to be our enemy again soon unless we give them some stuff. I don't know that I'm going to go... Oh, what is this? Right, that's the silver. We need to go do that raid at some point, but... Sanders off cooldown, and we have quite a few people in death rest, so I probably shouldn't be. And some people that are recovering from having their genes rewritten, so probably shouldn't go off raiding for a little bit. <laughs> one of those has uh, not only roar voice, but one of them has hulking body, so we're turning all our slaves into hulking body. Does different beauty enhancement stack, like does beautiful plus aesthetic shaper plus nose make super beautiful? I think so. Yeah, I don't remember. Based on the February um, community challenge thing that we set up, I think so. Turn them into Igor. Hi, Igor! Gypsy says yes, they stack. Oh, uh, yeah, there's still limestone up here from the Ancient Danger. Bacon for all I care about them. Problem? Yeah, I hate being attacked by the pigs, so. They stack to a maximum of 40. Plus 40. Triple hit pirates. Okay. Let's say attack immediately. Oh, well, a couple of you don't have shield belts anymore? Oh, God. All of our people are going to sound like Itakin now. Fantastic. Girl, you're up, apparently. Mm 
Exhaustion. Ooh. Watching you. Why are you getting so beat up? What's going on here? I mean, they do still have a uh, teenage body, not adult body. Maybe that's part of it. I got hit with an equal a couple times. Spears actually do a, quite a bit of damage, too. He almost has a leg destroyed by a spear. Yeah, I guess that will do it. Excess beauty to offset stone skin. That's a good thing to do. I don't think I've seen stone skin at glands this time. Uh, EQ. He really got beat up. Got beat up. Okay, uh... Whoops. We'll switch that to all work on all of them once the jeans are done. Not that they're going to do anything with the sleep and the schedule anyway. So I guess it doesn't matter, but... Uh... Starvation. Really good on Plasteel now. Well, maybe not as good as I thought we were actually. Uh, 639 is pretty decent. Higher quality shield belt, have more shield compared to a lower quality one. Um, I th think. I think it also has faster recharge. Am I remembering right? I only have normal ones here, so I can't ch check the difference at the moment. Yeah, but I think so. I feel like it also also impacts recharge rate, but I might be misremembering. Do you say rocket launcher isn't good against mechs? No. How about tribal launcher? Uh, yeah, mechs, especially centipedes, explosions don't really do much much against them, but uh, explosions definitely rip through tribals. Yeah, humans in general. Facts. He's death rest. The the rocket launcher turret, if you can manage to use it against the tribals, it is it can delete a tribal raid. It's really hard to use a no pause, but how long does it one more hours? Okay. Does quick sleeper help with death rest? No, it does not. Fog effect crop growth. Uh, light level affects it. So anything that impacts light level will impact crop growth. Yeah. Almost have our first two. making these we'll just do two at a time i guess and then in the future this will just be part of what we do when we get a new thrall we'll just give them uh <laughs> mind screw take their tongue and give them new genes unfortunately they got dementia hmm we can fix that though actually you're dying to to drill or oh yeah, dug too deep with no pause. Oh, you're trying no pause now as well. Is that because you want to get more days in on um uh during like room for instance or 
have you started to actually enjoy it? Or a little, a little of both columns. If I send them through a regeneration cycle, they're gonna get they're gonna get some things healed that I don't necessarily want healed on them though. Mm. Wait, did we end up getting that? No, we didn't. Not right now though, because Sanders off cooldown. A little of both, gotcha. Converting another person to no pause. Yeah, they're probably blowing themselves up with grenades right now. All right, so Kasu. There we go. And then you as well. Very nice, very nice. Once you learn to play with less pause, now you ended up enjoying it a lot. Yeah, that's how I like playing more. Someone the other day on the stream, uh, on, on the YouTube chat, actually asked me, they're like, why do you always try no pause challenge along with your other challenge? And I was like, just how I like to play. That's what I enjoy. Just die in your game, just go to tribute collector walking through a waste pack infestation. They overwhelmed even with a shug and tunnel. We're uh, pretty fortunate that the single phase are so good in melee. We have really good armor, really good melee weapons. So like all infestations are pretty easy in this run. Oh, she doesn't have auto wake up. Excuse me. Have auto wake up on. Hey, where's your weapon? Must be down here. Yeah, there it is. Okay. All right. So these guys are getting their jeans going. It's going to take two and a half days. And we'll do the next two. Give you a real name. So we can go ahead and do that because you survived. All right. Let's see what your real name is. Tharsis is going to become Baxter. Baxter Graves. First time getting in the game. Why not Joywire and Weed? Because then they would break down all the time. I have to make them really unhappy. Think about the slave children. <laughs> No, because of the mod we're playing, I have to make them super unhappy. Mine screws the way to go on this one. You can clean zones so your slaves can clean the bottom tunnel. I have one. So that it's, uh, it's not getting done yet. But yeah, I have, I have it. Soon I probably won't. Well, Christ, we're going to have to worry about it with the... Um, Stellart too, I just remembered. Uh, cloth isn't quite in yet. Not yet. Well, I'm not sure if Cassandra's going to hit us again. We do need to do a raid, but... Might wait until we're done with these jeans. Yeah, no worries, Sin. Yeah, I do have one set up. All right, so that'd be the last two that we need right now. Uh, where's that other you? you? We're still converting that one. That supplier doesn't matter. Hmm. 
So I have bionic legs on all of... I mean, even putting them on the sleeves would be good now, too. Inversion. Oh, crap. We cut your legs off. That's right. Because I wasn't sure that I was going to turn you into... Technically sensitive kind of sucks, though, if there's a... Eh, I don't know. I'll think about it. If there's a psychic soothe, they're going to be way too happy. Hmm. What about you? No, you'd be too happy mining. All right. Well, like I said, we're going to we're going to get these done with their genes and stuff first. And then we have some festivals to run, but for all things are looking pretty good right now. Pretty good. What raid targets are there right now? 244 golds. There's that silver one. Leather and pemmican. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll be fine, Donkey. Don't worry about it. Animals. We end up getting all that steel out of there? No. Slowly but surely. Wow, things are looking pretty clean, too. I guess the... Yeah, Baxter is just going to pretty much be pulling up pollution all the friggin' time. I, I mean, we can't get to the atomizer, so... We could switch out of pollution base power into chem fuel. So funny how fast you're done with research in Villa Emerald. Yeah, I know. Pollution's good for you. Uh, not really. It's just, it doesn't hurt us. <laughs> we don't have the pollution stimulus. Hmm. Normal infestation, okay. Where? Not typically how I'd want to melee block, but... Oh, nice dodges. That nimble brawler. Jogger. Let's go deal with these hives. And that's our second event. So we could go raid now if we wanted, but I'm kind of wanting to wait till the uh, genes are done. And everything's a mess again. I'm really thinking though, I mean, we have like infinite M fuel, right? Because of the bugs. You know, bugs spawn a polluted tile. Yes. No, they're turned off. <laughs> Hmm. Because we have I thought we'd have atomizers by now, but we just we just have not, so Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. And then once we're able to make the atomizers, we will uh we'll switch back over to that. Be careful though, Kim Fuel is a lot more flammable, a lot more dangerous as far as uh for our vampires. But it'll be all right. All right. 
Get that turned back on. Fuel. Due to starvation. Uh, yeah. Yeah. A concert? Vladim is holding a concert. But it's going to be brilliant. Hey, friggin' bug, stay down. Wait, I called for a concert and then I sat there and ate an entire meal while people were waiting. <laughs> uh, Left 4 Dead 2 is getting an update. Interesting. That was part of the concert. Listen to me eat this spaghetti. Food first, then concert. Uh, I'm going to do this a little bit different. Let's make sure those are turned off. Let's turn these off temporarily. These two of them. Uh, turn this off, this off. Take those three out. How long until you guys are up from that? Uh, just a few more hours. So we'll go ahead and queue these two up. Right, Xenogerm. Uh, Implant Xenogerm. Muffin girl. Operate on you. Operate on you. See, those early slaves that stuck around instead of having a rebellion and leaving. Well, you know what? They're probably better off. Never mind. Can't even spin that one in a different different kind of way. Ow. Spaghetti dinner in A minor. <laughs> World art button sheet music for him. Yeah, use meat. It's fine. Mm -hmm. On Mary Berry Quinn. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it kind of sucks switching this over, but uh, I think it'll be worth it all together. I got to make sure I put some uh, some coolers in here. And then we can always redo it or make another room for the pollution one once. Be careful. Uh, once we get to atomizers, if we get to them. Really did think we'd already be at them by now, but. Wrong about that. And those two drills off also. And where do we want to put our kim fuel? Let's make a really flammable shelf. Let's set that flammable shelf uh, in here with the slaves. Safe shelf. No wheat to vanilla roll. They can just make starch noodles. Rice noodles, yeah. Rice noodles. Nice concert we had there. Solar player, okay. Team bank needs power, yes. I know. Just saw that one coming, huh, Jimbo? Yeah. I 
You know what? Just go ahead. Let's rip it down. Four hundred less power per one of these. Sucks. Uh, we also need to turn one of these back on temporarily so I can see where the drills can even go. Wait, that one was on. It's the solar flare that had it off, right? The atomizer. Yeah, I need. I need. Watch us now and get the the mech stuff. Yeah. Uh, silver, uranium, steel down there. There's quite a bit of steel. Yeah, we'll dig in and get that in a little bit. You a slave? The hours. Oh, that reminds me. Thanks. Okay. Hmm. Look what you did. They can't sleep anyway, so. Why did I remove the pollution ones? Uh, it was becoming too much work to remove the pollution without atomizers, basically. It's just taking too much work time. Do I have enough pawns to do it? So, pawns were, like, literally... Doing nothing all the time, but digging up pollution, so. Until we get some boss mechs, we're just, hey, look, steel. All right, might as well get that while we're here, then. It's not going to worry about it. We have infinite bug meat, so we have infinite chem fuel, so we're just going to switch over. This way we can get this cleaned up and I like when the Stellarks here and stuff and they're wandering around, I don't want them to get mad from, from all the pollution. So whatever. Advisor, watch you on the phone. Can't check the game. Um, you know, you can get you can find boss mechs and still get those. Uh, the, the Mechanitor just allows you to call in boss mechs, but you can get, you can fight boss mechs even without a Mechanitor. You just can't summon them at, at will. Unless you have pigs come and destroy the chips they drop. How? I don't know, they just, just up here. Yeah. Add them with uh, even like mech clusters and stuff. Unless they've changed it since that happened, but it definitely was a thing that you could get. Ever see boss mechs? Hmm. Just one natural, yeah. Appear in regular mech stuff, yeah. Like I said, unless they changed it since the last time we really did that stuff, but the atomizer is from the Apocriton ship, yep. Yeah. Uh, all these donkeys. We should probably we're done with all this, maybe replace them with horses or something. So much of this that we need to clean up to see. We destroyed that door during the bug fight, I guess. Ugh. 
Yeah, but I remember after, not long after boss mechs were a thing, we used to get mech clusters like multiple Apocritons just hanging out of the mech cluster, but I haven't seen that in a while. I think I remember something about that specifically changing. Oh no, we found Thin Rock Roof. We get drop pods right there now. I gotta fill that in after we're done with this. Do you not want drop pods in that room? So we'll just mine out the steel and fill it in. Hmm. Crapitons. Pokrons are kind of nice if you can kill them first, because the stun they give the other mechs is so much longer than like a normal EMP. That one off, turn that one off. That off. That mind, and then let's fill this in. Swall in, off, and leave mines behind. I mean, he could, but it probably wouldn't kill them all. And then it would blow the wall open, you know? So I'll just make it so they can't drop there. Fusion, uh, yes, you have dementia. I'm just gonna fill in the whole thing. On the way home now? Okay. At least finish this off though. So go have to remember tomorrow. Go oh, trader. I'm also wondering if the I don't I don't think it impacts that, but it feels like it's a ton of time between the tribute collectors. You're supposed to get on average one tribute collector a year, but I swear that we have gone years without seeing them. But open the lack of pollution events. Help towards that. I don't know if it actually does though. Excuse me. Someone come work on this. Thank you. No more thin rock roof up there, right? Vagon, seek aid. Are there any of you that have, like, no passions at all? Hmm. You're looking like a prime candidate for a thrall there. So weird looking through for like bad pawns. Yeah, I think so, maybe. This guy. Hey, Bogs Gate 3 yet? I have not. Girl traders, you just hang out down there for a minute. I'm a little busy. Alright guys, we're coming out to give you whatever you want. What were you wanting? 700 silver, yep. Yeah, on my way. Plans to... Yeah, yeah, eventually. I don't know when, though. Uh, they are wearing... Face masks, yeah. Cloth face masks. Hey, move down here. I don't want any friendly fire. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Yoink. 
Do we have to stand there and shoot all the others? No, we didn't. Seven hundred silver is the cost of bullets that we used on them. Lord. Guns of the game, exceptionally harder. Fell to seventy one percent. Don't try to escape. Man, if I were you, I would I would try to escape. I would either escape or die. There's no way that you know what's gonna happen to you though, you know? I'm talking to him like he can hear me. Alright, what do you guys have? Artificial metabolism. Well, well, well. Well, well, well. Very attractive and pointed ears. Apparently the Empire has a type. Good to know. Hmm. Um, you guys want to buy some diseased donkeys? Boy, do we. My wife does. I heard her in the distance. He says, yeah, absolutely. Good idea by being in that room. Yeah, probably, probably right. We take him into a prison, he goes in there and everyone has had their legs chopped off. They can still talk, though, but they're... Most of them are missing tongues. And the ones that aren't are telling them... Get out, get get out while you can before they take your legs. This is your last chance. Elves, the Empire likes elves, yeah. I guess so. Artificial metabolism. So soon, the thralls will not sleep, and they will barely eat. Thralls be living off, like, a handful of bug meat once a day. <laughs> Delicious. Idea, you know, Sky Guy would chop your limbs off if you fail. Yeah. Unhappy gene worth it? All right, they already have it. Yep, they already have it. Did Twitch auto mod you for wet dream? <laughs> I haven't seen that auto mod before. Come on, Twitch. It just means I peed myself. I have a gap. Um, sometimes it can stop. Like. I should probably have another wall here. I probably will. Because if someone has a breakdown and they destroy one, the explosion won't reach the other one. It's not going to go around the wall. Depending on how it's destroyed, but... Kind of the same thing for, like, mortars, but... Just thinking ahead about fires. Hoping it still works that way. Ugh. Crisis of belief. Why? What What have you seen that could possibly make you lose faith? I don't understand. The room full of legless people that every day a doctor comes in and extracts blood from them and feeds them human meat paste. Yeah, you know what? No, I get it. I get it. You're right. Big fire incident question. Ugh. Okay, let's not have any more of those. Is 
Possibly for espresso. <laughs> Got this build back in. Uh, this could be a really dangerous bug spot in here. I might want to put even more coolers, get it, get it real cold. Think about it. It'd be nice not having to clean up as much toxic waste. We're going to have to dump a lot on the tribal enemies, though. What's cooler than being cool? Nice cold. All right, all right, all right, all right. Can you believe they got Matthew McConaughey to write that song? <clears throat> That's not true at all. I know. All right. Mountain based life is much better than getting chased by 900 tribals or 50 mechs or 200 mad animals. Uh, I don't know, man. I'm pretty sure I'd rather die. <laughs> I'd rather be eaten by 200 mad animals than, than be in a dark closet, my legs chopped off, and someone comes in every day and drains some of my blood. They already, they already cut out my tongue. Yeah, friggin' feed me to the animals. Two groups of imps have been harassing caravans. Twelve honor. Manometric power cell. Good things. No responsibilities. <laughs> Keeping them alive and giving them the home free of charge. I don't know. Uh, Yeah, one of our main things is we got to get other women up to Countess rank, right? We have to have a royal couple. We don't really have to, but it's part of the theme. Two groups, and this is separate than Cassandra's cycle. Man, I don't know. A lot of cleanup. 12 is quite a bit, though. Three days. Um, I'll still have to go do a raid soon. Don't have to accept it right now. Let's see. Yeah, I'm going to hold on to it. I'll decide. Next one. Do anti green. All right, I hear people returning home. We're going to wrap things up there. I'm going to go take my family to get some food. And they want to go to the craft store, so that's where I'm headed. I think I'm going to have some... What do I want? I think I'm going to have some Panda Express. Feeling some Americanized, fast Chinese food. So we'll return to this in the morning. All right, all right. Panda Express sounds good to me. Making some ribs. I haven't had ribs in forever. It also sounds good. All right, thank you guys for hanging out. Very much appreciate it. We got a lot done on that run today, you know? We had a little bit of setback in the very beginning, or we had the potential for setback, but really today was just kind of progress. So tomorrow we might, like actually get prepared for the Stellark. So we're going to have thralls that are never going to break or escape. They have genes that are really beneficial for us. We are almost, I mean, we're at the point that we can get all the uh, bio bionics that we want. We're making cataphract stuff. We have cataphract helmets on everyone. Uh, things are looking good. So we'll see. Hopefully we don't have a setback. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys again. Have a good rest of your day or night, whatever it is where you are. I will see you next time, which should be tomorrow morning. Right around the same time, around 10 a.m. Eastern time, with more of the single phase, no longer daycare, no longer vampire.